Hello everyone, I'm Rob and I'm from the Insane Gamers and welcome to the full journey through the Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 Challenge Series. So last week we got the full journey through Most Wanted uh, 2005's campaign. That was about 17 hours long and this time we've got the Challenge Series which is an additional 8 hours. So yeah, a lot of content in this game but of course it was back in the day when online multiplayer was not such a huge thing. So you did get quite a meaty bit of stuff to your campaign and also to like additional stuff like additional game modes i love that i mean this is completely irrelevant but like ape escape 3 i believe on the ps2 for example that has like a completely like an, an hour or an hour and a half like metal gear solid game mode like legitimately like this era this 2005 era of video games was this early 2000 era of video games was amazing for content um, anyway, so yeah, this is the full journey. It's about eight hours long. If you've never seen one of these full journeys before, the reason they exist is two reasons specifically. Uh, the reason for me is that uh, they exist basically to take all the videos that already exist on the channel, put them in one video, and the reason for that is that YouTube's playlist uh, can, system can mess up the order. So that's a reason. And the other reason is mainly for viewers. If you only want to watch one video instead of having the full, like, however many episodes of this there is, um, all clogging up your YouTube watch history. You've got one video instead of the multiple, like, 50 or however many it is for this. So, yeah. Uh, I, If I were you, I would get a beverage, a something to eat, and, uh, yeah, enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, and this... It, well, I was going to say Ratchet and Clank Part 56, because that's what I've got written down in the schedule, but, uh, yesterday the game finished on the 31st of October. Ratchet and Clank finished, and I decided that probably it wasn't a good idea to immediately go into Ratchet and Clank 2. Um, if you watched that video, you... I explained basically why during the credits. I was like, I want to wait till the end of the year. I want to work till uh, January to do that. Um, new year, new games is what I was thinking. So, we're doing Need to be Most Wanted 2005, which is a game that I uh, I finished. I believe I finished it last year. Or if it wasn't, it was the, right at the beginning of this year. But uh, what I did is I did the campaign. What's weird is actually it's not saved. Um, I'm not actually... I technically haven't finished it because I turned off my system as it was, I quit the game, sorry, as it said, you've completed the campaign, you can do the challenge series. <laughs> it didn't actually go back to the safe house, so if I actually go into the campaign, I'm actually on the last uh, police chase, which I'm not going to bother doing, what, what's the point? Anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to do this challenge series here, and there are 68 challenges. I believe there could be... Well, there's an additional one, if I remember. There's the PS2 Collector's Edition. Um, I don't know if you can get that on the 360 version. Uh, basically, there's a limited edition version called the Black Edition. Uh, and it had one or two extra challenges. I think it might be in two, actually. Anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to do this tall booth uh, time trial, and we're going to do this pursuit length. Um, but yeah, these are the game chooses a car for you, and you basically have to. And it, what it means is you get to drive a lot of. Uh, yes, we understand how tall booths work, because um, I have played this game. See, it, it gives you random cars to uh, to do, and I should really turn this for you now. Basically random cars that you get and uh, that's it really you you can get pedestrian vehicles as well which is really cool I think um, later on because I got to about the 30 of challenge series on the on the PS2 version when I, like I said when I was about 9 um, 8 or 9 when I first played Need to be Most Wanted 2005 and yeah so I beat the campaign, but uh, I thought the challenge series was a bit too hard. Vehicle, on 
Now the good thing about challenge series is I think if you finish a race, you don't have to do the thing that you have to do in the campaign where you have to lose the cops. I think you just have to... There we go. I think it just immediately ends. I could be wrong on that, it's been so long since I've played the game, but uh, I think that's how it works. Yeah, I'm not slacker. Oh, you didn't... You said he's trying to lose me. Oh. There we go. Oh, by the way, people have asked me before on the previous, uh, on the actual Need to Be Most Fun Let's Play series. Does Nitrous work like that? Do, do red things come out of your... <laughs> out of your brake lights? No, that's not how it works. Not in any way, shape or form. It's just something that, uh, it's just a fuel that gets injected. I don't actually know, actually, I'm pretty sure it's just like some sort of gas that gets injected into your engine and it uh, would make your engine work better and you uh I really should learn the science behind that but basically I think that's how it works it makes your engine uh, get a little bit better acceleration I guess yep well he's sort of lost me as I went past him that's logical and we're going to go through the uh, toll booth there we go as he almost hit us, right, and we're going to continue. See, it's just saving. You don't have to do anything else. As soon as you uh, finish the event, it's over. Although, I do remember the PS2 version not having cops on that one. Could be wrong on that, but, uh, right. Yes, automatic. I always choose automatic mainly because um, I just don't like manual gearing in games. Unless it's a drag race, obviously, where... You sort of have to. Oh, we're in the same car. So we have to make this last a minute and then lose them. Oh, there's four of them. So I was going to say that should be quite easy to stay with them for about a minute. But actually, no. Oh, they're trying to box me in. Hmm. Interesting. They were trying to lose me. Dear. Well, it's uh, only one thing, so you're not going to get that. It's only a one heat level. There's three of them following now. Look at the four, actually. I shouldn't look behind me. That's never been a good thing in this game. Why have I gone this way? This is so stupid because... Oh! Oh, will we? Oh, my God. Right. Now we have to evade them. We, you do have to evade them. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them out with the, um, what's it called? The, the giant donut. Like that. That's not what you need to do. And that didn't really work that well, but, uh, because there's still two of them following. But, uh, Move out the way. Sorry. God, that was a bad intersection. Sorry, buddy. I wouldn't be following. Because I'm going to knock this giant tire down as well. And you're going to have to deal with that. There we go. Both of them have dealt with that now. We've lost them, basically. Oh, sh Shit! Oh, come on! You have to be kidding me, right? That was bullshit. We're gonna have to go through the, ga the gas station or the petrol station. Uh -huh. I'm gonna just go this way and, uh, God, that was a tyre that we hit. And he just hit the tyre. So hopefully he gets stuck there. I think he did, right. We are gone. Well, everyone had already been knocked out. I can't believe I'm using a cooldown for the bloody first <laughs> challenge series event. Well, that was bullshit, that, wasn't it? I mean, I tried to hit the brakes. 
but it didn't work. <sighs> I don't know if I want to do like a replay section at the end of these videos of interesting moments. Um, but in the next one, part two of this, uh, we'll be doing well the second time trial, which is basically it's basically the same course, but backwards. And uh, also, uh, evade the police pursuit with a bounty of a thousand. That's all really what they. What is, I forgot. Oh, that's cost of state. You have to do certain cost of states. And these are get through certain roadblocks. And these are trading paint. And what? The, some of them are like infraction and spike strip and stuff. But uh, yeah. There's, it's basically toll booth police thing. Basically. I think this is like a 20 minute pursuit. Could be wrong. But uh, yeah, that's how that works. Anyway, I've been Rob Bean from the Insane Gamers. Thank you very much for watching, and to wrap. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers. This is part two of the Need to Be Most Wanted Challenge series, and what we've got in this, we've got the... Uh, we're doing two each video, like I said, so we're doing a tour booth time trial, and we're doing a bounty. Um, so these should be quite easy, because they are the uh, early ones, and I always do auto, as I said last video. I think I said last video. These This series is replacing the Ratchet and Clank. Uh, videos until the end of the year, basically, um, because I didn't want to do Ratchet and Clank 2 immediately afterwards. I don't think I I didn't want to do a Halo. Oh, this is a nice Mazda. I do have to say that. I I'm gonna uh, tell you something <coughs> right now. I don't know. I wanted this to be a big reveal, but I don't know if I if I will have mentioned it because I'm recording the Halo Reach videos later today. Um, but basically, I have. Uh, well, the insane games. We have several new channels, um, not on YouTube. They're on different sites. So just literally gonna have the exact same content that's on this channel. Uh, I'm trying to get all the uh, classic stuff that we've done on there. I mean, there's a big problem with one of them, considering there's a limit on there for obvious reasons um, that I'm completely fine with because it's understandable. But. But basically, we ha they're all called Insane Gamers, and one of them, uh, it's, we've got new accounts basically on BitChute. Uh, well, I'm going to display the, uh, well, there should be links in the description if I remember. I'm going to write that down on the schedule so I know how to put the links to the channels here, or maybe I'll do them on screen, I don't know. But BitChute, vid.me, and mime.com, they're all YouTube competitors, they've all launched in like the past year or two and uh, basically I've decided to do that for one simple reason that is basically I was always told when we had our original channel um, the official Insane Games Network I was always told you should always uh, diversify your YouTube channel basically you should always diversify because you don't want to put your eggs in one basket which is uh, kind of an ironic statement I think we've ignored that, that cop didn't see us yeah, he didn't say it. Uh, but yeah, I was always told to diversify for one reason, basically. You, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, because if you do, you are basically screwed. Which I always thought that was a stupid uh, phrase, because if you think about, it, if you think about animals, like chicken, you, uh, you they give you eggs, but if people stop liking eggs, they will still like chicken, basically. I mean, both would have to fail to... Um, for, for th that business to close, basically, if you if your business was just selling chicken and eggs, uh, but that's basically what that phrase means. Uh, so basically, yeah, we have several channel. We got channel. Uh, bleh, I can't speak. We have several channels now that have our content on. Yes, uh, what the bounty of a thousand? That should be quite easy, actually, shouldn't it? I wonder if we'll still be in the. Uh, Yes, we are still in the Mazda RX-8. Attention all units. We have a code 6 party failing to stop for police. Supervisor requesting units... Can we accelerate, please? I'm stuck at a... ...the speed. There we go. Right, you get back. I forgot how you get back. No, that didn't work. Why? Oh yeah, you have to knock out the cop car. There we go. Good. 
if you want to know why I, uh, why I decided to do it, I mean, I should have really asked Chris first before hand, but I decided to do that for one simple reason. Basically, KC, whatever, what's his name? Don't know how to pronounce his last name. He uploaded a video recently about the Las Vegas shooting. He did it as a charity video, and YouTube demonetized it. Basically, if you don't know, there's this huge YouTube issue about uh, demonetization. Uh, a couple of videos on this channel have been demonetized. Actually, it's actually somewhat funny because um, one of them, uh, I like the fact Ratchet and Clank tripping on acid uh, didn't get demonetized. It does it based on titles, by the way, and. Uh, what you say in the video, so if I swore, uh, it would technically count. There we go, challenge complete, now evade, that should be quite easy, because all you should have to do is this. Like that, and now all the cops have to stop. That should help, I don't know. No, not all of them stopped. Right, well we're going to use the, uh, the giant donut that's down here to help. Here we go, come on. Giant donut, voila! And there should be a hiding spot nearby because no, that didn't even kill that cop. Unless we do this. Come on, 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 go this way, go this way. Full, full power. There we go. Oh, he's following. No, there we go. Oh, he's gonna find us again. I can see him. He's catching up! Come on, this shitty Mazda! It doesn't have acceleration. There we go. We won that. But basically, yeah, that uh, KC uploaded video got demonetized. Uh, and YouTube came out and said, no, we're not. Uh, we don't allow you to monetize tragedies, even if it is for a good cause. But Jimmy Kimmel's is monetized. Um, his video about it is monetized. Because basically he works for a TV company. And there is a specific reason for that. And I might go into it in the, the next part. Which will come out tomorrow. Um, I do think a little bit of the. Uh, outrage is a bit. Of people not understanding. Behind the scenes basically. But uh, yeah. I've been Rob being from the Instagram. So thank you very much for watching. And Tara. Right welcome back. This is part 3 of Need to be Most Wanted. The challenge series. Last time we did this. We did the Total Brief Time Trial. And we did this Bounty. This time we're going to do uh, this tour booth time trial, which goes a lot more through Rock. No, it's Rosewood. Yeah, God, I almost forgot the name of the uh, place. Rosewood, and I don't know what we have to do for this one, but I it's a pursuit evasion, so I assume in less than several minutes is how long we have to evade. Mm. I've got that. Oh, we got a Pontiac GTO, which Pontiac doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. But let's go. Full nitrous out of here. Actually, it's it's never a good idea to fully use nitrous in Need for Speed. Anyway, I said I was going to talk about that, didn't I? That uh, KC9, that KC video. Basically, Kimmel has the right to monetize stuff. Because... Um, ABC and NBC and all these late night, well all the TV companies basically worked out a deal with YouTube and then that pa got passed on to MCN so technically anytime you see a demonetized video by us, um, it still has ads on it but it's, they're, all, they're low paying ads, they're ads by, um, they're ads by our sponsors of the, uh, I was going to say our YouTube channel, no they're sponsors of our MCN. Um, which I forgot who they are, basically, but that's who, they are the only people that have, oh, Spreadshirt, I believe, is one of the sponsors. Anyway, you will always see an advert for them and not for, like, the regular adverts that you would normally see. Like, I don't know if Coke ever advertised on our channel, I doubt it, but if they did, uh, you wouldn't see an advert for Coke. But with ABC, obviously, as it's a huge TV company, uh, their big sponsors will be companies like Coke, Coca-Cola and, uh, well, GMC, I know was one of the uh, ads that were still playing. So basically, they're being sold separately as, like, not part of what, my god, that was amazing. <laughs> they're being sold not as, like, YouTube ads, but being sold as ABC ads. That's why they can have adverts on them. I mean, we technically, like I said, have some. 
I'm surprised that, that cop did not see us there. But yeah, now, now you know the reason, and it's it's a bit bullshit, admittedly, but uh, I, honestly, it's a fair reason, it's like, in my opinion, slightly. It's not, it shouldn't be, but, like, it, it's understandable why they had to still run, basically. But that's why we decided to have a new, an all-new channel, uh, channel set up on uh, those other sites, because we wanted to basically diversify, um, and if YouTube decides to completely demonetize every video on this channel because it's gaming related they can uh, they can do that and hopefully if we have fans on the other channels which of course we've just launched them today uh, there's no there's no one subscribed yet but uh, if there was that's hopefully they will be able to we will be able to continue and at the moment you know if you watch and we, we've all turned on monetization on there Basically, it also helps because if you view on YouTube and if you also view on that channel, you will get, uh, we both get paid either way, um, which I'm not recommending you do, I'm just saying that's a thing. Anyway, pursue to version, evade this police pursuit in less than five minutes to successfully complete this challenge, okay? Normally these are quite, the challenge series ones, I believe the first of each one of the races is or events is quite easy, but... Uh, who knows, right, let's go this way. We're immediately turning around this corner. God, this car handles like shit, by the way. We've almost already... Oh, no, we haven't. Yes, this car does not have that Oh my god, if we've already lost them... <laughs> I didn't even think that was... gonna happen. Let's just go straight into the cooldown thing because, oh my god, this video, 28 seconds, if anyone can do that quicker, please, please, I want to see that as a challenge. If someone can do that quicker, please make it as a video. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, yeah, I've been robbed, being from the into game. sorry I wasn't expecting to win that so easily. Oh, we did, did it unlock both of these. Yes, it did. Oh, right, I understand. I forgot how this works now. So basically, you do these two. So, you do this. How can I describe this? <laughs> okay. You do this, and um, it unlocks them. Well, if you do that, it unlocks that one. Well, sort of. Anyway, yes. I have been Rob Bean from the Insane Gamers. Thank you very much for watching, and ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers. This is part 4 of the Need to Be Most Wanted Challenge series. Uh, so we're going to be doing the Toby Time Trial, and we're going to be doing this Cost to State Challenge of 25,000... Well, dollars, I assume, but... Because uh, it is America, but... Um, does not actually have a... Well, there's a dollar symbol in the logo. Actually, it's a P bank, isn't it? I've just noticed that. Cool! Things I've never noticed before in this game. Um, so the cost of state logo was a piggy bank. Never actually realised that when I was playing the game. Right. Oh god, that's even more funny just when you think about it. Piggy bank. Cops are pigs. Uh, god, EA was on there. Well, Black Box won that game. This game? Oh, we're in a. We're in what? The, the Porsche Carrera as well. That should be interesting. Um, on the 30th and uh, the 30th of November and on the 1st of December, there should be some GTA uh, Online videos if you're interested in GTA Online, if you watch those uh, on the channel, um, which it's been a while since I've done them, but there's a new DLC for the game that's actually interesting, it's races, and I, last time I did that it was a stunt race, and uh, stunt races are cool, but these ta this time it's uh, transform races. Uh, I think I've mentioned this in the previous video that this should have gone out. Um, but I've been mentioning it in all different series that are, uh, that are on this channel, apart from, uh, apart from Watch Dogs, because really um, they came out a couple of years ago on the Reedy's channel. Oh, we're going to meet a cop. Hello, Mr. Policeman, where are you? There you are. I think I'm going to crash straight into you. 
Yep. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna hit that cop. <laughs> there was no way I could have avoided that. I do hate the fact that the cops can avoid the uh, the actual race area. Although to be fair, they would not know where that is. So. Nah. Yeah. I was gonna say, nah, that's not acceptable. No, it is, because the cops, the cops would not know where the actual race track is. I'm gonna not go through these cheeky areas because, well, although the cop did, um, I was gonna, I was not going through them because I was crashed going through them. I think. Next turbo, one minute. I have to get there. These are going to be fun when we get to the like really long, like the, the events later on. Can you move out the way? I should have really hit the. Uh, I think I know where this is going to be. Uh, we're going to that tall booth all the way down here. I like the fact it's been so long since I played this game, and yet I still know the map, like the bat. <laughs> like the back, like the back of my hand. I, what was that? I think it was a bounty. Oh no, it was a, it was escape, wasn't it? It's was escape in less than a minute, I think. I could be wrong. <laughs> Whatever the last video was, where I escaped like instantly. That was amazing to me. What was it? I'm gonna have to look. When we get into this uh, thing, although we'll probably get pushed back to the main menu. Well, yes, we will. It was this one. Evade in less than five minutes. <laughs> we escaped in like 30 seconds or something. Less than 30 seconds, I think. Uh, $25,000, right? Automatic transmission because I'm a baby and I will never choose automatic. Uh, I will never choose manual. Mm. It's a cup of tea, is nice. Because I'm British and therefore I have to have a cup of tea. Um, this just involves hitting everything. <laughs> I wish I still owned the um the black edition version of this game. Why did I go onto the freeway? That was such a stupid plan. Nope. Ah, wait, hang on. This should be an American football stadium, right? Around here, I could be no. I might be wrong. This is the baseball stadium. Here. I wanted to hit all that shit. There we go. Um, we're gonna smack right into the stadium solely for the purpose of the guy's going crackers. The guy has gone. That doesn't. Right, we're causing a lot of damage here to this cost us there. and they want to get in front of me. There we go. Unless that's an NCAA stadium, what's supposed to be? God, that was ten thousand dollars, really? I need to hit these more then, clearly. Cause a lot of cost to state damage. Oh, don't lose me. That'd be a really bad video. Smash through the bus stop. Crash through all these signs. Through all the university signs. Now, when they go in front, that doesn't help. Although I think when they hit some things as well, also, you know. There we go, come on. Hit everything. I'm pull. Was I? I didn't think I was pulling away, but. Uh, I could have been. Oh, I want to hit these lampposts. There we go. Oh god, didn't mean to hit that block, but uh, it helps. Every little helps, right? Oh, I forgot this was possible. And we hit the correct thing now. Now we can attempt to escape. Come on. We can escape from this guy. I think we've made him crash. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I still have no idea. There we go. Right, we'll just go in here. Although I don't think we're going to need to, but uh, 
We'll go to the cooldown area anyway. There we go. Oh. Right, I think I've got to you now. <laughs> there we go. We've saved Rob and we are now turning off the console. <laughs> right. So I think Rob been from the Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow, which will be the 24th. I'm looking at the schedule. Uh, uh, where part 5 of this will be coming out. Ta-ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Gamers. this is part 5 of the Need to Be Most Wanted Challenge Series and this time we're going to be uh, trying to do this course, I need, I'm going to study it, look, so we're going, what is that area called? Something village, I forgot, uh, and we've got to dodge two police Roblox, so I think we'll actually have high ranking cops there, also I think this is, spy no that's tread paint, right. I wonder when we're going to get to the uh, thingy ones, to the ones where we're driving AI cars. Those will be interesting. Anyway, I had, the, I think I started mentioning this in the last video, but I forgot to continue on because I was being distracted by the police. Uh, I, I have the black. I used to have the black edition version of the game on the PS2, and then I donated it to Mark from Classic Game Room, uh, who still hasn't reviewed it. But. Um, Oh, we've got a Corvette anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, how can I say? That had two extra Challenge Series events in it, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but I think it did. I like the fact that the game does hand us, like, high-powered cars, like, immediately. It's like, yes, you. we know if you're doing the Challenge Series, we want, you want to be driving the Corvette straight away. They're all modified. The North Bay Cannon Corp. Okay. Never actually looked at the name for that. Wasn't paying attention. I think we're definitely also breaking the 45 mile an hour speed limit. I think it was that person that we hit. Fisher Road. Oh, that was my change gear, by the way. I, I changed up. I actually did. Like, I actually changed up because I... I, I wanted to, basically. Oh, so the cop was over there. So we basically avoided him. If we're lucky. Alright, there'll be another full booth round here, which is the awkward one, because it's, like, there's a couple of curves after it. that I always hate to deal with. Hate to deal with. There we go. And uh, we've got just over a minute. Uh, we're going to meet the cop up here then, it looks like. Hello. Oh, maybe not. I thought we would have, but he, he turns out he drove past. Well, I don't think we're going to be meeting the police this race. Can we hit the... No. And someone's ringing the house phone, that's always fun. And we're going to meet a cop up here though. Hello, I can see you. Come on, how fast can we go? Yeah, look, this race is almost over anyway, so that was completely useless. There we go. Look, we've already won. Right. We literally met them in, what, the last quarter of the race? Right, let's move on to the next one, which... It makes sense to have level 2 cops now, because now we have to deal with Roblox, and Roblox do not exist with level 1 cops. Actually, I could... Be wrong on that actually. I think they could be level one cops with Roblox. I think that's happened once when I played this game. Welcome back. This is a part two Roblox challenge basically um, of the video. Um, I was interrupted by a phone call <laughs> the first time, and the second time I finally got a Roblox. I got one Roblox, and then all the cops crashed into it and all disappeared. And I managed to evade them, which obviously is not what you want to happen basically in your, in, in your attempt. 
There was also a great part in the first one, which obviously I might add it to the end of the video. I hope, hopefully I will. Where the cop, like where a cop hit a curb and flipped. And I was like, oh my God, I've never seen that happen before. I can't believe these cops are following. Come on, stop following. Right. We need to get onto the highway. It's what I figured out. Because that's where the... Why are the cops taking the shortcuts? Oh my god, that was a big collision. <laughs> yeah. You're going to try and overtake the suspect while in a block. That's not really what happened there, but... Um, can't go down that way either. It won't let me. Hmm. Naughty, naughty game. You don't want me to go that way. Then... Whatever. You're also not following me again. Great. I need to get out on the highway. For the game to give me a roadblock. Which, of course, means turning right at the next intersection. Or left, actually, because it's a duel then. Stop it. Come on, give me a roadblock. Give me something that I can use. That is the one annoying issue of doing the challenge series is that you um, you can have multiple attempts, but because it's not, I don't want to do multiple attempts. It's, that's not fun. That doesn't result in entertaining content. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a roadblock. Right, so we can uh, we can get past that. Wow, that was such a roadblock, guys. Um, <laughs> right, we're just going to continue going around. And I'm completely fine with having another roadblock, because I need to avoid two. Move out the way, taxi. That's how you drive on the streets near me anyway, so... <laughs> they don't ram cars out the way, but they basically do get right up your arse and try and force you out the way. Um... Here we go. Oh god, that was a bad idea. Alright, there we go. We avoided... We've done that. We're going to turn this way, if we can. I was hoping that there would be a... Oh, maybe there is. We can evade in here, can't we? Or maybe not. Maybe it won't let me. I hate it when that happens, when it's like, no, you you were already in the hiding spot when you were there, so it doesn't count. There we go, we won. Three minutes. There we go. Right. I've been Robin from the Instant Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. And, um. Ta This was a bad idea to go in there. I hate the. the oh my god! <laughs> That guy flipped. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I'm from the Instagram. This is part six and needs to be one challenge series 2005 um, on the 360. So we're going to be doing this Torbush time trial and this trade paint. Basically, I should turn down the volume. Yes, let's do this. Automatic. That's what we're doing in uh, this part anyway. And then uh, tomorrow, of course, part seven. Oh, we're in a Mitsubishi Eclipse. I forgot what a lot of these cars look like. Um, well, no, not what they look like. What cars are in the game? Oh, uh, because it doesn't have tinted windows, you can actually see the interior. Oh, that's nice. I didn't actually realise that was a thing in this game. Because obviously, I've always put tinted windows on the cars. I like it, but uh, each car apparently has an interior. Not on the PS2, and I'm guessing not on the original Xbox version. Probably on the PC version, though. It just looks really nice, though. I'll have to look at the uh, at the next car if I can. Uh, which we're probably going to be driving this again. Oh, look, there's a phone call. That's always uh, fun. I'm not stopping the video for it. Uh, 
And uh, there's police. Well, someone's called the police. I mean, wouldn't you if you were driving like this? And we've got to go through three toll booths. I probably should have checked that before we set off. There we go. <laughs> Could I imagine just being in like one of these sort of races? And, uh, we've got. No! I hate it when that happens. Also, that guy's probably like. No, there's a hit and run now. He didn't give me his insurance information. Oh, cop up there. Luckily, we're going to avoid him by turning right there. And I just realised this is an EA game. Which, uh, based on Battlefront 2, probably not good for the channel. Because <laughs> uh, everybody is hating EA right now. But an EA was wasn't great back in 2005 but they were much better than they were now because cause this game is before the introduction of microtransactions in fact it's before the introduction of DLC I think uh, I, knew, I know Need Speed Carbon has DLC because I also own that uh, but really that's that's it Need, um, this doesn't have any DLC it doesn't have any uh, well Hmm, yeah, there's a black edition version of the game, which is a collector's edition, uh, and that includes special DLC, I guess. Well, it's not DLC, it's built into the disc. But, uh, yeah, oh, I talked a long way around there. Let's cut through here. Like, cops probably like, how the hell did that happen? And there's a cop coming the other way. Unless we can avoid him by going through here. Yes, I think we did. I think we avoided the, the cop there. And there's a toll booth down here, I believe. That's well, yes, we're going to this one. God, this was not a very good toll booth race because I did keep crashing into things. I probably could have done that much quicker. Uh, if you've done this before, um, post your time. Uh, although, say what system it is, obviously. Uh, go back into the channel series, there we go, and uh, evade the police pursuit and tag a minimum of five cops. That doesn't seem that difficult, I hope. <laughs> oh look, we have the police. Oh, and, um, well there's five cops here, so let's just... One. That's two. Well, there we go. We've hit all five. And now we can just evade. See, so I honestly was thinking for a little bit that I was going to get caught there, but uh, luckily we didn't. So many following us. Right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to hit this uh, thing if we can. Where is it? There it is. Sorry, cop. You gotta deal with that. Oh god. Right, let's uh let's cause a huge problem with the gas. Yeah, well I only dealt with one of them. There is a lot of them after us now. He's free. Right, okay. This is where we started off last time. I wanted to hit that cop and then he sort of hit that, so it wasn't too great. Such so many collisions behind there. This area has not got a lot of uh, things I can hit. Well, yeah, that's the entire point. God, how many? I am driving like a maniac. Oh, ah. And they just ran that guy out the way. I could go through there, but that would take too much effort. I just ran that guy out the way. I always used to think he, when I was younger, he said city car, but he says civvy car here. Yeah. I've just done it again. I've hit a pizza delivery guy. Right, we're going to turn left here. Because we can and we're going to go down here 
solely because How did they stay with- oh, now you're in front of me, great. Ah oh, yeah, you're gonna force me off the road. Okay. Good luck. And then just turn left, so that- He's managing to follow me. Right. And I don't really want to have to use a cooldown, but I will if I need to. That's uh, unlike the, uh, it's the previous other video before, but it was the uh, quickest pursuit ever, yeah? I know we're right near a police station as well. So I don't want to go there. There we go. That said two minutes at the top of this thing. Ah well. Well thank you very much for watching. I've been Rob being from the Insane Games. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which is part seven. Uh and tra. Hello and welcome to part seven of Needs People Must Win 2005 for the challenge series and this time we are doing this, which is Toll Booth Time Trial, as always, because we always start off with one of them at the start of the video. And then Infractions, a raid police pursuit with a minimum of four infractions to successfully complete the challenge. Okay. That should be interesting. Bayshore Boulevard and Chase Road. Alright, so this is a. Uh, there we go. See, so you got an interior on this car, so. This is a uh, Toyota Supra. And they've actually modelled the words Toyota and Supra on the back of it. I mean, I know they would have modelled the, uh, the badge, but uh, I wouldn't have thought they would have modelled the uh, the riding. That's cool. Well done, EA. I mean, this is when EA actually used to put effort and stuff into games. I mean, EA, like I said in the previous video, EA were pretty bad, uh, even in... 2005, um, but they weren't as bad as they are now. I mean, this game, it there's a collector's edition version of it that has additional cards, um, but there's no DLC, there's no microtransactions because they just simply didn't exist. Look, there's a cop there. Hello, yes, you're gonna start chasing me now. Yeah, you're right behind me. Come on. There we go. And they somehow knew where I was going. That's logic. There we go. That is the one issue with this game. Uh, slightly cheating AI. That's 60 mile an hour. God, this the Toyota Supra. Not a great car uh, in this game. Doesn't seem like it anyway. It's not really that good at accelerating. Or at least this car isn't. Maybe it doesn't have the engine upgrades on, but it's not, it's certainly not accelerating as well as I would have thought. Because, you know, you always get like those, um, what was I going to say, the GDM guys, or, well, just people on YouTube in general, actually, that are like, Toyota Super is such a great car. Um, I, I believe it is, but, because uh, I remember driving it in Falls, it was, great car for whatever class it was in, but uh, in this game anyway, it does not seem to be that good. That horn there was brilliant. I don't know if you guys would have been able to hear it, because I obviously turned the uh, game audio down. But uh, that horn just sounded great. Should I? Should I? Yeah, go on, let's do it. I just did that to make sure I did. There we go. That took out those cops. Uh, well, it spawned some in front. I was also going to cut through there, but I can't because the cop drove through there. And I can't hit that. And I can't hit that either. 
God damn it. Should I hit this donut if I can? Which I think I can. Oh, which I missed. <laughs> and that's why I used the, uh, whatever it's called, the slip thing. The slip slip. The pursuit time up, whatever. I don't even know anymore what it's called. Well. Will he be in the... No, he won't be in the picture. Damn. Such a shame. Cop wasn't in the picture. Right, well, we're going to move on to the... Uh, to the infractions challenge. Was it four infractions? Okay, so let's work out what we could... Like, uh, I forgot what the infractions are now. Hitting a police vehicle. Hitting a civilian vehicle. Doing a certain speed. Hitting stuff like that, that's not really. Come on. We're hitting things. Costa State, come on. We're damaging things here, game. There we go. We've hit. Driving off the roadway, I forgot what. Yeah. Damaged property, driving off the roadway. Um. Let's hit a hit and run. I know we can do that. We just need to find a civilian. We've got, sorry! Oh, well, didn't count anyway. There we go. We, we've certainly. Right, I'm gonna hit this cop up here. There we go. Ramming a police vehicle. Hit and run, there we go. Let's evade. There we go. That took him out. I'm gonna... Yeah, this car not great up this hill. Surprisingly. Ah, oh, I remember what's up here. Try and communicate now, coppers. Did I? Did I just launch into the air? Hmm. Right. We're cut into this. Oh. Right, we're going to try and turn in here. Because we can. There we go. There we go, we won. Right, we've done it. Right, so uh, that's been part 7 in the East Bimos 1 2005 challenge series. Um, tomorrow is Watch Dogs part 32 apparently, according to my schedule. So enjoy that. I've been Robin from the Insane Gamers. Ta-ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers. This is part 8 of the East Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. And this time we are doing... Uh, well, we're going to do this tour with time trial course and we're going to do this spike strip. But I don't know what that is because it's not unlocked. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, and also before I start this, if I sound ill, uh, I sort of had my have a sore throat and, uh, well, I didn't have it yesterday when I was recording the other part. Ooh, we got a super. Anyway, uh, yeah, I have a sore throat and, uh, so that's why I sound a bit ill. I know, terrible me, right? Poor me, I do YouTube and I have a sore throat. Well, it sort of does ruin the video, but, uh. Hopefully you guys can put up with it if you enjoy Need for Speed. If you're enjoying these videos. Also, I should probably... I'm just pausing it a second because... Let's move the microphone closer because if I'm talking a bit quieter because of the soft throat, that wouldn't help. Uh, I move the microphone closer from where it usually is. Seems to make sense. Oh look, we still have the interior of this car because it doesn't have a window tint on it. Oops, I've killed that family. Attention all units. Attention all yes, units. okay. We just received a complaint about a speeding vehicle. You just received a complaint about a speeding vehicle. How about a uh, guy that just... Oh god, uh, did I just do that exactly 10 seconds? Remaining that. It's amazing. Yeah, they've got room complaints about a speeding vehicle, but not about a guy that's just done a hit and run. Oh, Oh well, I did hit him. 
I think that's meant to be a Lexus. Oh, and if we turn right, we could have got a toll booth there, but we didn't. I'm not going to cut through there because I have failed that before. I didn't really want to fail. There's a cop up here. Oh, well, that was him. <laughs> I was like, that looks like a cop car. Uh, but I was like, no, it can't be because it hasn't spotted me yet. And there's a cop just spawned up here. I think I've once landed on top of a cop car in this game. That was awesome. It might have been on one one of these videos, not the charm series, but a different like the original speed series. Oh god. There we go. We just lost a lot of speed there from hitting that wall. Trying to avoid the cop in front of us. I'm driving on the pavement or the sidewalk. Let's just uh should we? Yeah, let's go on. That didn't even work. My plan did not work. Shit. Are oh, you closing in on my last known direction? Well, good luck. Are we going? No, we're not. Oh, that's a finish line. You kidding me? Killing another family. Sorry. That's going to get this video demonetized, isn't it? You want a situation report? How about I'm a completely maniac driver and you should probably uh, back off. I would. I'd go into tracking mode. How's these, please? You're not stopping me. It's clear I'll do anything to uh, to get away. There we go. Have we lost them? No. It's amazing how they know where I always am. I did just lose them. That's amazing. Well, technically. Mm, well, I'm going to meet them back here. Hello! <laughs> well, that's definitely a picture that's interesting. Right, there we go. We have uh, done that. We have completed that event now. Let us move on to the next one, which is a spike strip event. Apparently, dodge at least two police spike strips and evade the pursuit to successfully complete the challenge. Well, that's that sounds fun. Let's do that then. There we go. Let's launch the event with automatic transmission because I wouldn't have anything else, would I? It's just easier for automatic. I know you could say it's cheating. We're still in the Subaru, because you always are when you do this. And I was like, where's the course that we're doing? No, this isn't. We're not doing the course. Okay, so we have to avoid... Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just randomly chose to put a four-star cop thing on me. Okay, just give me two spike strips then. Oh god, that guy got absolutely decimated, like... Give me... Right, you know where I need to go. I need to get onto a freeway. There isn't any in this area either. We'll take this alleyway. They just crashed into each other. Oh, we've got a helicopter now. Ah, right, here we go, spike strip we need to avoid, so we're going to smash through that, there we go. Right, yes, I, I noticed you totally didn't, like, it didn't work. Yeah, I'm not going down there, buddy. Now I have to avoid a helicopter. Where was the other spike strip? I honestly have no idea where this other spike strip supposedly was. That I just avoided there. I mean, I'm glad I just that just happened, but uh, let's just go through here because we can.
Go, 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 go. That was another spike strip. Yeah, so if I go into this tunnel, the cop can't find me. The helicopter can't, anyway. Right, so that helicopter's had to refuel. Right, that's a spike strip. I'm not going to be able to avoid that, then. There we go. You're going to have to deal with that now, cops. Thank you for dealing with that. Right. Oh. Well, I know what to do. You're going to have to deal with this then, it looks like. Of me. There we go. Now we're hiding. I mean, it's not really that good of a hiding spot, to be fair, but uh, that looked. Right, so I've been Robin from the Instant Games. Thank you very much for watching. That was part 8 of Need to Be Most Wanted, uh, the challenge series. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow where. Part 9 will be out. Ta-ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Instagram. This is part 9 of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. And this time we are doing a challenge 17 and 18, so we've got a tour booth time trial, uh, which looks like it has... 4 tour booths that we have to go through, and we have a pursuit evasion escape in less than 4 minutes. And then look, there's the other tour booth time trial. Uh, which we're not doing, and but there's, that's pursuit length. So I'm assuming, yes, that's make the pursuit last so long, then escape. I wonder what car we're going to be in though. The last one was a Supra Impreza. The one before that was a uh, Mitsubishi. Oh no, it was a Toyota Supra, and then before that it was a Mitsubishi Eclipse. We are in the Cadillac CTS. Right. Okay. I believe this car was once covered on Top Gear and they thought it was bloody awful. Also, it's got um, window tint so you can't see the uh, interior. Right. That's strange. <laughs> Maybe they didn't model the interior for this car. But I'm guessing we must have had 40 seconds to get to this first, this first tour booth. Let's hope no one calls the police, even though they will, because it's this game. Oh god, that was such a quick thing that we just got through. That like that gap, it was so tight. That's what she said, but you know what I mean. There we go. A white Cadillac, right? Okay. Um, god, that was a. Yeah, that's that's not really a, where I wanted my um to be detected. To be fair, that was not the best of moments. Because <laughs> I did slam into a wall. Oh, I was hoping I could make that cop crash into that dump truck. Or garbage truck, whatever. Oh yeah, I still have my cold. Or my sore throat, whatever it is. I, I know I have a sore throat, I can feel it. I don't know if it's going to be a cold or whatever that I got. But, uh... Go. Well, we lost them and then it spawned a car because, you know, you can't evade them in these events, but I, I do like getting rid of them. Yeah, I'm still going, because guess what? I'm in an event! Move out the way, stupid family. <laughs> what, what's it from GTA 5? The Dundry Regina? That's what just got in my way. Oh, and he isn't a thing.
thing over here. I like watching DOJ videos, by the way, on uh, YouTube. Um, Polecats, well, Code Zeroes. Uh, police roleplay things, but the cops in this just feel so much like how they drive in, in those videos. And, and actually, it's not DOJ, it's like the other clans that I've seen where they're, they're not really. They don't really act legit. I don't know why I was insulting DOJ like that. I mean, it's not as good, those videos aren't as good as they used to be, but uh, they're not at the, like, it's all 10 year olds in a clan and they all go drunk on power thing that I've seen on other police roleplay videos. Anyway, we have completed that challenge. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Right. <laughs> Let's hang on. Did this car just have? Yes, the, this car does have an interior. The uh, the BMW. I don't think we get to drive the BMW. I could be wrong in the challenge series, but uh, if we do, that'd be interesting, right? We have so we have the challenge series. Evade this. Pers I can't speak English. Evade this place. Pursue in less than four minutes to successfully complete this challenge. Right. We knew that earlier, actually, because I read it earlier. Wow. Let's do that. Let's evade this police pursuit in less than. So you put me n near no things that I can use to evade. There we go. We're just going to go through here. And hopefully that will work. Partially. No. It didn't. It sort of worked, but then. Didn't. If that makes any sense. I'm assuming it does. We're not going to complete this challenge, let's be honest. I don't think. Unless. Oop, toll booth. Oh, I wanted to. Hit that. Oh, well, the cop hit it himself! <laughs> That's actually hilarious. And because of that, we lost the cops, basically. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was amazing! I was not expecting that. Well, we've done that now. I was expecting this video to be a bit longer than that. Ah, well. I've been Rob Green from the Insta Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from Linsing this is part 10 of Need to Be Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series, and in this video we are going to be doing this Tollbooth time trial, and this pursuit length, and I have no idea what uh, car we're going to be in, because obviously I haven't done it yet, and then uh, part 11 will be tomorrow, uh, where we will be doing these two challenges. Right, let's start automatic transmission, because always we are in automatic transmission mode. Uh, I tried to put the game in just to record this video and make fucks this trip with Norman. Oh, in a Lamborghini Gallardo, or Gallardo, I believe it was called. It was supposed to be called. Um, and I'm not joking, that's actually why I believe it was supposed to, the car was supposed to be called. It's a wonderful yellow colour as well. It does have an interior, you can't really see it for the back glass though. But what, yeah, what I was gonna, what I was about to say there was that I was trying to put the disc in. The, 360 and because I have the old style 360, I mean I have a really late model of the old style 360, you remember the um, it was the fat model uh, before they did the slim version and Falcon chipset or J no, Jas whatever, Jasper chipset maybe, I don't know, whatever the last one, the last revision of the motherboard was that's the version that I have and uh, it hasn't red ringed yet thank god because uh, this is the 360 model that red ringed uh, but unfortunately they do have um, I mean it was a clever idea, I, I did like the idea uh, it had face plates changed so you could change what the front of your console looked like but only the front of the console, not the actual colour of it or anything else but unfortunately sometimes this tray gets a little bit jammed inside and you have to take the disc tray, uh, the uh, 
the faceplate off the front of the console to allow it to open and I just had to do that because the disc tray wouldn't open at all. So that's fun, so my Xbox list just looks really weird. It'll be fixed when I try and take the game out, or hopefully it will be. If it isn't, oops, that's uh, going to be quite a big problem. God, this car is... It's a lot faster than the other ones it would be. Well, it might not be, actually. I haven't really been paying attention to how fast the other cars have been in this challenge series. It feels faster. We're going to be policing around here, I think. Yes, there we go. Hello. There we go, he's being taken out now. You're closing in on me? I don't think you are. Oh, you're pretty banged up, right? Right, okay. And there's a cop around here now. Bye, bye. I'm going so fast. So much faster than you. So fast than you. That makes complete sense in the English language. Yeah, so we have three heat level cops. I can't wait until we get to the... Uh, Try and roadblock me now. I can't wait till we get to the random civilian vehicle cops, uh, like cop chests, because they're, they're fun. Although I believe they did take me a few attempts when I was younger. Alright, can we cut through here? Yes, we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to cut through the bottom bit. Yes, we will be able to. Uh, unfortunately, we did just flip the car over at speed. So that's going to completely ruin the uh, speed that we had, the momentum that we had. That is a problem. Right, get out of the way. Right. So we're going to go through here. I think we're going to go through the village. Move out of the way. God damn it. Some of these cops can be really annoying. And of course it doesn't... Yeah, we're going to go to the toll booth near the village, I think. Yeah, that has to be the, the way that we're going, because there's no other toll booth we can get around. I knew I was going to hit that and didn't want it to really affect my speed. Although it did. He's ramming traffic ahead of me here. Well, I didn't mean to, but it happened. And I didn't mean to hit him either, but... <laughs> this car feels a lot longer than I was expecting. A lot wider, I mean, not longer. Right. There, we've won that. Okay, checking the storage device and saving it. Woo! <laughs> Loading, come on. I just know there's a black bar at the top of the screen. On that picture, don't know why. Right, we're on challenge 20 now. Shoot length. Evade after at least seven minutes. Mm. So that means it'd be quite long. Right, so here we are, we're in this... Uh, Lamborghini Gallardo and uh, I've apparently rapidly engaged members to avoid custody yeah you just said that don't want to exactly lose the cops here I want to keep them for seven minutes of course all right it's RB that changes the camera angle I forgot that was a thing this is a no big fans view to be in police pursuits, it is quite bad. So is this. <laughs> you, you need the outside view. Oh, oh, I was hoping some of them would crash into the... Yes, some of them did. Thanks. Alright. Now, unfortunately, you did miss a thing there. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention it, but then decided to. I was like, yeah, um, I failed. In my first attempt, I crashed into something and all the cops blocked the back of me. Right, move out of the way. Now they're all in front of me. That is a lot of cops. God, that bloke will be... Whoever's driving that is dead. I don't know why I sniggered there, because that's not funny. I'm glad I'm pulling that. Oh, there's a something around here. Will there be a spike strip? No. Well, if there was, I was going to hit it. There we go. 
check out the, uh, the roadblock. You want me to take two people out? There we go. I'm just going to go around in the loop. That's going to be helpful, I think. You have to keep moving me over to the side. Well, good luck at that. Good luck with that. <laughs> good luck at that. That's not English. Yeah, I'm just going to do loops. Another... There we go. That guy's high up in the air. I hope no one was in that cop car. They're dead. Let's drop back. Yeah, I'm just doing a loop here because it. Oh god, no. Oh, if I get trapped here. Oh no 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 no. You have to get behind my car. You're not going to stop me. That is the one thing I do hate about pursuits. I don't want to really hit the engine. Well, that solved that issue. That is the one. Oh, God. Come on. I don't really want to lose the cops either. I'm going to have to find them again. We lost sight of them. I'm here. I'm here, buddy. Come on. There's no way out of here, though. Now. Right, so get through here. That's, this is a jump. I didn't really want to hit that much speed going off it. Right. Right, I'm gonna go this way now. God, you hit me at speed. I thought you would have broke for the corner. Don't want to lose the car. We're nearly four minutes into this. We've got a minute and so long before he gives me a replacement. Like more car. God, you absolute moron of a driver. You've lost me. You, you are such a bad driver. How could you lose me doing that? You had backup as well. You had it. Now you're driving the wrong way around the roundabout. Come on. There we go. Right, now you have more backup. Although it doesn't count. So I'm just going to completely ignore them and hopefully some of them will actually start. No, you just rammed into your own back up. Well done. You're so smart. And now they're not following. Come on. There we go. What's the same cop? I've got two minutes of this. Two minutes of dealing with the. Where are you going? You are the world's worst police officer. I swear to God, I could wait here. There we go. Right, like, come on. Follow me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Until it's my turn to, like, escape. But. Look, I'm having to do 80 mile an hour. There's a roadblock up here. Well, I've avoided it, but you haven't. Right, do you wanna? No, I'm I'm evading. I'm evading. No, I'm. I I'm, I could wait here. I am. I'm gonna wait here. I'm only waiting here so the game will have to... Right, here we go. This 
I don't know what this video is going to be called. I hope it's titled The World's Dumbest Cop. But I might get the video demonetized. I don't want that to happen. So. That's so annoying as well. The. Right, hang on. If I get this cooldown. Then you don't have to. There we go. See, it set the back up back down. So now I only have to wait 15 more seconds. Specifically in this area. So I can hit that. Gas. There we go. There we go. And now just a bit, please. So just crash through this. Oh no, I've avoided you. That was English. Right, get around the corner. I mean, I bet that cop would be like, if he was deliberately staying with me? There we go, look. That's that solved. Woo! Ugh. That was actually not fun. That was honestly... That was not fun. <laughs> that was quite bad. But uh, yeah, I've been Robbie and from this game. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for part 11 tomorrow. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Instagram, this is the Tall Booth Time Trial. Now it's part um, part 11 and needs to be most fun in 2005, the challenge series. Uh, so we're doing Tall Booth Time Trial, do it in under 4 minutes, and uh, dodge at least 6 police roadblocks. Well, we just basically did that. What car will we be in? Take your guess. It'll be a fast one, because we just had a... It's Dodge Viper. I wasn't actually expecting that. Then I remembered, yeah, Dodge Viper is in the game. And this has quite slow acceleration because of all the excess speed, like the engine, like uh, the horsepower. It just can't get traction. The thumbstick is now really slippery because of sweat from the previous video, which I'm recording straight after. Uh, and if you haven't seen that, if you've managed to miss it, uh, miss an episode, um, well, go back and watch it, because that is certainly an interesting pursuit. <laughs> I'm laughing at it now, but uh, I've just finished recording it and I was quite angry. Hurry! The, well, we hurried. Move out of the way. I'm not even bothered about the track anymore because of what I just did with that, like, what I had to do for that place to do. I had one cop following me. Well, I suggest watching it, but I had basically had one cop following me the entire time, and he wouldn't stop. Like he, he would just get stuck, and it was the most annoying thing in the entire world. Right, I think there might be a cop around here. Yep, but he didn't see me. Surprisingly. I imagine the cop. Imagine if you were doing this entire challenge and the cops didn't see you. They're like, is this some hoax? Like, if, if they were real, which obviously they're not. Just AI videoing vehicles. But if that was the case. Oh, well, we're going to meet one here, so it's not like we can. Unless we can do that and just... There we go. Ah, oh, well he didn't go and help that, uh... Help that. He didn't go ahead. Oh, move that way. Well, you want to go on coming late, mate? Okay. And there was already a cop in the oncoming lanes, because that makes complete sense. If you're... Yep. Just force them into traffic, that's... Oh, I was hoping that could spin him out. God, this car does not have grip. Or speed, to be honest. 
what the hell did he just say? I didn't even understand. It didn't even sound like English. Oh, I was hoping he would crash into a tree. Hurry, yes. I'm trying to hurry. It's kind of difficult to do. Once with this car and all these cops, like, slung you down. That is the one downside. And I just realised we're going to be driving this thing. I'm going to have to drive through six roadblocks and then escape. And that could have been used to cut some time. Which they just did. Oh my god. They just slow me down. And if I lose because of that, I'm going to be so angry. Do not fall back. Well, I would. Where were you? I would fall back. I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna make this. I think. Yep, we're just gonna make this. There we go. With six seconds left. God, that was difficult. <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna do whatever this next challenge is, which is dodge six police roadblocks. Yes, I. Did not that. Yeah, we have dodging six please Roblox. Oh, that's in a Dodge Viper. Please just and I'm not even driving. Right, I'll tell you what we're gonna have to do. There's a cop up here. I managed to get them to give me six well not six, but a few police Roblox earlier. By just going around in a circle around that thing. Like up here, so I'm gonna try and do that. Because there's only certain places where the game will spawn. Oh, look, there's a cop in front of me now. Driving up, that wasn't driving off the wrong way. They also nearly lost me, which they didn't do earlier. Right. So let's just drive around this circle, and hopefully they will spawn a few police roadblocks. They're now also driving through the the campus. That is absolutely surprising. Move. There we go. Sorry, family of babies. That is Barry Bugs term. Why am I using it? I mean, I like watching Barry Bugs, but uh, yeah, that's not going to work. And they're not spawning Roblox. Ah, here we go. Right, we've got the first one. They've used these because of, for some reason, I don't know why. It's an SUV light. Oh, and that really is light because that got absolutely decimated for no... Like, I don't even understand how that worked. I don't think that's realistic, honestly. Going, we're just going to continue going around the circle like this. There we go. That's another one. So we've just got like four more laps of this, and uh, that should have fixed the issue if it's doing it like once a. Hopefully this plan will keep working. If it doesn't, that is not great. In fact, I think I'm losing them there. That's so annoying. Don't worry, you haven't lost me. Well, you were the one that was on the school campus uh, first. Come on! Give me a. Give me a roadblock. This plan is not a clever one. I've noticed anymore. 
it was working, and now it's not. Oh, now you give me that. I don't want them. Right, so I'm going to just drive on the freeway. Hopefully they will give me something. God, they just took out that person. And they've lost me again. And I think the only ones following me now are heavies. Yeah. Oh, the Roblox, there we go. Right, okay. Yeah, that was the one that I drove through. Ooh. Oh, no, it isn't. Ah! There's a Roblox up there and then it disappeared because I'm going to move away. I hate it when that happens. And now the cop isn't following me because he's an idiot. There we go, come on. And then you're going to spawn a heavy vehicle through here, probably, I'm assuming. I want them to spawn a roadblock. Doesn't seem to be happening. Oh no, you have spawned a roadblock. Thank you. Come on, there we go. This way. This way, buddy. Force him over. Well, that ain't happening. Oh, I was hoping there was a horn. I forgot that he isn't in this game. That's a really sad thing. Oh, right, there we go. That's quite close. And in fact, we're going to have to go through two cars there, I noticed. Right, there we go. And then the game's probably going to take a while before it gives me the last one. Because, oh no! Surprisingly, it did not. There we go. Right, that problem solved. So now we just have to evade. Alright, it's giving me one more, just because it wants to be nice. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the... I think there's a... Yeah, we're going to meet another cop around here. I knew it. Yeah, no shit. Oh god. We're going to have to drive right through that, like that. There we go. Right, where's the... Are we going to go have to go at the same... No. In here, in here. There we go. We're hiding, which is what we need to do. I won. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from the Insane Gamers. And Tara. Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I'm from the Insane Gamers. This is part 12 of the challenge series of Need to be Most Wanted 2005. And uh, we're going to be doing this Tollbooth time trial, and then this uh, this infraction, evade the police pursuit with a minimum of five infractions. Okay, so what car have we got? I have no idea. Automatic, of course. Um, and then tomorrow's video will be part 13, obviously. Then we got, um, a little bit of schedule here. We've got Watch Dogs, uh, Hello Ridge, 26 and 27, Watch Dogs again, and then more needs to be most wanted. Right, we're in Lexus LS300. That's a bit loud. Because uh, I have a speaker now, I, well, I always did have a speaker, but I have a sound bar. Because obviously speakers are built into a TV. No, um, yeah, I have a sound bar, and it's very nice. But, uh, all I'm going to say to that is, <laughs> I'm just trying to get used to uh, getting the correct volume for where I can hear the sound nice, but it doesn't get picked up by the uh, 
uh, mic form, which can be a problem, obviously. You've received 911 reports about a dangerous driver. Well, to be fair, I think I will be phoning 911 in this instance about me driving like this. Can we cut through there? Nope. Which sucks. We almost hit both of them, people. I like the fact that the game is literally just trying to slow me down there. It's like, you're going too fast. I'm just going to spawn as many cars as possible in the lane that you're in. We're going to say hello to the police officer soon. There we are. That looks like it. we had the brakes on, but we didn't. We have apparently the Fast and Furious acceleration of Nitrous, which is what I realised this um, looks, looks like it's from. I think that cop hit her. Go move that way. No, you don't. Alright, okay. We're now slightly drifting out of control, so. We can get past this cop. And then another one just magically spawned in front because it's this game. There we go. I hit him and he probably got angry there. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the wall. I knew I was gonna hit the wall. I was like, no point trying to even stop that. Alright, we'll just drive on the side of the road here. There we go, spinning round. Like a record, baby. Right round, right round. God, that was an absolute shit joke. Yes, let's cut through here. Let's make the cop drive through his own thing that will destroy him. As we drive on top of the police car. We've just got rid of all the cop cars, I think. But one will magically spawn in front of me again because it's. I was gonna say it's GTA, it's not GTA, it's. <laughs> Need to be most wanted. But cop cars spawning in front of you happen in GTA as well. And we're coming up to the end here at the upcoming toll booth. I'm gonna drive on the oncoming lanes. There we go. And smash through the tub on the opposite lane. There we go. Right, we're done. Let's move on to the infractions. That'll be easy. Speeding. There it is. Yeah, speeding, like excessive speeding. <laughs> Uh, hitting cars, so yeah, hitting signs, t hitting a police vehicle, and uh, hit and run basically. There we go, that's what we need to do. So we'll just. Well, what's going to say? We're gonna, we've hit nothing! Right. Let's hit this sign here, damage property. There we go. Smash into that. Yep, damage the property. Hit and run. Apparently, destroyed the cop car. There we go. That's apparently not counting as me hitting the cop car, which is. Can't go that way, apparently. Copy that, Bravo 4 2. Detailing units now. Come on, let's just. Are we really not getting speeding at this point? Seriously, game. Right, you gonna force me over? Drowning police people, level up. Just we need. Oosh. I did not realize they were gonna come. I didn't hear them. Ooh, and that's a lorry. Like that truck being there just scared me. There we go. Yeah, you're not. You're not gonna do that game. I know you want me to, but it's not gonna work. I'm going to go as fast as humanly possible in this Lexus, which is not accelerating very quickly, admittedly. And just 
I'm just going to keep going until you give me excessive speeding which I think you have to break 180 mile an hour which I'm not too sure if this Lexus can that's a big problem I'm trying to think of anything else oh driving off a roadway huh. well I need to now evade forgot driving off the roadway was even a thing <laughs> alright just destroy everything here I mean what are they going to do That looked cool, that was like Michael Bay. Evade, and then just turn this corner up here. Shit. Ugh. That's so stupid, why is there a cop coming in here? That's so unfair. What the hell? I think the cop was despawned now. I hope the cop was despawned because I'm going back that way. But it might not have. I would also have no nitrous because I'm not driving at speed. This is a jump, I know that much. Oh, I hate this because it's going to... Right, can we go forward please? There we go. And uh, in the hiding spot. Right. For a pursuit that sort of like resulted in me getting hit by a truck, that went quite well. Right, so that's the end of uh, part 12. Thank you very much for watching. And ta -ra. Stay tuned tomorrow for part 13. Hello everyone, my name's Rob. I'm from the Insane Gamers. And this is part... 13 of Need Speed Most Wanted 2005, we're doing the challenge series That's why it's part 13 Watch the original Let's Play If you want to, if you haven't If you've just joined the channel And, um, well We've got a top of time trial And then we've got this, which it doesn't say what it is So, we're just going to do the top of time trial We're going to find out what car we're in Because obviously the game does not tell you until You are in the car uh, We are in... Oh, Renault Clio. Oh, my God. It's a Clio Sport, I'll give it that, but uh, it's a Renault Clio. That's... Do they even sell these in the US? I mean, I've seen plenty of these living in Britain, but specifically the ones that look like this. I mean, I think the modern Clio looks much better than this thing, but uh, yes. This is not, it's a nice hot hatchback, I guess, but uh, it's not a great car. It's not a car I would choose to drive in this game, It's all I'm going to say. But uh, that's what the challenge series is for, just giving you random cars to try out. And oh look, the police are being called on us. A wanted, so I'm a wanted suspect apparently. Well, no, I do have heat level 3. That makes sense. I can't believe that. I don't think we're going to be able to outrun level 3 police in a Renault Clio. I honestly do not know if we can. Oh, that's where the officer was. I thought he was further up ahead. Look, it's front wheel drive as well, this car. Well, it might be rear wheel drive in this game, but I'm pretty sure it's front, it's front wheel drive in real life. That person is dead. I don't think the cop actually managed to make it around the corner without crashing into something. There's an officer up ahead, so let's just drive on the wrong side of the road. There we go, what are you going to do now? Watch it, the game will be like, yeah, we need to spawn those like heavy duty cars. Oh, they've lost me. Which is nice. Uh, but they haven't now. But they had legitimately lost me, which was nice. I don't think I've ever had that happen. So I'm just going to smash through this thing up here. 
I'm just gonna force the oxo to try for it. Ah, oh, and then it just spawns her. Oh no! <laughs> I think we might have screwed this up now. I was try. God, I was trying to force the cop into. What am I even hitting? I was trying to force the cop into doing that, but it failed. Which will be the first time I'm pretty sure we've had to... No, I, there was that one where I failed, but I cut it out of the video. But I'm not cutting that one out of the video because it took so long. Ooh. But we might make it because I think we got a little bit of a gap. Whether it was enough, I don't know. God, these cops are just speeding through the city without a care in the world. Ugh. That does not help. You get up to speed in this Renault and then it just... You crash and then it slowly accelerates again. It's not great. And I do like Renaults. I just... This is not a Renault that I would choose. Admittedly. We might make this. If we're lucky. <gasps> Another truck! God's sake, game. It's like it's trying to kill me now. There we go, we've got four seconds added time that's I'm just where we were on 10 that's from hitting that truck now I'm gonna go the right way because I'm a good driver and I drive safely <clears throat> where even oh yeah it's through this tunnel they've lost me they're gonna see me again no they're not oh maybe he is but then he's gonna despawn Hurry, yes, okay. If this cop gets out of the way, I'll be able to make it. We made it. With three seconds left. Wasn't great. <laughs> Admittedly. If I hadn't have hit that truck, I would have been fine. Right, let's move on to whatever the next challenge is, because we have no idea what it is. Uh, trade paint. Evade the pli Why is that locked? Oh, I have to beat one of these challenges, that's why I chose blue. Uh, tag minimum of eight cop cars, okay. In a Renault Clio? Ugh. <laughs> God. <laughs> yep, we're still in the Clio. And they're all behind me. So just get on a freeway and then just wait for them to... It's a Renault. Uh, no, it's a Renault. But, uh... Because that's how it's pronounced, but uh, do, do you actually have these in the US? I don't know. Please, if you are an American, please comment if you have Renaults. Specifically the Renault Clio. I hit that cop, pretty sure. There we go. <gasps> Big lorry. You helped me, truck. Thank you so much. <laughs> I didn't want to be heading this way, but... Uh... Spe I'll get speeding now. Oh, I must have got speeding earlier in the Lexus then. Oh, God. Here we go. God. Mm-hmm. Who would have known the Renault has could smash through something like that? Smash through a Roblox. Look how many are following. Sorry, pizza. <laughs> Boy, you're going to be late for your delivery. Okay. that You're slightly destroyed already, so I know I've hit you. Or maybe I hadn't, but... Uh... Right. Can you spawn a police car in front of me again? Then I can hit it. Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, no shit, I'm not stopping. When I hit a truck, I didn't stop, did I? So, there we go, now evade. Right. Can I spin this cop out? No, apparently not. I can't force him to hit a K 
kill a family, but uh, probably shouldn't make that joke. Uh, <laughs> this is America around right about. There we go. And uh, through here, through into the college stadium. Uh, next game going to be a bit delayed, guys. Sorry. Right, and then down here. I thought that was a hiding spot down there. Just can't go that way. Is this stadium? This must be stadium. Stadium Boulevard. Right, go back through the. I forgot that that would be in the way, but I think we can drive around it. Yeah. They can see. Who can see me? Who is it? Oh, we've got hiding. What the? So he's driving past me, but he can't see me because I'm in a hiding spot. That makes logical sense. That was certainly an entertaining pursuit. <laughs> Honestly. What have we got next? If only to find out for the next video. So we have complete this toll booth and we have cost of state. Okay, I have no idea what car it's gonna be. Then we're gonna have a toll booth and whatever that is. Right, so yes, I've been Rob being from the Insane Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. Hello and everyone, my name's Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers. This is part 14 of Need Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. <laughs> And uh, we've got a toll booth time trial and uh, cost state to do. Now, last time, uh, part 13, we had an issue. It was very unlucky, actually. Uh, I just realised that was kind of ironic. Um, we had an issue with the audio. It really happened in part 12, but uh, because I recorded both of them back to back, obviously that meant that uh, it happened with the audio for part 13 as well so basically uh, I haven't actually tested the audio <laughs> I really should have but uh, no so if, if there's no audio I do apologize but that it'll be like that for 14 and 15 but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it anyway so let's let, let's go into this uh, you may be able to hear my uh, the, sp the speaker in the, of the uh, like the audio coming out of my my speaker which, if you can, well, hopefully, that'll be good enough audio, like it was last time. Uh, so yeah, we have a Chevy Cobalt, which is the car that I started. Need for speed in. Well, most wanted anyway, specifically. This is the car that I always choose because it is the cheapest. I think it's the cheapest anyway. I might be wrong, and I might be the. No, I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest car you can get, but it's. Like, uh, it's the cheapest, but you can modify it really quickly. I think. And this one is going really quickly. I don't think I would ever drive. I don't know if I did drive this car in uh, Rockport itself, like this area, the city part, but I might have. Right, we're gonna go this way because it's quicker. We don't want to go around a long way. And we may meet some police. Uh, I don't really want to, but you never know. This one also seems to be quite. Oh god, free! Damn, <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't spot me. I was like, <laughs> free cops? No, there's uh, sorry, there was two trucks heading towards us, and I realised there was a cop there, so that's why I said free for some reason. Yeah, that's because uh, I'm trying to do something and you guys are getting in the way. Yeah, you can't get me there now, can you? God, we're, do we we're doing 180 mile an hour in this thing? And now we're like, we hit a wall there, so we slowed down, that was annoying. And we've lost the cops, and there's going to be one ahead of us. Hello. 
could have, well, basically we're doing that, aren't we? There we go. God, this car ha sounds really powerful as well. I don't know if this has got Junkman parts on it, which if you don't know what Junkman parts are, it's basically the highest level part in this game. It's past the Pro, or the, I can't remember what the top parts of this uh, game is, but basically, you unlock them for doing the Burger King challenge, which is a challenge I've already done, but I'm going to have to redo it because it was technically part of the challenge series. But it's like a little code that you have to enter on the uh, main menu and then you can do it. I probably won't be able to because I've already done it for this Let's Play. It'd be like, yeah, you've already done it. But uh, I'm going to try and enter the code anyway and do it. Or you could just watch, it's either part 4 or 5. Because I didn't know I was going to be doing the challenge series, so I did it then. I was like, I'm going to show people what this uh, Burger King challenge is, because it's really cool. But uh, yeah, it's the last challenge series event, technically. Unless I get the Black Edition, but that didn't get, a X that didn't get an Xbox 360 release, so can't really. But uh, if I get the PS2 version again, I'll do that. Yeah, 182 mile an hour. Oh. <laughs> And right into a wall, basically. Yeah, you've lost me. There we go. They lost sight of me going through there, so... They're not going to be very happy, are they? If I do the next challenge, which I'm going to be doing. Yay. Right, let's move on to this. Where is it? There it is. The cost to state, 50,000. That's always fun. I love doing cost to state events. I don't really. But, um, because <coughs> they can be somewhat annoying. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because we've got all here at 1,000. There, and you just have to hit things, don't you? So, hit trees and lampposts. If we can actually hit any of this stuff. And people! Yep, there we go. That was a problem because. Like, we were rammed from behind, which for some reason slowed us down. Don't really want to hit the truck. I know where to go. Yes! Look at all the damage here. Trying to do a U-turn, probably not the best idea. But I was wanting to hit the golf caddies. And smash back through here. And apparently kill that family. I'm <laughs> that is going to get this video demonetized. I need to stop saying that. Ah, not very quick off road, I will admit that. Hit a van and that was come on. No! Oh, damn you! Fuck <laughs> We're gonna get busted! <laughs> Move! <laughs> damn you family of people! This car needs to go faster. My god! We're gonna have to take out some of these cops, I think. Just hit everything. I can't remember if taking out the cops increases your cost. It probably does. There we go. We're gonna smash through the hospital now. And the cops are following us because they are absolutely mental. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't follow me. No, I haven't damaged my vehicle. Sorry. I know you want that to take place, but it, it's not good. 
to the roadblock around here. And there was some cars having sex, apparently. Right. There we go. That sorted that out. Didn't really want to lose the cops, admittedly. We're gonna have to go back in. I say I have to try fighting, which is might be slightly impossible for him. <laughs> that is a bit of an issue. No, you haven't lost me. I'm gonna have to try and get. That, that has not gone well. Come on. I'm here. No, I'm not running. I'm just here. I know what I'm going to have to do. God, drive around here. Oh. Oh, no, that's my banner, damn. I was like, I've got my thing all the way up. No, right, round here. That, that was a good idea, but it just, for losing the cops, it just sort of failed for the challenge. What is my cost to, unless I've... God, if I have already done the correct thing, I'm gonna be so annoyed. I think I have, haven't I? God. Shit, that's not going well. Right, they've crashed. Yes, because the thing's been... <laughs> that was just me being idiotic. Because it would be like, you failed if I... There we go. That's not really hiding, admittedly. Also, that's... Whatever that's ha whatever is happening there is, like, not good. <laughs> yes, I, I won, but I just hadn't realised it. Wow. <laughs> In all the messages that came up on screen, I just had not realised that. Ah, uh, well. Right, let's move on. Well, let's not move on, because that will be part 15. But yeah, I've been Rob, being from the Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. And to wrap. Hello, everyone. My name's Rob. I'm from the Instagram. This is part 15. And it's been most wanted. The challenge series. If the audio is uh, messed up again, well, oops. But uh, I'm recording this in a block with part 14. So, uh... If the if the audio failed, well, that was an accident that happened. Um, let, we've got a total of time trial, and we've got a bounty. We just had a bounty of uh, 51,000. So we're just going to have to basically do that again, aren't we? Uh, I think it's because we destroyed, like, about 18 million cop cars in the same space. What are we in? We're in a Porsche Carrera S, I believe this is. So a 911 Carrera S. Oh, no, it's a Turbo S. I believe it's a 911. Could be wrong. Immediate nitrous is basically what I do. And we can't see the interior, it's not tinted. I do like the fact that they did model the interior, even though well, not really, but No, they have they have modeled the interior, no it's completely worthless because there is no interior view in this game. This is when EA used to give a shit and actually used to model things correctly. And I might have to point that out on a Reddit gaming, but uh... That guy... Yeah, if he is... I've just done a hit and run, basically, haven't I? <laughs> Suspects driving a black Porsche? Yeah, why? Why would you stay on the line? Yeah, so I've just seen a black Porsche driving around town, absolutely murdering a whole bunch of people, but uh, I'm just going to hang up now because I have work to go to. I'm going to meet Mr. Police Officer over here. Yes, I was hoping that uh, we were going to be hidden past this thing, because the car is quite small, but apparently not. 
and now I'm stuck doing this voice. That's oh, right, right. This is the thing where we sort of started the game, and this car is going to slow down. Come on. Let's go. I didn't save that car. Are we going to take the short route? Yes, we are. I didn't want to ram some traffic, but I ended up doing it. I like the fact that we this Porsche can't get up to the same speed that the uh, previous, the, <laughs> that the Cobalt SS, the modified one did. God, that is, and we are losing control. Because, of course, Porsche's engine in the back. Which, of course, you know, means it's, you can lose control, basically. There we go. Uh, so we went over 165 miles an hour. I don't know what we went over in the in the uh, Cobalt, but I believe it may have been faster. And let's move on to the next challenge series event, which is the uh, bounty. Yes, completed and get a bounty of 50,000. We did it in a Cobalt, but we uh, almost died. Well, we almost got arrested. Can we do it in this? Well, apparently we're going to smash through all that. Right, that is destroy. Oh no! That doesn't increase our thing. I was just checking. I like. You'd think I'd know by now, but uh, no. But doing things like driving off the roadway and stuff does increase that value. Interesting. Charlie 21. Pulling up right behind you. I'm on your six. I believe that may have been the post. Oh well. Also, we have no. Uh, we, we need to get on the uh, freeway, but. Uh, Some of them are going to drive through the gas pump. No, they're not. I thought they were. Do I want to? We've destroyed a few of them. Right, there we go. I'm okay with that. Come on, just follow me and then eventually... They will ha yes, roadblock. Which is what we need. Holy crap, that was a lot of them. I was also hoping it was actually going to destroy a couple of those cars, but uh, apparently not. Uh, trying to take, I was trying to take that back. There we go. Oh, hit and run. Right, there we go. We're going to take you out. Sorry, buddy. Am I? Well, yeah, I'm still mobile, I guess. Come on. You need to get up to a fast speed. Also, this I believe this sort of works as a pursuit brick, even though it's not this good one. No. It doesn't. Golf course. That's always fun. That is not very fun, like, vibration-wise on the controller. Is all I'm going to say. <laughs> Aw, I was hoping those cops were going to hit that car. I'm surprised some of those cops didn't hit those. Come on.
That took out a unit? I wasn't expecting that. Oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. And we don't want to take that out. We just want to get right here into this hiding spot. Even though a unit might come in and spot us, but technically they can't because we're in the hiding spot. There we go. We won! Three minutes, 40 seconds. There we go. And, uh,. Rob has been saved. Apparently, right. So, I think Rob been from these games. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, next time, we have, I can tell you, we have this uh, Tobo of Tantra, and we have this Pursuit Evasion. That's for part 16. And for part 17, we have this Tobo of Time Trial and this Roadblock, but I don't know what that is. So, yes. Thank you very much for watching. And ta-ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Instant Gamers. This is part 16, News Be Most One, the challenge series. Let's uh, move on. Straight out in Toll Booth, get this right over and done with. Because it's Toll Booth and uh, they're not the most exciting, admittedly. Um, so what? Uh, we've got an Aston Man DBS, which is kind of a nice car. I think that's a DBS. No, it's a DB9. Aston Mans do look a lot alike, but let's be honest. I don't think the DBS was out. I think it came out the year after this. Oh uh, when this game came out. Well, oh no, yeah, this game is 2005. Uh, I knew I was going to hit that car. We, look, we got four level, four star police, or four heat level police, whatever you want to say. Just script that car. The Aston Martin kind of wide, it feels like. Or maybe it's just my controller is dying. Perhaps that's what's happening. There we go. We got through that. I thought we weren't going to make it. I swear to God, though, if we don't make it because of all the AI cars getting in the way, that's going to be so annoying. Let's just cheat and go this way because we can. We might not make this one, although we probably will. Hopefully, we will anyway. Full throttle, come on. I think this one's designed to be tight. Certainly seems that way. Oh, cop. There we go. Get through that tow booth, which the cop just totally took out. We're going to do that. We're also going to go through this shortcut here. There is technically shortcuts around here, but I don't like them. I know where we're going to go, I think. We're probably going to go straight ahead at this intersection. Yep. Probably should have checked beforehand, but uh, yeah. Right, we're going to... Use the speed brake on the corners to uh, brake speed. That was an absolute shit job. And... Uh, you know, so we don't lose control on the corner, basically. Yes, this one is going to be a tight one, I think. I think this one is designed to just be really tight, or maybe it's just because of my uh, absolute incompetence at the beginning, hitting all those cars. Who knows? Well, we've got a minute and a half, basically. And we're going to take out these cops. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. By doing this. That way they won't be a pain. Although, knowing me, they will spawn to my head. How did I know? <laughs> Come on, we can do this. The annoying thing is, of course, we're going to have, like, this heat level at 
when we do the actual challenge series itself. Come on. How fast can we get this car up to? 180 mile an hour, anyway? Oh, well, we're losing speed by going, hitting these jumps slightly. And they hit me. Guys, you don't want me to be causing collisions. They're above me. They lost me, really. Well, I guess that's good. I don't have to worry about them. There we go. 13 seconds left. Right. Let's move on to the next event. Don't know what it is. Well, I, I can't remember if it said what it was. Uh, it is pursuit version of the in less than three minutes. Oh god, it is a uh, heat level four. Though this may take a few tries. I also noticed that someone commented saying they love these challenge series events, so I'm going to keep doing them. Right. Okay. Immediately left turn. Full throttle. This is silver? What? They're losing me slightly, I think. Oh no, they're not. Because of the cop in front. Come on. Oh, they lost visual, but... Didn't inside of me. Uh. Well, that failed, didn't it? Right, okay, and we're gonna run out of speed breaker, there we go. This way. We're hitting everything. This is not going well. Hit yes, there we go. Hit take all of them out. God, that's a helicopter! Oh, come on! I'm restarting that, because that, that is bullshit. It shouldn't have spawned the helicopter above me. Like, I know some people don't like me restarting, but seriously? That one is complete bullshit. Move out of the way. Go this way. There's no point trying to do that now, is there? Cut through here. And go back into the park. And we're gonna go through this little gap here. Are they following? They better be following. As we crash into everything. Right, you can't follow me anymore. Right, and then just, I'm assuming just turn left and... Oh no, one spawned in front of me this time! And the cops can apparently do U-turns better than me! Oh, and uh, now there's a helicopter again. Yay! Don't call them out anymore. Right, go through here. This is apparently one. I didn't know it was. Who would have knew? Turning this way. I'm gonna. Hmm. It's certainly an idea that I just thought of. Getting onto the freeway and then going through the tunnel. Yeah, we just lost him. 
Ah! You're kidding me, right? That just spawned. The fact that that just spawned in is absolute bullshit. That's the one thing I do hate about this game. Right. Hopefully we won't spawn any right. And hopefully we can find a cooldown spot. Where was he? Where was I spotted? I know where to go. It's probably not going to work though. It might though. In here. That should work. We shouldn't be able to find it. Which I hate doing this because like... It takes forever, basically, to do a proper cooldown. And that is spazzing out. Oh, so I love the just. Yes, there's a police car up there. I, I never would have guessed. I was hoping we could go into like six, but whatever. No. We can only go into second. And the car automatically puts us down in first anyway. God, that is a lot of boost, I just realised. There we go. <laughs> right, we've done that. So thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for part 17 tomorrow. I've been Robin from Insane Gamers. And ta -ra. Well, until this is part 17 of Halo, uh, of Halo Reach. No, this is Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. Uh, Tub of time trials, what we've got to do, and we've got to dodge at least eight police roadblocks for the second event. Okay, let's do that. That shouldn't be that difficult, but then again, the previous event was kind of difficult. We did it on our second try, it was only because of the fact that. Oh, and we've got a ma what is this, a Master RX 7? Yes, yeah, so that's weird. Wouldn't have chose sure this as a car, but oh god, that also was a really bad start because I let go of the acceleration. But, uh. That is the Wankel rotary engine, and that is not swearing YouTube. If you want to demonetize the video, although to be fair, I don't really care anymore, I don't give a shit. Uh. <laughs> that was swearing. Uh, basically. Yeah, I don't care anymore about YouTube demonetizing because, well, you'll find out next one. I think their new rules are absolute garbage. And I'm gonna have a video complaining about that. But, uh. Oh! I thought we were gonna smash right through the top of the thing. Didn't want to do that. Near Forest Green Country Club. How long is there on the right? Come on. We're gonna meet a cop up here. And he's gonna be like, what the hell? Oh no, apparently not. Oh ho ho! There we go. I honestly was not expecting to. This game is just trying to kill me at this point now, isn't it? You just know it is. I did that because I thought I wasn't gonna make that. What the hell happened there? Seriously, I wanna know what the hell happened. Because, like, those things just fell off the track. It was like the game was deliberately trying to, like, kill me. Oh, the cop must have been up, been up there. So it's like, where's this cop? You've got to go through five tour booths. That's interesting. We're also driving oncoming because it's fun. Although we've reached what I appear what appears to be the top speed of the car. 
Oh look, there's a cop here. I was hoping we could... Yeah, drive that way. Buddy. Hmm, well, that failed. He's running. Well, it's not like I could really slow down. To be fair. I'm sure you would run if you were doing a tour with Chris. Which I'm sure we'll find that out later in the challenge series. You lost vision. You were following me on... This isn't even on coming. That was the crack side of the road. Cop over there, right? Dispatch, this is Charlie two four closing in from the southeast of code six. Ignore quiet request. Right, come on. How fast can we get this car to? Oh, why did I do that? That was longer. But I guess it avoided a cop, maybe. No other cops in front of me. I should have gone the other way. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. There we go. <laughs> that I don't know what the hell that cop's doing in the photo, but uh, it's doing something. <laughs> right, let's move on to uh, what's going to be eight roadblocks. That's going to be fun. He said sarcastically, it's not. That's going to be absolutely boring. Uh, probably. But we have a topic there. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to do everything. We're going to do all... 68, well he is 70 technically if we had the black edition, but we don't have the black edition, so sadly we're not going to do it. Oh my god, look how many cops. That way! Bye! That would be useful if we could evade, but that's... Oh, god. <laughs> they aren't really trying to spawn them, are they? In armor. It looks like. God, they are really trying to force a thing, aren't they? As well. How did they flip upside down? Wow. Well, and they're trying to box me in, I think. Well, that's not going to work. Because the master is nimble. And, uh. Pontiacs? I'm not sure if they are. Especially, well, I can pick them, so that implies to me that they're quite heavy. I didn't actually, but uh, if you want to go with that for your reason why you lost me, um, I just realised this was completely worthless because I'm meant to be getting roadblocks and not losing them. That did not go well. I should probably cut that one out. I'll just save it as like a separate video. Anyway, no, I'm not going to do that because I'd be wrong. Oh, and it's probably going to give me spikes for a Roblox as well, which I don't know if they're going to count. Hopefully they will. Right, just follow me and then you're eventually going to have to give me a Roblox. You can just hit something there. Let's drive on coming because we can. There we go. Why are you spawning these guys in? I don't know, but they are. Now they're going on coming themselves. Because all these cops are absolutely the most dumbest drivers in the world. No, seriously, they are. That's a tree that I could have hit. You're going to 1045 this vehicle, are you? Well, I can't remember what 1045 is, but I'm pretty sure it's not a roadblock. I'm pretty sure it stands for pit, actually. Move. Oh, now they lost me. Wow, this is really a shit. To oh, roadblock in front of me! Vehicle 
which I don't even have to worry about because the cop took it out. <laughs> and it still counted for me, which is great. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Thanks, game. I love you so much. Are you going to send a cop down here? Yeah, you are. Thank you. I need the cop to follow me. And I also want to make sure this cop doesn't get hit, but he's driving into everything. And I'm now trying to think of the American football team name for... Stop trying to pit me. For Rockbox, that's what we just drove past. Um, I'm going to call them... I can't think of one. If anyone wants to think of one, please. Uh, put it in the comment section. I won't, no, normally they rhyme. Actually, no, they don't, because... Los Angeles Raiders, that does not rhyme. Well, not rhyme, but like alliteration. You lost visual stamina. You want to get visual back in a second. Here you go, when we avoid this red line. There we go. Look at me, my amazing skills. And you've lost me again. You have the absolute worst police officer. What? Where even are you? Like, see if these guys need to go back to to shoot train. Look, he's down here. What the hell is he doing? And now he's trying to drag away from me. Yeah, they're gonna de. It's gonna despawn. And then there's like a thing up here. So that was a crash. This is just absolute. Garbage. Well, you know what helps in running a roadblock? When a police car spawns in front of you. Look! I'm gonna lose these guys. Look at that! You're not, are you? Because. Is there a spike strip here? No. We're only on six. I might just, I might as well just wait here. Because apparently I'm going to evade the cops. Because apparently these guys don't count. Do I just have to wait here to get them to spawn a cop in or something? Yeah, right, okay. I'm just going to pay, no, no, that's evading. It's not really. There we go, come on, and then that's probably going to bust me. There we go, you spawned a cop in for me now. But even that hasn't really worked. Because you're reversing into a... Let's just watch this. Let's just enjoy what we are witnessing. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. It's you. You want to try pass, buddy? There you go. Thing is, as soon as backup's going to spawn, it's going to, like, surround me. I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> he spawned up here. Right, there we go. Let's... Do a U-turn. Oh god, now we're getting surrounded. No, he just came out in front of me. There we go. Right, we got rid of that whole issue. I didn't even see him coming up. I wasn't paying attention. That's how much bore like that's how much boring. That's how boring that was, right? Come on. Spawn some more police in. And then Right, you can put some roadblocks there for me. And then I'm gonna get two more and I can just lose you and then you can get out of the way, I you can calm down. Well knowing me. If that'll happen, and the game will be like, no, I must, I will not let you leave. That's what's going to happen. With the AI. Right, back up, yes, come on, give me some backup. I want backup, I don't want... Right, okay, so there's backup arriving now. There we go, they're in front of me. Good, I wanted backup. 
because that might also mean drop box as well at the same time. Oh no, the, the backup have decided to not follow me. The, the, there is a roadblock in here. When is, oh god, that's not. Right, let's full throttle and uh, get past there. We go. I thought that was a spike strip, it wasn't. Look at the amount of cops here now. None of which are following me. Fun. So let's do a U-turn, because unless that's a thingy comp, which I don't really want to deal with. There we go. Alright, let's go this way. Problem is once they get like once they lose me, they just lose all sense of wanting to that didn't count. That didn't count as a roadblock, you kidding me? Seriously? Do I have I'm gonna have to do another U-turn because the roadblock's still on the map. Oh god, I'm gonna have to be driving into the cops. No, that's This is, is this gonna be how it ends? No, it's not. Luckily. It might it might be how it ends. I don't want it to end like this. I don't want it to end like this. <laughs> I need nitrous. <laughs> yes, do fall back. <laughs> My plan failed. I need one more roadblock. There we go. There we go, roadblock. Oh, it's all heavy, please. But we can just avoid him. It looks like. There we go. Right, we've evaded. We've done our challenge. We're gonna go in here. Why would this one down here? I know they will, because it's this game, but. I can't tell if that's actually a cop up ahead. Oh, no, it was just lights. Was I? I don't think I was, but I could have probably made that. But who knows? I don't want to guess. So here's the cooldown spot. There we go. Which I think I'm pretty visible, but whatever. There we go. Eight minutes. Right. Done. Right. That was fun. He said sarcastically because it really wasn't. Okay, so tomorrow is probably going to be Watch Dogs. So yeah, I've been Robin from the Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. And ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I'm from the Instagram. This is part 18 of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. And we have Tub of Time Trial here. We also have this trip hint, but I have no idea what the actual challenge is because it's currently locked, as you just saw there. Uh, let's. I'm going to adjust my seat while it loads, so... There we go. <laughs> so if you wondered what that was, you knew. Um, ooh, we've got a Lamborghini Merch Lager. That's a very nice car. And of course, uh, well, you can't see in a Lamborghini Merch Lager. We've got a perfect launch program there. I can't remember it. Well, I know that's happened a few times, but I can't remember it ever happening on a... On a uh, Challenge Series event. But apparently it did, so... Yay. It's uh, full speed with the nitrous. Cut through here. And we're losing control. So we had to basically well I wouldn't really call it cheating. It's called abusing the speed breaker for your benefit. <laughs> and we're now being called in by some that we must have overtook. Oh, maybe it's the fact that it's, you know, this game and it's just new to us. And we're gonna, oh, hello, Miss Police Officer, there you are. Oh, level 4 police this time. That, that'll be interesting. And we're out. We're gonna, I was gonna say we're gonna crack into a wall. Right? No, we, we could have, but I don't think we were. Right, there we go. Oh, smashing that person. That's probably worse for my insurance. <laughs> In theirs. 
But then again, I've never been in the Crash River Lamborghini, so who, what would I know? Right, sort of cutting on it. And just a thought, because there's been a whole bunch of uh, things with Twin Galaxies recently. Uh, people being removed from the scoreboard for cheating, but uh, what I wondered, oh god, there we go, we lost a whole lot of speed there, thanks for that car. Will you stop trying to slow me down? Seriously. Yeah. A, a question I wondered was, you lost visual on suspect, well I'm, oh god. That was, that wasn't great, I honestly, my virtual life flashed before my eye. Can we get past these stupid cops that are driving oncoming lanes? He says while doing it. No. Uh. Oh. Shit, I thought that was the end of it. I was about to let go. I was like, yep. Yeah, that's why I'm speaking so quick. No, uh, this whole Twin Galaxies thing, I wonder. What's the quickest speed run on this game? I mean, it's not something I'm going to do. Because I'm the speed run. But, it is something I wonder. Can we cut through here? Yes. I know we could, but I wasn't sure. Right, where's the news? Oh, just over the jump, really, isn't it? So I think going through that was a pretty good idea. Interesting how it says that we've got to go up there, but we have to go through the tunnel. Which means the final one, as we lose control, because the back end of this car is a bit squirrely, it seems like, is, uh, oh, that was a long way around. Why is going oncoming lanes always quicker in this game? We're going to meet a police officer. Hello, you better not slow me down. There we go. Yeah, I wonder what the uh, quickest speed run time in this game is. And I wonder if there's a video of it. I might, well, I'm not going to watch it, but I might take a look. In fact, you know what, I'll Google it right now. Uh, well, actually, I'll Google it for the next video, actually. Uh, trade, paint, there we go. Uh, 12 police vehicles, and escape, oh god. Got the tablet here. I'll just quickly Google it. Although I think the game... No, I'm not going to have time. There we go. Right. Right. <laughs> Let's go this way, come on. 12 vehicles we've got to hit. There we go. One. Two. Three, four, five. Ten forty-five. Ten forty-five. Roll back when I move in. Can't get around him. Yes, I'm being very. being very aggressive with my blocking. And I just know that the game's gonna spawn some... Are you kidding? Get out of the way. Six, there we go. Oh my god, this is just absolute chaos now. I can't even react. I knew they were gonna spawn. I hate them so much. And they all spawn in tunnels as well. You tried to spike strip me, well that wasn't gonna work, was it? And now the uh There we go, eight. I don't know what a 106, I can't remember what a 1065 is, but it doesn't sound good. Nine. Right, I'm gonna have to take some of them out. 
11. Oh, God. Out the way. There we go. Now evade. Right. Yeah, I've gone through the block, haven't I? Right. Well, no. I'm going to do everything I can to get away from Where is the... Because I can tell there was going to be a spike strip somewhere. Right, okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. That's the wall. That's a... A pillar. Right. you got to follow me in here. Right. I did, I went to the stadium, didn't I? Right. Back this way. Because we can get straight here and there we go, hiding. There we go. Right, thank you very much. For, uh, sorry, I had two attempts, and I don't. I probably was going to cut them out. If they weren't cut out, it's just. Well, I left them in. But I had two early attempts, and both times, the game had like. I was so close, I was on like 11. And the game was just spawning those. Like, it spawned like four of them. And they all. Both times. And they hit me, and I got busted twice, and it just annoyed me. That is the one annoying thing I am going to start to get kind of annoyed with this game for a little bit but I might go on a break soon actually for this but uh yeah thank you very much for watching and uh enjoy part 19 tomorrow hello everyone my name is Rob I'm from the Instagram this is part 19 of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 challenge series we got a tub of time trial and an, an infractions challenge to do but I found something interesting here. I said in uh, yesterday's video that I was going to find out uh, what the quick speed was, speed run is for uh, these people in 2005. And, uh, well, 3 hours and 45 minutes and 52 seconds by Kuru. Um, that's quite quick. Not exactly sure how they did that. Um, 8 hours and 41 minutes for by speed boost 21 for a 100% career completion and a challenge series JV with 4 hours 31 minutes and 43 seconds first place for it, doing all the challenge series I don't think we're going to get anywhere close to doing that and I don't know if that includes the uh, Burger King challenge or any of that but uh, yeah Tub of time trial infractions. Let's get on with this. That did not sound good for my console, but uh, I'm gonna go on regardless. And uh, oh, we've got Porsche Crew GT. That's interesting. We've apparently got Watch Dogs Part 45 tomorrow. Right? But um, I do apologise about last time, uh, the previous Watch Dogs video, where there was audio and video, well audio issues actually, it just went completely silent for a bit. That was how really the video was, and he deleted the original files before he gave it to me, so there was nothing really we I could do that about that. I would have said to him, uh, you know, comment over the video, you know, do a comment like I do for Halo, but uh, sadly, it was only the day before it went out that I noticed and we didn't know enough time basically, so I do apologise, but I'm pretty sure Power 45 is completely fine. Oh god, because I did check the rest of them. <gasps> oh god, I, if that affects, I am... Restarting. Because that was bullshit. And that was too, but that was my own fault. So I'm not... Yeah. I think I'm going to fail here. Yep, I'm gonna fail. 
Doesn't matter anyway, Carp, I failed. Oh. No, I haven't. <laughs> Maybe not. But that none of that helped. And if these cops try and slow me down though, like that, I'm just I'm gonna lose. I was so happy and then that entire thing happened with that truck. And AI cars. There we go. Yeah I did, didn't I? Well, I want to have to deal with them. Thank you for getting out of my way. Right. Even though there'll be some... Yep. Spawned over here and they're running everything down. You're such good police officers. Let me just take out all the traffic. Science. That's helpful. At least by doing that it means we can write tickets from people not knowing the speed limit. Right. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Get past. No, that didn't work. Yeah, I'm trying to push through. I wonder why. Because I'm not bothered about you guys. Yeah, I'm going to make this one. Oh! I don't think the, the, the suspension of this car works just like that game, but to... Apparently. Right, we might make this. But we've got another one to go after. And I was like, oh, this will be the final one. No. We, these are getting longer now. You need a hand in the air. Oh god, you're gonna send a thing, aren't you? Right there we go. Ugh. Right, we're good. Ugh, that was a hit. I'm honestly gonna be surprised if I make this last one. Looking at it. And that was a shortcut I probably could have took, but uh No, I did make it. Hmm. I dabbed myself the entire way. I hit nearly everything. Because the slight issue with the Porsche Crow GT is... At least to me it feels a bit... Well, it doesn't feel great to control. Uh, infractions, minimum of six infractions. We have also talked about time trial. Uh, for part 20. Good. Here we go. Attention all units. Attention all right. units. We have a code six party failing to stop for police. Supervisor requesting right. units Smashing on all call things. Right. No infractions for now. At least yet. Speeding. Ramming a police vehicle. I should drive him off the roadway at some point. Will be a thing right now. I was trying to get him to run there, but failed. Okay. My guess would be evasion. Oh, well, no point. Because the game would just spawn cut right on this. Hitting run, there we go. Driving off the roadway, which I can get by just driving through the forest green country club. There we go. Yep, there we go. And uh, I don't know what the Another infraction would be evasion, but see, spawning these things in. Luckily, that one wasn't. That is not gonna. There we go. Possibly damaged property, but I have no clue. Driving through one. Oh my God! This is. The cops themselves took out. Ah, oh, I mean, I can't. There we go. Damage property. Right. Got to escape. And of course, it spawns a helicopter in just because I need to do that. Of course, it does. Right. I need to somehow go faster than the helicopter. Which is unlikely to happen. As it's a helicopter, but whatever. Oh, God, that's air. That is a lot of air. And I can just avoid that completely. Right, 
have a couple you wanna. Don't. I can't remember what that means. Oh! They fight! Oh my. I can't believe I did that. Resisting arrest. I've used this trick twice now, it just works. Ah! No, you didn't. You didn't spot me at all. That is so annoying. And it. <laughs> I am technically hiding. But yeah. Okay. At least that one. I'm pretty sure it was my first attempt. <laughs> yeah, it was. The, I was getting slightly confused with the much longer one because I do record these at the same time. Right. I record these in doubles. So we have. In part 20, we have this tub of time trial. And it unlocked that for me. Hmm. That's pursuit length 10 minutes. What will that be? What kind of list be? I'm just going to Google it quickly while I have access to it. Uh, NFS Most Wanted Challenge Series. Let's just see, because this is number 39. And there's the uh, Need for Speed Wiki, of course. There we go. 39. Okay. So we have... The Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. Now, interestingly, I would say part 21, you're going to enjoy these two. Because now we're getting onto the civilian vehicles. As in, cars you are unable to get in the game, but it puts you in them in this challenge series just to see if you can handle it. Right. I've been Rob being from the Insane Games. Thank you very much for watching. And ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I'm from the Insane Games, and this is part 20 of Need to Be Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. Or it should be, you know, that's what I've got written down in the schedule, because it was all recently messed up because of the um, PC dying and stuff, so yeah. So let's do this toll booth, and then we'll move on to whatever the next one was I actually didn't see. And of course, that's what you see in this. Ooh, we're in a McLaren. How lovely. The McLaren Mercedes SLR. And we've got four things to go through. So let's nitrous our way out of here. Now, I have uh, obviously changed the schedule. I, I'm assuming I've talked about that in uh, Halo Reach Part 33, because I've not talked about and I've not recorded that, uh, the audio for that yet. I've decided to record the. Uh, <laughs> the um wow <laughs> I just can't speak apparently yeah I've I've decided to record the footage of this beforehand mainly uh, the reason for that is oh no the police <coughs> the reason for that is it's just well that, that video is quite long and Vehicles in black and car. God, this car loses control quite easily. I will say that. There we go. I'll get out of the way. There we go. Right. That guy must drove through the uh, toll booth because that's why it's smashed up. Oncoming lanes. That was a fire engine. I imagine the firemen were quite shocked there at that. Some AI cars that we almost hit. Can we meet it? Can we meet it? Yes, we can. Oh. Hello, police officer. Yep, yeah, alright. Oh my god, that is a truck! <laughs> yeah, that's because I'm in the Torby for a few stupid. Dumbass. Yeah, basically, I've decided to schedule a whole load of things ahead and maybe even. 
there was an old series on the channel. Um, people that were only here, like people that originally started on the channel, will, will only know this. Basically, uh, I did a little series called Taste Tests, and I think I only did one or two videos in it. Might have only actually only been one, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm trying not to hit any of those because that'll slow me down. I think. Right. Well, I'm gonna. I wanted to hit that just because I was sick of these cops. There, that should deal with that. Even though there's cops ahead of me now. Great. So that did nothing really. But, um, yeah. Uh, I, uh... Oh God, move out the way. That slowed me down. If I fail because of that, I'm going to be so angry. I think I'm going to fail as well, aren't I? Oh my God! <laughs> Just that massive speed difference would absolutely almost kill me there from hitting that car and then all those tr uh, cop cars being there. Hitting the pickup and then all the cop cars being there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do some taste tests because I got some uh, things from. Well, there's a shop in the UK called Morrison's. It's a, it's a supermarket. But uh, for some reason, they have a, a world food section. I didn't actually know that. Oh, my local one does now. And uh, I spotted some American foods in there. But uh, the first one that in the series is not going to be an American food because uh, what do we have to do by the way? If it oh, shoot after ten minutes, oh. yay! That'll be fun. <laughs> I want I don't want it to be that long. I like doing sort of short videos. Right. Well, we know you know how to do that, right? You just get on the freeway and you just. That, that's it, you just get on the freeway as literally every single cop loses control right? and that's it you just do about a hundred miles an hour keep the cops behind you they hit me, what? now they're trying to box me in because I was going so slow that was Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get cops to hit the thing, but... Yeah, I'm just going to continue doing loops, by the way, around here, so... If you think that's going to be boring, I would switch the video off now, because that's all I'm going to do. Until, uh, I get the 10 minute thing. There we go. Oh, look, spike strips. That's always... Fun. Is it? That guy tried to block me in. Failed. Wall. Oh god. <laughs> All these people. There we go, right. You know when I said this would be boring? Boring? <coughs> it It's not. <laughs> if I, why did I even try and do that? I thought, oh, and let's be interesting and drive underneath the truck. That would be funny. Uh, no. It was stupid. <laughs> oh my. Yep, I forgot about police rhinos. Well, I didn't really, but I wasn't expecting them because I didn't hear them call it out on the radio. What the hell happened there? I sort of want to drive into that to find out what it is. Maybe, maybe when we do our second loop round, we'll find out what it is. If it's still there. How many loops do you think we'll do? I think we'll do five. If this is taking us two minutes to, well, eh, four maybe. Oh god, who's killing everything? I like the fact all these cops. Yeah, let's just go on coming lanes. No, no problem there. <gasps> god, they're not calling. Some of the shit out. That is annoying. Oh, oh there we go. Yep. Yeah. No, no call out. You're not getting me. 
I know you want me to because I know what the next two events are going to be, but it's not going to work. And now I need to wait for police backup, but they're going to somehow have enough for like uh, spike strips and stuff, but they can't, you know, get back up. That's gonna be stupid. Or maybe not. You gonna s I forgot what the 1075 is. Neither. Well, it didn't do anything. There we go, alright. Round that rubble. Now it's only one cop following me, that's great. So if I lose him, then screwed. They're really trying their best with these Roblox, aren't they? Why do they do that? Yeah, well, if you didn't go on coming lanes and do that, you, guess what? You wouldn't have lost me. Oh, now we've got a helicopter, which is, I guess, okay, because it means we won't lose the cops. There we go, Let's, that'll get around them. Are the cops following or not? Yes, they are still following. Right, that's good. And now there's something up ahead. I can't see what it is. Is this still here? Oh, it's just like some thing that lifted up. I've never seen that before in the game. That was not exciting. Okay, here we go. I think the helicopter's gonna try and hit me. I think. And I've seen this video before on YouTube. You gotta ram him. Well, no, sorry, that's not gonna happen. Can't you? Shame. Slow him down. Oh god, that was a bad idea because that was the front of a cop. There we go. Right, get it round. <laughs> that caused a bit of an issue, which I guess is good. We're going to go for another trip round. But we're like, ugh. Really? <gasps> I hate them. They don't call them out anymore as well. We've also lost a helicopter. Interesting. Look how many he's following. There's 13, that's unlucky. If I believed in superstitions, which I don't. I'm gonna be interested and go down here. Yeah, he didn't. Oh, well, one of them did. Oh, I was hoping he. What? Maybe they did hit the thing? I have no idea. Oh, you think you can do that? Right. Well, I saw it up ahead, so you. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Stupid cops. Oh, didn't want to hit him. Didn't want to hit a truck. That a bit dangerous. <laughs> I'm not going on coming lanes in the tunnel. I was like, there better not be a spike strip behind that, because that would suck and be stupid. Hiya, are you going to force me to stop? Uh, don't think you are. I'm evading them again. They always go on coming lanes. Yeah, that failed. I'm not even trying to, uh, like, evade them as well. That sucks. And this, I still lose loads of them. Can you send some more, please? That'd be great. I mean, this would be great if I was trying to evade, because I only need to lose two of them, but... I don't 
really want to hit you because you'll get destroyed. And... Right, okay, so if I wait here, I'll slow down a little bit. Oh, now I only have one following me, yay. Now I have to wait another minute for backup. Yeah, do that was a nice noise by that cop, uh, by that cop, by that truck. Alright, drive around here. Now I've lost, oh there we go. Thank God. I was like, I better not. No, 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 no. You're not losing me. You're not losing me. You're not losing me. I'm sorry. I will gladly do like 80 mile an hour just to keep this cop with me. Ugh! Unless a cop, unless you know that happens. That sucks. It's like the game doesn't want me to do the challenge. Game, it's only for a little bit more. A few more minutes, if that. Literally less than, well, about, hmm. Come on, there's only one cop following me. It's less than a minute now. I like the fact I'm probably confusing this helicopter by going so slowly. There we go. <laughs> oh look, cops. Uh, well, not cops. Uh, <laughs> we are in a holding pattern above the vehicle. Is IC monitoring us? No, I mean, we don't want to do anything to his online. But I got... What the... Oh god, that... That killed... That... I, I, there's going to be some moments in this video that I cannot decide what is going to be the bit before the opening. And that's going to be the truth. Yeah, I'm going down here now. Lol. Oh god, and now there's apparently a cop up here? Oh yeah, totally. Oh, now we're condition 5 as well. You're kidding me, right? And there just so happens to be a cop on this golf course. I doubt that. Very much. Come on. This car is not good off-road. I need to hit this car as well, this stupid Corvette. Oh god, that was bad again. Yeah, you've only got, you're only yourself, so you can't really block anyone in. Right. Lose that cop. Then in here. There should be no one nearby, because, you know. Right. On our east side? Well, that's shit, that's where I'm gonna be. Right, in here, in here. Right, that's this video done. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I think Robbie and Fromley and Games. That took forever, but yeah. ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name's Rob. I'm from the Insane Gamers, and this is part 21 of Need Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. We've got a toll booth, and we've got a Rob block. And as you'll notice here, one of the toll booth, toll booth attendants has ordered pizza. If you don't get this pizza to him in the next 4 minutes and 33 seconds, he gets his pizza for free and the money comes out of your pocket. And with this one, use a pickup truck and dodge 6 roadblocks. You will need to evade the pursuit to com successfully complete this challenge. Yes, we are moving on to the AI Cars Challenge. You can drive AI Cars in the challenge series if you didn't know, but you have to beat that. Uh, that McLaren thing from the previous video. 
And yes, this thing has nitrous. It's not very fast. I do remember remember this from the uh, from the PS2 days when I used to play this game. I think these AI challenges were kind of difficult because you don't expect the uh, cars to be so slow. But yeah, I don't know if I've ever told the story. Oh god. There we go, see. Of basically that corner there. I once lost, like, I once had an issue with the, uh, uh, well, sorry, you didn't order pizza, so I'm not giving you my information. <laughs> yeah, with that thing there, there was once an issue where I had a, like, I hit a spike strip. This was in the PS2 days. I'm pretty sure it was PS2 days, anyway. Yeah, I hit a spike strip and lost all my tires and yet evaded level 5 police and managed to evade them because I sort of crashed onto that corner. Like, I ran out of, like, you know how the game doesn't let you go after a while once you've lost all your tires. Well, if you've played the game, you'd know that. Uh, yeah, uh, guess what? I managed to evade them because I managed to lose the cops and I ran out of, like, being able to move there. We're going to meet a police car up here. Unless we've got oncoming, I guess. Won't be an issue anymore now. That was clever, because this car is not very fast. Oh, he's a police car. Yes, hello. Sorry. Oh god. <laughs> I thought I was going to hit the truck. God, this thing does not handle well while drifting. Got to go around here, sorry. God, that every time you hit a car, it slows you down so much. Sorry guys, this is out my paycheck if I don't do this, so... <laughs> Can't stop. Oh, that would have been very... You've lost the pizza delivery car doing 108 mile an hour. These are the worst police officers in the world. Oh god, oncoming, well, cross traffic. He's gonna turn. I like the fact that there's no AI information for what this car is, so it doesn't have like a thing, it just says the vehicle was last reported. Because it technically shouldn't be drivable. I did that because I thought, I honestly thought I was going to hit the cop car and didn't want to slow down too much. There we go, right. That sped us up going down that hill. Thanks, hill. Hills, they're very useful. That's my review of hills. Cost. Oh god. Hit that person. Where are we going? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I thought it was going to be the toll booth right through here. No, it's not. You have to drive through the docks. I'm doing this because it's just easier to get the car around there. Also, I like the fact that you don't actually drive on the course that it describes. This game. Well, yeah, I can't be fired. It is a, the world's shittest. Come on, accelerate. I could drive in there, but I don't really want to lose the challenge, so I'm not going to. Oh, and we delivered the pizza. There we go. Oh, oh, we finished at 118 miles an hour. What? I was surprised.
And let's move on to the next challenge, which is the roadblock. Dodge six roadblocks in a pickup truck. I'm pretty sure I hit a pickup truck in the last challenge, but I could be wrong on that. Right. Yeah, I've had to restart this challenge a couple of times because basically the most stupidest thing in the world happens. I keep getting hit by like light SUVs and they can flip me even though I'm doing like 150 mile an hour. So I'm just getting angry now. And you won't have seen any of them because I don't include them, but... Oh, you want you want to do that? Okay. Right. Well, we're going through here, so... Bye-bye. Not an issue anymore. Well, you are, because you're there. Don't want to drive on the grass. That'd be bad. How's the nine cops following me? There's no... There's not nine cops following me at all. Get out of the way. Yeah, I am. Oh, I wonder why I would want to take a police officer out after what happened. Seriously, I got hit from the front. Then I thought, well, I can easily avoid that by reversing. And then got rammed from the back. There we go. Right, we've gone past one roadblock. Yeah, you did, and it didn't work. Bear in mind, this was after... There was a roadblock, like, that I hit, and because these cars aren't really, they're only for this challenge, so they don't, they have no need to test them, like, they have no need to sit, like, the collision physics and stuff, they have no need to test what they're like, because they, you only drive them once, so who cares, really. I mean, I love this game, but, and I love these challenges, because you get to drive AI cars, but, at the same time, it is really stupid, because they don't... The physics aren't designed for them. Yeah, so you're gonna... Yeah, get a roadblock on me. That'll work. You didn't really put a roadblock on me, did you? No. Let's put a roadblock on him, it doesn't spawn there. Seriously, come on game, spawn a roadblock. There we go. Oh, that killed a whole bunch of people. There we go, look. Oh, a roadblock I can avoid. Can you tell I'm not really fussed about this challenge anymore? I wonder how I missed the roadblock. Maybe it's because you're not actually roadblocking it. I think the game's just understood that I'm very angry with it now. Why is it driving through there? I hate AI, yeah, it's stupid. And then knowing me, I'm going to get something that's going to block me up here. Like, I'm going to get some light SUVs hit me or something. Nope. Surprisingly, I've killed myself. <laughs> and by that, I mean another AI car that was obviously exactly the same. Because it's a Civi car and that's how that works. I have to wait another minute for AI backup. Get out of the way. I know it does that, so like... Yeah, I wonder why you're going to lose me. Oh, and you go on coming. Because you're so smart. Literally, I have to wait here. I'm gonna lose, they're gonna lose me. Apparently it's a... 
Where we go, yeah. And there we go, right. So you're gonna come with me, apparently. There we go, that's what I want. <sighs> if you could see what I look like when I'm playing this game right now, you'd be amazed. I've literally got my hand on my, like, chin. You know, like you are when you're really bored and you're like, oh, I want this to happen. Like, you're just like, oh, I'm gonna sit through this. Oh. Yes, right, let me just evade now. I am. Well, you're not, because I'm not actually going to go that way. I'm going this way. Oh, you're going to put more Roblox out. That's clever. But it's not really going to work. And now... It might work actually, because now I might get busted. If I can go forward, come on, car. You're so stupid. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna loot you out. What are you doing? How have you got this much power that you can do this to a dodge ram? Oh god. And then that. Oh god. What the. Okay. I have no idea what that... This car just does not have enough power to put down. It can't get past this car. <laughs> oh my god! Hmm. <sighs> there we go. Right. And now I've got like 15 cops, so that's fun. I was trying to... Right. Now I'm actually going to have to find things to hit. That'd be fun. Yeah, oncoming... Well, yeah. There we go. I swear to God, if I fail, I like lose these cops. My god, there's so many of them. Right, okay. Here we go. There's cops flipping upside down, down that hill. Oh my god! Yeah, that was gonna happen. Yes, thanks for hitting me, getting me up to speed. That was lovely. Oh, I wonder why. You want to do that? Really? Seriously? You're not going to give in? No, they're not going to give in either. Of course not. That'd be... That'd be clever. And now that just came out of nowhere, because logic. There we go. That should have dealt with a lot of them. Nope. Didn't kill all of them, though. Ah, killed him though. You kidding me, right? Oh no, now you found me again. I swear to God, this game. Right, here we go. Because if I get level 5 cops, I'm going to... No, can't go that way. Right, 
That makes sense. Right, okay. No, let's get in here. There we go, right. Oh, you found a vehicle that matches the description. Maybe because it's an AI car. Ugh. I was looking so forward to these and then, like, just. That's the issue with these challenges. I remember liking them as a kid, and then you play them again, and you're like, oh. Yeah, that's why I sort of stopped playing the challenge series. <laughs> but I'm going to try and get past them. So yes, thank you very much for watching, and ta-ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Instagram Business Part 22 of Need Speed Most Wanted, the challenge series. We've got a tall booth time trial, we've got a spike strip. We're in civilian cars for this one, because that's how this works at the moment for this part of the challenge series. So let's read this. One of the lower end, non-ranked blacklist races posted a time of 4 minutes and 30 seconds. And now they're bragging about the run. Show them up by beating their time with just a minivan and a bottle of nitrous. Because we're going to have an AI car. We're driving the minivan. Great. So let's do it again. I failed. Twice now. First time, we ran out of time. Because the game decided that it wanted to spawn cars in front of me. as I went around really sharp corners. Second time, I made it right to the end, but just run out of time. Because it's a minivan and it ain't quick. This is seriously where the game's getting tough now. That and the fact that it, you know, spawned cops, like, in a bit where they're not normally sort of, like, pitting me. Wasn't helpful in the second part. So hopefully, no, nope, well, he hasn't activated the scanner, so there's no cop around here. As there was last time. Right. That's in the way. We've hit that taxi, great. So that slowed us down. You need to just get a perfect run on this, and it's so annoying. That is too close to this vehicle. Might be a cop around here. Maybe. No. I thought there might be a cop around here. Oh god. We need to make it through that gap. And we hit that. So that's slowed us down considerably. That's what caused an issue before. This car is... And then these cars up here that are just stopped for no reason. God, this game can be a pain sometimes. Come on! Seriously, sometimes you want to, like, not play this game. You're like, I can't do this challenge. God knows I'm going to do the, uh, the last challenge. I'm going to try, but, you know, it, that one might be a bit difficult. If you don't know what it is, oh god. 30 minutes of evasion with high level comps. Usually one of these videos only takes 30 minutes to record. And that's one challenge. I mean this one's probably gonna be a huge file. I'll admit that. And now we're slowing down because we can't accelerate, come on.
Right, come on. Now this cop's getting in the way. Now the cop's hitting everything behind me. I can't, the, another issue, issue with this car is you can't see over it. If you could cut through that, that'd be excellent. But even that might not be enough. Right, let's try this. Probably not gonna work, but you never know. Because I know you can cut through here. Yeah, no shit. If you just don't follow me, that'd be great. Have you? Good. Good for you. We can make this. Come on. Just did it, but yes. Finally. Whew. My hands are red. Unfortunately, that's the end of this video because my Xbox crashed during recording of the next challenge, so I had to start it as a whole new recording, and I don't like combining things like that together because it never goes well. Enjoy part 23 tomorrow. Avoid six spike strips. Okay. I don't know what we're going to be in. Ooh, I was planning to record four of these today. Oh, we're in the cop car. And it does not handle, they do not handle well. Look, look at this. Shit. Right. So we're going on a freeway. We might be a blue lap. problem with this is it does not handle. Well. It's heavy and clunky. I, this is how I assume the Ford Crown Victoria is, but still. Right, we're on the freeway now. If the game decides to give me some spike strips, that'd be helpful. Oh, no, it's giving me rhymes. I remember this one being a pain when I was a kid as well. Oh, there we go. No, it's a... not got a spike strip. Let's force him over. Get on quick before he knows... Yeah, thanks for the roadblock. That's not what I need. I need spikes. Oh, there we go. Through this gap. Yeah, right, that's one dealt with. Now here's the issue, it's going to probably spawn some around here. It's going to either spawn a rhinos around the corner, which... Yep, how do I know that? <laughs> oh god, what the hell did I even hit? Alright, the guy slipped through, uh, we're still, uh, we're still pursuing. Alright, okay. Come on. Give me an overspike. Give me some.
come on, give me something. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Give me a spike strip. No, just Roger that, Rhino 4 1. I've them. Oh, I need them, I didn't know. Give me a damn spike strip. No, you haven't. Even that didn't work. Seriously, this game's not gonna do spike strips, is it? Got it now, we've got it now. A visual on multiple units closing on the suspect. Uh, hey, PCs, be advised, you should have a visual on the vehicle any second. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you missed the spike! With that card? Okay. Slightly confused on how that counts. Stay, stay with him. We got, we got, we've got a visual on your cover. Uh, any second, they'll be there. I don't understand how that. Oh god. We're not gonna. Ugh. I didn't think we were gonna make that, but we did. No, no one else is available. It was following oncoming lanes. I would not do that if I was a cop, but whatever. I'm the center lane. Well, that's not going to work because here I am. Right, three spike strips dealt with. I am. Okay, so we're gonna have backup What's that? soon. Yeah, my co-pilot, he's got a visual on multiple ground units closing to assist. Uh, All right. Hang up. And they uh, should be there shortly. Alright, that's one dealt with. Gonna hit, I thought we were gonna hit that truck. This car feels heavy at such speeds now, such high speeds. Do that. Right now we've got one more deal and uh that's it. Oh, what the hell happened there? Seriously I have no idea what was happening. Oh god. Right. Get past everyone if we can. Give me something. I took out an SUV heavy? <laughs> oh god. Right, okay, so... That was easy to avoid. Right, now we just need to evade. Now we just need to find a whole bunch of... Uh, things are in the city. That's gonna be... Yep. I knew that was gonna cause collision. It's not the way I'm gonna turn now. I'm gonna go this way. So up so I can then hit the uh, big cooling tower over here. Three 
have you. Too bad for you. That's that done. Well, complete. Eight minutes. That's got to be pretty quick. I mean, if it spawned more, that would have been better, of course, but. Uh, I'm going to give uh, this game a little bit of a break now. <laughs> See, I've been Rob, been from the Insane Games. Thank you very much for watching, and ta ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers. This is part 24 of Need Speed Must One, the challenge series, and look, it was completed. Basically, what happened is I completed the challenge, and then my Xbox decided to freeze as it was saving. So I was wondering, did it work? Did the challenge save? I had no clue. So I had to unplug the system because the entire system was froze. There was no way of work, knowing if it was going to work. So, like, there was no way of like exiting, is what I mean. So. I had no clue. So what I'm deciding to do, and I know this will be unpopular, but part 24 is this, and part 25 is this. Mainly because what I'm going to do, it, it's only going to be a single challenge for a video, as it has been for the past two. Mainly because of that happening, and also because of, well, you know, I, I'm just trying to get back into the groove of things after the PC did its thing, you know. So... Right, let's move on to the actual challenge. And it's a closed course thing, so hopefully there'll be no traffic. Because it's a police department going up against each other. And look, we have a state patrol car. No state. Uh, no, no, yes, this is state patrol. What was the other one? That was the just police cruiser in the last challenge, in the spike strip challenge, was it? And it handles awful. Who would have guessed? Because you're not meant to drive these things. It's only in the counters. And this is basically reverse of the cost form. Also, I don't think these have nitrous normally, do they? They have... The undercover ones do. Oh god, we're going through the end. Yeah, okay. No. We failed. We failed. We might make it, but we've. Yeah, that. We're not gonna continue on. I don't think anyway. I might leave that failure in because. But oh, we can go this way. Because there was that race where we got blocked before. But it wasn't the reverse race. I mean, I'm going to give it a chance to see if I can go through the air again. We're going to see if we can do this. We probably can't, but we'll see if we can. You never know. And it might make the video longer. <laughs> so, you know, you guys get more content for the book. Even though you don't pay to watch this. And we don't even get monetized anymore, so, you know, that doesn't help. Thanks, YouTube. Although, to be fair, that does increase, wa increase watch time, so that would help. Hurry. Oh, oh no. <gasps> We did it with three seconds left. The next toll booth is a minute away. We're doing 180 miles an hour. We're doing 190 miles an hour. We're doing 200. Oh, we were. We were doing 199. We are drifting this cop car. And we are not going straight ahead like I thought we were going to. And this is a close course because there's no traffic at all, I just realised. If we have to get through the city, we're probably not going to make this. Which we will. We're going to have to go through the city. I don't think we're going to make this next one. Then again, I didn't think we were going to make the last one. We did, so... 
Oh god. <laughs> that was a drift. And we're gonna make it. Alright. Five seconds left, so we're increasing the amount of time now. It was that like, jump that was the issue. Will we make this one? We don't want to go around there, because that would be bad. That would be the long way around. Well, it definitely seems shorter. I don't know if it is. But with B, B of you... B, B of you... That, well, we, at least we know that saved. <laughs> yeah, we beat Bayview. Bayview was needs to be in the ground too, wasn't it? Is that what it said? Bayview. Yeah. Right, okay. So, the next one we're going to do is cost cost state. Driving garbage truck. Evade the police pursuit with a cost state of uh, $100,000. Right. So, stay tuned to part 25 for that. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from Lincoln Games, this is part 25 of Need for Speed Most Wanted, the challenge series. Uh, we've got to evade the cops, but we've got to get a $100,000 cost to state. That'd be fun. And we're driving a garbage truck. Look, oh, we could have hit the garbage. <laughs> hey look, we've already caused a lot of damage. So we just hit everything, basically. Oh, yeah, this, this is immovable. I mean, it's not. I can't remember if, and it drifts. I forgot about that. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video of me and Chris playing the PC version of this, where I decided to get in a race with this, because we, it was on the PC version and we modded it, um, then you need to, basically, because this is, oh my god, that was a wall. Basically, I decided to race this once I discovered you could do that in the trainer, and um, <laughs> I drifted around the corner. It was very much a drift. <laughs> I caught some air in this thing. I'm surprised. I can't remember if hitting traffic vehicles counts. Oh, well, you definitely hit me. Yeah, okay. I don't know how I took that cop out. But I did. Come on. Oh, I'm drifting again. I'm gonna hit this. Should ah oh, well I was not gonna make that, was I? I was I wasn't even trying. Thanks for increasing my cost of state, guys. I didn't want actually to do that, but, well I did, but it, I couldn't make it, <laughs> oh, wait, yo, that's bullshit, let's be honest, that's, no, <laughs> you cannot pit something like that, you know that is absolute shit, you just know it, It drifts, yes, but it does not... You cannot just ram something like this and expect it to just pit like it did. I expect this to be able to pit things. Yeah, I did, didn't I? So stay away from me. It's pit me again! That is not logical. That should not be possible. I should not be able to be rammed like that. Yeah, I'm in there. Oh god, now they're following me. I'm gonna get air again. You don't know how funny this is to be crashing through everything like this and it not really slowing me down right 
There's another one. Do not fall back. I would. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's destroyed quite a lot of them, I think. 65,000 we're up to now. As that kills several people. <laughs> this is where I got spun out before. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Because it should not be possible. Yeah, I am trying to ram you off the road. How are they doing that? That is not possible. I just know it isn't possible. Right, I'm gonna smash through this roadblock right here. Like that. That should. There we go, now we've got to evade. I'm Seriously, I'm evading them. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. We're out of control. Oh, and they spotted me as well. That's what the worst thing about it is. I've got to turn around. There we go, we're hiding. <laughs> God, he's right there. That's, right, that's the worst thing. Right, we won. We damaged 12 police vehicles and we immobilized 13 of them. Right. Let's hope this saves properly. And it did. Thank you very much for watching. I cannot wait for part 26. Uh, we'll see what we get up to next. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Answer. Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I'm from Lean Gamers and this is part 26 of Need for Speed Most Wanted. The challenge series. Welcome if you've just uh, decided to check out the channel because uh, you saw Taffy316's video. And uh, what I'm going to do is in this one is... Uh, Toll booth time trial. Uh, I used to do like two in a video, but uh, it did take like now it's getting a bit tougher, so I'm only going to be doing I'm only going to be doing one per video. So here we go. I didn't see what the time is that we have to beat. I should have done that. We're in a taxi though. Got a perfect launch, and the taxi has nitrous because it's well, every car in this game has nitrous when you drive it, I think, as long as you know not in the first bit of campaign. I expect that the cops are gonna chase us. Oh, that was a wall. These things do not accelerate quickly because they're meant they're silly cars. Look, we just went past a friend. This is how taxi drivers drive in real life. <laughs> yeah, at least around my area. Damn kid. They don't do like 120 miles an hour. <laughs> but they do drive quite dangerous. They don't indicate. Then again, they all do drive BMWs, so I guess that's what you uh, That's what they say about BMW drivers anyway. And there's a cop up there. Oh god. We are. Losing control of this thing because it's it's a civvy car. It's not meant to be driven like this. It's an 
AI car. It's it's not meant to be driven like this. Because the AI doesn't oh god. That slowed us down a lot. We're gonna meet a cop up here, I think. Yep, hello. Two cops, great. Better not get in my way. Yeah, I wonder why I'm running from you. I hit a friend. Are you? You're having a hard time following the taxi. Come on. This is like, oh god, I thought we were going to hit that guy. We hit that person. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, we're going to go and do the jump in the taxi. Yeah, I still sort of have a cough and I'm sneezing, but it's not bad. Like, it's not. Oh god, we out. That was, that was a stupid idea. I don't know why I thought that was such a good plan. It wasn't. Echo 22, I was just trying to do every shortcut I could. Are we sort of losing these cops? Yes. There we go. This is going to slow us down now. Oncoming lanes. Oh my god! What the hell even happened there? That's like city skylines. Like, the... The way the AI drives in that, <laughs> I mean, it's obviously not meant to be here. driving in that into city building. Game. But seriously, you need to see the way the AI sometimes handles things. That cop car's doing a jump with me! I've never heard them say use caution before. Oh god, we're gonna hit that person as well. Which is basically our car, but. Minus the taxi. This is. Thanks, pizza delivery. Yeah, I would advise you to pull back as well. Oh, well, you're not gonna. I'm speed breaking through here because it's that like it was gonna be an issue. The cops took the shortcut. When I didn't. I didn't smash into the refinery though, did I? I don't know why you're lying. Was it to get more backup? I'm gonna smash right through this. Yeah! That's an excellent picture. Right! <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. That was part 26 of the Need to Be Most Wanted Challenge Series. Um, and uh, at some point next week will be part 27. Although I know the games are gold. Next week are The Witness and Cars 2. So we're going Disney because we recently had Brave and now we've got Cars 2. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Intergamers. This is part 27 of the Need to Speak One Challenge series. And we're moving on to the next challenge. That's what the challenge is. Using a police SUV, evade a police pursuit in less than four minutes. This may take a couple of attempts. Mm. Where do I want to place the water so I don't, like, you know, smash into. <laughs> well, smash into. And, um, like, knock them, uh, the microphone over. Well, clearly, the idea is to smash. This is. Oh, that was sort of working, and now the. I don't know how he got on here. In front of me. Oh god. This thing does not accelerate. This was a bad idea. 
do not do this. I'm gonna fail this. Hey, they ran me, which is very useful because it generated more speed. And they're all following me, of course. Did you? Too bad it's not going to be any use. I need to find... I think I know what to do. I should have done this originally. Thanks, truck, for getting in the way. My idea... Me? Are you kidding me? Confirming suspect was last seen heading eastbound near Forest Green Country Club. Shit. You have a green light to go ahead and They're around the corner. That was not meant to happen. I wanted to go through the thing. I wanted to, you know, smash the. Uh, Police radio tower down. But I managed to do that. <laughs> I, I'm honestly shocked. I'm legitimately shocked. I was not expecting that. Well, thank you very much for watching. And to wrap. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, and this is part 28 of Need to be Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. And in this one, we're doing this tall booth time trial. The Bayview Police Department have struck again, this time posting an incredible time of 3 minutes and 45 seconds in the annual Police Pursuit Skills Competition. You've been selected once again to participate in this close course time trial, which means there's been no cops. Or, well, any traffic at all, because it's close course. Which, could you imagine? Yes, let's close down the um, road, just so the police can do this skills competition. Wouldn't it be better if they had to drive with actual cars on the road, because that's how police would have to drive in real life? That makes sense, yeah? And this Corvette is really quick, if that's not obvious. The acceleration on this thing is just amazing. I can't believe it almost. This. Oh, yeah, I remember this one being a pain to deal with. Yep. Yeah, this one is really. I remember it now. From when I was younger. This car is quick, but it's not. You basically have to get this one perfect. Which I just hit a wall at. And there's a jump coming up here, so this is going to be mental. Because we could... Yeah, we hit the uh, virtual wall. Like the, the barrier. I forgot what the word is. The terminology. We could, we could have gone through that. But I thought it probably wasn't a good idea. Because it probably would have slowed us down, actually. Or to use this is probably a good idea. Maybe not. Because that probably also slowed us down a lot. I thought I was going to go right into the wall. Yeah, this one really is a colossal pain to deal with. Like, the amount of time that you're given. So you think, oh, the next toll booth's a minute away, that's 
not that far, but then you realise how far away some of these tow boots are in this game. And the uh, course that it has you going with. I think we have to turn right up here. And I don't mean for it. Yep, we do. I looked at the map. Oh, God. Yeah. You'd think, oh, it's the one that's straight ahead. No, and to the left. No. This is what used to cause me so much trouble when I was a kid. Right up here. This corner. Or the next one, specifically. I used to flip the car somehow. I certainly got better skills than I have now, at least, <laughs> than I have now. The, I bet I have better skills now than I do, did then, is what I meant to say that. wonder which one we're going to. Are well, we going straight ahead? I think we're going to go straight over the uh, bog rock. And we hit that. And that! Come on. Don't want to hit any of them things because it will slow us down. But we did anyway. Oh god. <laughs> that was not really what I wanted to do. Should I take the shortcut? It sort of slows you down anyway. Well, we've done it. It's really just that first one that you have to be careful on if you're attempting to do this now if you decide to rebuy the game and attempt to do this hopefully at some point they will make this backwards compatible though it's EA so I doubt it but I think a lot of people would want to replay this anyway thank you very much for watching and ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Instant Games, and this is part 29, I think it should be anyway, of uh, the Need to Speed Most Wanted 2005 Challenge Series. And we've got this uh, challenge here. Bounty, you'll be using a cement truck and need to evade the police. Shoot with a bounty of 100,000 to successfully complete this challenge. Right. Automatic. We know what happened last time we drove the cement. Uh, not the cement, the boat did we drive last time. The, um, garbage truck. They somehow managed to pick me at high speed. Yep, this handles much the same. It has nitrous, I didn't actually know that. <laughs> well, of course it has nitrous. Yes, it does not handle well. You're not going to slow me down. I'm just going to slam you into walls. Oh my god, that is a truck. What? What even pumped that? I don't want to kill anyone. I mean, I know I just did it. Probably did it to that person. But, well, apart from... Well, no, I don't want it. That's going to get the video demonetized if I say that. Um, They're not real, YouTube. I only want to immobilize, please, that's what I should say. Come on. Oh, God. I need to, like... Here we go, he's a roadblock. But that didn't actually take out, like, that didn't immobilize the police. What is it? Oh, this person, this cop just stopped. I'm not going through that tunnel. I refuse to go through that tunnel in this thing. Move. You know how I said I didn't want to hit people. <laughs> I, it's already got out of hand. It's not great, this thing of ramming into... It drifts, like I said, so it's very easy for them to hit. If they want, it's gonna flip. <laughs> Ooh, 
Look, we're drifting at 73 mile an hour. You can't really... You know how we're... Oh, uh, something here. Let's... Yeah, that worked. Oh god, now it's slowing us down because of that. That was a bad idea. Come on. That worked... A little bit. And there's another thing around here. Oh god. There we go. It sort of worked. One of those cops hit that thing, I'm pretty sure. Do I really want to? Yes. Yes, I do. This is probably a bad idea. Yep, yeah, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> I'm up here. Where are you going? Oh. Let's go that way. Let's be nice to the cops. Let's actually let them get out. And we're flipped over again. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Now I'm just trying to sideswipe the cop, but this thing just doesn't have the ability really to, oh god, to do that. And now we need to wait for backup, because... Well, we just need to wait. This is the worst corner in the world. Yeah, oh god. <laughs> Did we just two-wheeled this thing? Oh god. If this was GTA, there'd be cops there with, like, guns. Did that involve me actually taking out the uh, cop? No, I don't think it did. Yeah, um, okay. Come on. Smash right through that cop car. No, at least don't count. Annoyingly. That's annoying. Annoyingly, that's annoying. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna go through here just because I think it'd be. So this is really tight. And of course, there's a truck up here. Hey, you took out that, not me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Don't be stupid! Uh. Yeah, you can see down there, because normally there's no car that you can use to... that's this tall. So it's sort of breaking the immersion of the game. I don't understand how you... I'm not going that fast. Sad to say, but I'm not. And then he's crashed. Oh, God. No, you're going to lose me again. I 
Hey, there's a roadblock up here, though. That might have worked. Yes, it has. Right. Come on. Let's turn. Oh god. Two wheels again. See underneath the map. Right. Cut that corner. That was really bad though. Oh god, there's a cop up here. Apparently. Maybe not. Maybe that was on a different road. Because this does go over. What the hell was that? I don't really want to look, because in case we get found. But I'm going to try this hiding spot. Even though there's really no point. Well, I don't even think we'll fit in. Oh, we will. But there we go. Right. So that was part uh, 29 of Need to Be Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. Stay tuned tomorrow, or maybe the day after, I don't know. Uh, probably tomorrow, for um, part 30. Hello, everyone. My name's Rob. I'm from the Instagram. This is part 30 of Need to Be Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. We're doing this tow booth, and we have to complete it in under 4 minutes and 10 seconds. No idea what car we're in. But it's something. Oh, we're in a Lotus Elise. So I think we've uh, finished with all the uh, Scythian police cars. God, this thing accelerates like a beast. Always liked the Lotus Elise. Um, both in real life and in... Uh, in this game. Although I don't really choose it. Admittedly. Well, in other games, I should say. I sometimes choose to lose at least. Uh, well, basically, it was a um, top game. It was uh, featured in an episode. For many, many, many years ago. And, uh, although that might have been the, um, the Exceed. Oh, we flipped. <laughs> we had that issue last time with the previous video, although that was understandable. Oops, get out of the way. So that really has slowed us down. I can see how this one's going to be a bit of a tough one to uh, complete, especially now that the game wants to uh, make cops involved in this, especially uh, those level cops. Level 5 police, that's interesting, no, get out of the way. Oh, I thought that would have took out the, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go right through here. Yeah, that's because that's the way this goes. He's cutting through the park. Yeah, how else? I'm sure there's a bit where we have to do a... Quick corner cut. Yeah, here it is. Oh no, it's this one! Oh. Now we're getting into the um, ones I remember from when I was younger that I had a lot of trouble with. Basically. So, uh, I'm getting better. 
because I always used to fail at that point. I don't know which challenge it was where I, because uh, it was literally a bit where I just stopped playing. You lost sight of me. Hi. We're doing 204 mile an hour. Gee. And we're increasing in speed. Yeah, flu is the right word. <laughs> the right kind of word. No wonder they had to put level 5 cops in for this car. Do I want to? Yes. The cop took out... Oh, no, 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 no! That slowed us down so much! Hey, that's not my fault you guys went over that jump. You did it yourself. And now on to the last one. Look at the turning circle of this thing. I mean, you just saw that, right? That was instant. I assume we're turning... Yeah, we're turning right. We should make this. Though, like I said, this one is somewhat difficult. Right, there we go. Six toll booths in less than... Four minutes and ten seconds. <coughs> right, thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from the Insane Gamers. And here are. Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I'm from the Insane Gamers. And this is part 31 of Need to Be Most 1 2005, the challenge series. And uh, last episode, so part 30, we had a pursuit. Uh, not pursuit, we had a tow booth. Uh, in which we had to get 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Beat that time to win. Well now we got to evade this pursuit in under 4 minutes. And I think we're probably going to be in the Lotus again. I might be wrong on that. Nope, we're still in the Lotus. How are you already in front of me? Stay right. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, that's slowed it down. Down. I'm not exactly sure how that even happened. I'm going to admit this is probably going to take a few tries. If that worked, I'm going to be amazed. <laughs> that always seems to work! 
Sorry, I wasn't talking. That I was just really concentrating. That's the thing that happens. And would you, the bounty that we got was three hundred twenty-five thousand, which was like the challenge two videos ago was just get a bounty of a hundred thousand. Granted, in a cement truck, but yeah. <coughs> so thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from the Instant Gamers, and Tara. Hello everyone. My name is Robin from the Instant Gamers, and this is part thirty-two. Of Need Speed Most Wanted 2005 for the challenge series. And uh, look, Tobooth time trial. Um, 4 minutes 10 seconds again, which was what that one was, but uh, how many we got here? 1, 2, 3, and count. 4, 5, 6. 6 again. What we're going to be in? Because it sure is in. No, it's not going to be a Lotus Elise, I don't think. It's Mercedes. SL500 that looks like. That's what it looks like it's out in the back of the car. We didn't get a perfect launch, which was annoying. I sort of wanted that. I do like this car. We're going into this view just because we want to see what it was like. Basically. Also, handled handle quite well. I mean, I know Need Spin Most Wanted is very um, archaic-like in Tanley, but um, it's not realistic. Though it does have some realism, because apparently I was play I played this bunch of balls uh, when I was at college. I took the uh, game to the I took the game to the college because they had a 360. And uh, we have multiple controls, and I had a free period, so I played a bit of it with Paul. And I wish I'd recorded some of that, but um, I did not. Uh, but basically, um, Paul's complaint was basically the, the car, the cars all handle too heavy, and I think they handle too light. So yeah, work that one out. Hello, yeah. Past the stadium. Containment will be set up ahead of his last known direction of travel. But they technically I lost it. Move out the way. I just rammed you actually. I didn't just drive by. I said hello. I'm honestly surprised Cross has hasn't become involved. That might have been what, um, oh god, how the hell, I don't, what the, f what just even happened? <laughs> what? The I'm honestly, like, confused on what happened. Can someone please, like, Tell me what. Like, can someone break that down for me? Well, it's not really an MVA, well, it's a short list, but you're not, you didn't stop, which you normally would do during an MVA. Get out the way. Yeah, do fall back. That helped. Right. Hopefully that should let us up for a bit. But no, there's a cop spawned up here, so it knows I'm going that way. And I might be unable to make it because yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, not gonna make this. Uh. But I'm leaving that one in. I'm leaving that failing. If there's any more fails, I'll pop it up out unless something interesting happens. Perfect launch! <coughs> Which is what you want. 
Let's. <coughs> oh god, now my throat's gone. Let's hope we don't have a flip. Unlike last time. I think what had happened is. Uh, I just. The car just turned. Like, I, I speed brake, didn't I? And then I just. Like, I turned the car way too sharply. And the game was just like. So it took me out the speed brake because I was too sharp. And, uh, that's basically what happened. Like, it, it took me out the speed breaker and it was in the middle of doing something, so. Right, so we've avoided that car. Although we're probably going to meet one around here. Nope. Can you imagine if we avoided the car? Move out of the way. I hit AI cars when you hit them and then they don't get out of the way. Great. Oh god, trucks and they're both in that lane that I don't want them to be in. Well, that happened. Right, let's. We've done it again. I think I must have hit that curb at the wrong angle. Seriously though, if we don't um, make this one now with no cops, that's going to be amazing. Oh, you're kidding me. That didn't help. Seriously though, these cops are like in it. Fine. Don't turn. Don't change lanes, I should say. <gasps> you are going to change lanes. Or cut in front of me, I should say. God, this game can be mean to me. This car, once you land it, like from a jump, is just awful. I didn't even mean to take that thing out, but I did. Yeah, I think we've got uh, enough time. We could probably stop for a uh, nice cup of tea at the roadside. I'm going to say hello to the police officer. Yeah. I noticed that. Alright, now it's going to happen. Guys running, oh I wonder why that would be. And we've got a turn up here. Uh, I hate this one. It's like the worst corner in the game. And the game decides to put a <laughs> garbage truck there. That's lovely. One of the heaviest vehicles to push out the way. Good. So you cheat by cutting the corner. And then you just spawn cops up here. That's a nice game. I can see how you're nice and fair. I mean, it's EA. Oh, God. Now you can't. Bloom. Can't see. And yeah, I was going to go straight into that wall. I assume we're turning left. Yep. Yeah. I didn't even think I hit a civilian, so that's logical. But I think I might have scraped that on. There we go. Look, done. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from the Insane Games. This has been part 32 of the Needs to Be Must 1 2005 Tron series. So, uh, yeah, cheer up. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, this is part 33 of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series, and I'm just going to move my chair so I can see the screen properly. Right, so, here we go. In this one we're going to do a cost for state, 
and evade it with a cost to date basically of 150,000. But in the next one, oh my god, look, we have to do this in part 34. Look, we gotta beat this within 3 minutes 45 seconds. That might be impossible. Who knows? Depends what car we're in. We're in a Mercedes right now, because that's what we were in last time. And smash! God, we've. We, we, that cop must have been like, oh my god, what? Are you being serious? The pursuit is now in federal hands. Oh no. There we go. Sorry everyone that I'm hitting, but I'm just doing it because I'm trying to increase the uh, cost of state, basically. Which surely that wouldn't... Oh, God! <coughs> that... Not good. And they're going to try and slow me down, which isn't going to happen. Uh, maybe it is. Back, 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 back. Uh. Yeah, it's, I suck. <laughs> to be fair, that happening where it was, probably not that good of an idea. Oh, and we missed that cop, so... The cost of state was just... Messed up. And we can't really hit the cops anymore. No, I was going to try and force that. Oh. Is that a good idea? Come on. I'm going to hit this tree. I missed everything I was aiming for. <laughs> I was honestly expecting another thing to happen there. Oh my god. There we go. Oh god. Come on, I need more speed again. I think this is where I start giving up on these things. And that's going to slow me down incredibly. Maybe not. Right. Let's... I can't believe I'm doing this. That only increased it by... Oh, God. This is just... Maniac. Look... This is just insane. I know we're the insane gamers, but this may be too insane. Our bounty is increasing. You want this guy stopped? Well... Thank God I noticed that there was going to be a spike strip there. There we go. I wanted to go into the uh, thing, but that didn't happen, did it? I think this police helicopter is going to try and knock me over. Oh my God, what the hell even happened? No, this better not screw me. This better not screw me over. That was... I'm going to avoid that completely. <laughs> Not even going to attempt. There we 
Oh, ram that person out the way. Yeah, th this may be where the challenge series gets, well, challenging. Good. Ah, yeah. They are really trying to slow me down with these spike strips, aren't they? Really, that didn't. That counted. <laughs> Oh no, I've only got one cop behind me. Shit. I mean, annoyingly, these guys don't count. But I've managed to evade everyone else. Which is surprising. Oh god. Oh, right, I'm gonna go that way. Uh, they, they lost me. They've lost me slightly. No, they haven't. Right, okay. Right, okay. Right, okay. More have spawned. Good. Oh, yeah, there, there they are. Oh! I was not expecting that to basically be there. Yeah, I wouldn't have got in the way. I wonder if Cross spawns. In a... Uh... Oh god, that was close. Do I want to go off-road? This, this was a bad idea. Why did I think this was a good idea? <laughs> no, please fall back. It'd be excellent. Slow me down, I shouldn't have done that. I'm trying to force them into like things, but it's not working. Come on. Oh, we're so close now as well. There we go, right. I'll tell you what we're going to do now. Oh, now we're going to try and slow me down. Oh my god, what the hell is... Oh god. You can't... No. No, 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 no. You're not going to do that. I know you want to. But it's not going to work. Jesus, my heart was pounding there. I was like, I've just done that challenge. That's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, that block didn't really work, did it? And I'm going to avoid everything just because I want to make sure I get to the uh, bounty thing. That's slowing me. Oh my god, what the hell even happened there? Like, just the slowdown. There's a cop upside down. You're gonna. Ah, yeah. Right. 
good luck and going through here. Which I missed. Which isn't working actually. No, not a good idea. Didn't work. Normally works, but didn't. Oh, Cross! I killed Cross. Yeah, you can't see me if I'm under here. So this worked again. What? There we go. Right. Done. Eight minutes and thirty three seconds. Jesus. <laughs> Look at that bounty. <laughs> that was amazing. And it's only gonna get more crazy from here. So if you like crazy play pursuits and need to be most wanted, please continue to watch because you will you will just enjoy this. Right. Thank you very much for watching, I've been Robin from the Instant Gamers, and uh, enjoy part 34. Hello everyone, my name is Robin from the Instant Gamers, and this is part 34 of Need Speed Must 1 2005, the challenge series. We're launching this event, what, 3 minute 45, we've got to beat this challenge. If you haven't watched part 33, you need to, it is just insane. Oh, and a Mitsubishi Lancer, evil. We might not be able to do this. I mean, it's got to be doable because otherwise it wouldn't be a challenge. Even EA wouldn't be that heartless. But yeah. That was a drift. Which obviously the, uh, the Lancer Evo is known for being quite good at drifting at. I believe. I know it's a rally car. Oh, it was a rally car. Um, move out of the way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this... This one might not be possible. Yeah. This one seems difficult. Oh, no, there we go. Is this the one? No, it isn't. Right, you can go through. Not a good idea, because you will flip. Yeah, not a good idea to do that. I'm probably going to have to restart this entire thing, because that failed. But you basically have to, because there'd be no way of getting to this next toll booth without doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing this in 20 seconds. I mean, I'm going to see how far I can get, but... That's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere close, right. <laughs> now we sort of know the way that this goes. I'm trying to get a perfect launch, and I always fail. My little tip, if you can call it a tip, is uh, when you're doing that, do not do full nitrous. Because you always want some for later. And you want it to recharge, basically. The controller is vibrating like crazy. That, I was going to say that person's going to turn in front of me, which luckily they didn't. Can I make this corner without... I mean, thank God this car can drift, right? Right. I mean, we've only got... Right. 
you we have to there we go see that's what the sort of thing that we need We've cut that entire thing without, like, going crazy out of control, basically. And now there's going to be a cop around here. Yep. Oh, hello. Oh, it's level 5 cops as well. Fun. Now, luckily, because it's a race and not an actual thing, they aren't that crazy, I believe. I could be wrong on that. They will still try and slow you down, but then they're only like level one. I think that's the thing with like this game. Input like when you're doing stuff like this, they're only like level one cops. They're not mental. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I'm not cutting through there because it's a bad idea. Even though I probably should have, actually. Yeah, I remember this one being quite a pain when I was younger. Now I remember it. It really is quite a bad challenge, this. I can't remember where, where the next toll booth is. Also, it's amazing how these guys know where to go. Almost through, like, the invisible wall that, you know. Not invisible, like... It's not really invisible, because you can see it. But, like, you know what I mean. Like, you can drive through it. It's not... It's not a real wall. Right, okay, come on. Get out of the way. Oh. Hell yeah, look how quick we did that. I mean, it's going to be... I didn't even know it might have been possible to actually do that that quick. Why did I have such trouble with this as a kid? I mean, I had it on the PS2, so... When I originally attempted these, when I was younger, so... I really don't see what the problem would be because the PS2 controller is a lot smaller than the uh, 360 or even the original Xbox controller, so it shouldn't really have been an issue for my hands because now I obviously have large hands as an adult. <laughs> right, so that was that. Part 35? I've, yeah, is the next one. But I don't know when that's going to be, but we're going to... It's that challenge. Bounty of a million. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> we're getting close to the end here. And it's getting a little bit tough. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Rob, being from the Insane Gamers. And to... Hello everyone, my name's Rob... No. Getting the time... The video Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, and this is part 35 of Need Speed Most Wanted 2005, the uh, challenge series. And look, challenge 56 out of 68, evade the police pursuit with a bounty of a million to successfully complete this epic challenge, apparently. So let's have a go. And I said, around these time, uh, pre in previous videos, I said, around this point, I've sort of quit the game all when I used to play when I was younger because it was taking way too long, which is honestly very true, uh, very much true. It really does take a lot. Now let's try and slow me down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drive me through there, it's probably not a good idea. Because I'm going to need that later. Yeah, I can tell the federal authorities are trying to control the shoot because it's all federal. Seriously? 
I'd almost lost them. Did I see that? Oh my god, look at how many cops there is. Seriously, how is that not destroying these cars? Yeah, we're gonna get this guy's attention right now. Hiya, you gonna knock me out? I think it worked. I don't know what these cop cars are made of, but I'm telling you now. They're stronger than other ones. Look at how many cops he is following. This is insane. That tree. Take it back. Take it six. I honestly, and those rhinos that were coming towards me, I didn't yeah, even see. Move out of the way. Six, three, nine. Nine, six, there we go. Smash that out the way. Hey, I spun him out. That was spreading. Are you? You're gonna hit me with something else. Well, I'm gonna go down there actually. This was a stupid idea. Now I think about it. But, I'm gonna do it. Whoa! Don't even know what the hell even happened there. But, I know that I'm gonna hit this. Which should hopefully have. Oh god! That's not good. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to do that. I'm going to go on to the rock car. Smash through him like that. That still did nothing. Now I've only got one unit following me. That's not good. Roger, X-ray 3. Detailing I honestly now. thought they were gonna like... Like, where's this... Spike strip gonna be? There we go. Oh, there we go. Go, go, go! Cause, uh... Yeah, I wanna get onto the freeway. What? Ah, oh, okay. How are they keeping up? Oh, God. Right, okay, I'm going to go back this way. Because now I'm doing And there we go. That's how you complete this challenge, people. I wasn't actually expecting it to complete it that quickly. What was that? What was that time? I didn't see. Because I was switching, like, I was checking if it was still recording. Because if that wasn't recording, oh my god, that would be annoying. I guess I'll see in the edit. I'm gonna look. Oh, I I got all the infractions. Oh, four minutes and twenty eight seconds. That's not a lot of time. If you think about it. But whatever. Thank you very much for watching. 
stay tuned to the next one. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Intergames, and this is part 36 of Need Speed Must Win 2005 the Challenge Series. We've got to complete this toll booth time trial in under 4 minutes and 35 seconds to win. Just let you know, the next couple, look, Dodge 10 Police Roblox, that might actually be quite easy. Uh, that one might be difficult, and then obviously we have no idea about these. But look, there's not that many left of these. So let's move on to the actual next challenge. Win a Corvette. Win a C6R. Hmm, interesting. Which is, I don't believe you can get the C6R in regular campaign mode. I believe it is just in these challenge series and in quick races. Oh, we have to go there. We can't cut through there. That sucks. But we can cut through there. It helps. We've also got level 5 cops, I noticed, so that's going to be annoying for them. Because we will blend in. Got that. Was a, that was a wall that we hit. Right. Okay. She just made that. Oh no, it's this one. I remember this one now. Yeah. So this one is quite a big one to do. No, actually, maybe not. There was one where it was a really tough. Well, it was going through there, but it was really, really tough. Like, you had like less than 10 seconds to make it. Not less than 10 seconds, like... A really short amount of time, basically. Like, it was... Like, if you... I don't really know how to describe it. Like... <laughs> it was basically impossible unless you did it perfect. Then again! It was, re it was a really long time ago when I, when I last did these, so I could have just been kid me being like, this is too difficult, I can't do it. No. And now, nowadays I'm like, yeah, this isn't that bad. Oh god, that slowed me down. Get out the way. Oh, we are driving like a maniac. I'm not going to cut through that because that was stupid. They've all decided to cut through that. Interesting. Lost side of the vehicle, nice. They've lost sight of me. If I was driving straight on, that'd be excellent. But of me, I'm not driving straight on. I'm going to the left. Can you see that? Can you move, please? Thank you. That cop got stuck there, apparently. And we're turning right. Oh god, this is really tight. Like, seriously, those were tight cops. And apparently that's like really slowed down the cops. I'm wondering if what was happening there was supposed to be a spike strip. And it sort of didn't work. I just noticed there's eight things that we have to talk through. Are you kidding me? Seriously, game? Eight. Eight tall boots. And what was it? Four minutes or something? I mean, it might be possible, but... I mean, obviously it's got to be possible, because EA wouldn't put an impossible challenge in. I mean, EA... They're bad, but they wouldn't do that. Then again, you don't earn achievements for this. Who knows? I'm sure there was one race. I don't know if it was because I had the black. I might have to get the black edition. Mm. But that's on PS2, so I don't think that would count. 
basically there's a version of the game called Black Edition. And it's got... How to describe it? It's got an extra challenge. Speaking of which, I have done the 69th challenge. I'm gonna meet a police officer again. Maybe not? Maybe? I don't know. Well, that person got rammed up the way, didn't it? Right. And we've done the challenge. Yeah, this version of the game, it unfortunately only was on PS2 in the power regions. So I'll have to get PS2 version again. But, uh, yeah, it had... It had an extra challenge on it. Which... Yeah. But basically, it was... That one might have been impossible. But yeah, thank you for because it was like level 8 or something. Level 7 or 8 cops. Which is not something you can technically do normally. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Rob Green from Games. Thank you very much. Uh, well, yeah, thank you very much for watching and to, uh, goodbye. Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I'm from Lance Games. This is part 37 of the Need to Be Most Wanted, the challenge series. Um, I'm assuming that's the right episode number. Uh, so, wait, hang on. Dodge at least 10, please, for Roblox and evade the pursuit. That's what we've got to do. So, of course, first thing we've got to do, because uh, we'll be in the Corvette C6R. Which is not something we get during the normal campaign. Uh, we're going to get onto the freeway. That's obviously the best chance of that. And we've only got the level 3 cops, which is interesting. I thought we would have had level 5, but now we're getting and that's not what I want to do. There we go. There's quite a lot of them behind me. I need to get to a freeway. I'm gonna speed direct around the corner, basically close it down. And they all lost complete control on that corner. Like I've managed to somehow what happened there, I can't see how the spikes there was. Right now we're on the freeway, so that's what we want. Now the game is gonna Spawn roadblocks, see we've gone for the first one. And hopefully it'll keep doing that. This is what we need. There's just huge collisions happening back there. Excessive speeding. Roadblock, wow, that was so easy to avoid. Oh god, the amount of trucks there. I mean, I know it was only two, but I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was. Yeah, I am going that way. The speed of this car is well, just insane. I know it's a race car, but still. The cop was trying to force me into that dump truck. Alright, so we've only done two. Hopefully we can do a lot more. So we need eight more. Someone who's doing 230 mile an hour, you need robots, not ramming someone off the road. Come on! Because they're losing them, I don't think they're spawning. It doesn't help when they like do stupid stuff like drive on the 
As long as they don't spawn randomly, because that's alright. I will gladly take the back of them. But, oh god, no, they've lost me. There we go. And now one of them's going the way. But now I've. And there was something about a roadblock there that I. Or at least a spike strip that I. didn't hear. Oh no, it is. Oh god. Oh, roadblock up ahead. Good, 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 good. I lost, uh, lost a visual here. Hold on. Back on vehicle and through the roadblock. Right, okay. I've gone through the roadblock. Yes, oh, there we go. You're following. That's good. I'm not even, like, trying to take out the cops. That's not the worst thing about this. I've gone under. You are such an idiot. Great. Absolutely wrong. So I might have failed this thing, not for any fault of my own. But because... Trying to evade you. Come on. Do I have to? Do I see something do 90 mile an hour to say keep on? Yeah, we just enjoy that. <laughs> we're evading. Okay. We're not. We're not evading. Come on. Yay! You've actually managed to get out of that. All right. Yeah, you've got no one with you, so that's not going to work, is it? Right, just go this way. Mm. Around the rock. Right, we've got five more. Five more of this. I need more backup. He took all my cover units. No, you took your own cover units yeah, took themselves out. You can't blame me on any of this. Yeah, it's too far. Uh, we other units wait just area pursuit. Uh, can you... Oh, no. Okay. Uh, you, uh, I swear to God these guys are going to be pretty deliberately trying to use me. There we go, at least we've got back up now. God damn. Challenges, man. They're just dumb. The AI thing. Like, how did I take out that unit that I just sideswiped that? I didn't. And if I did, it was incredibly like bad quality. Like <laughs> that thing would have died from like a fly hitting. I've only got one unit following me again. Oh no, luckily I've got some in here. Unit heading up to the coast three chase. Suspect was back. Yeah, I got it. Oh 
On something. This this is the issue. With some of these challenges, like you just you're just sitting around waiting for nothing, like waiting for something to happen. Here we go. Right. Finally. Because you're just gonna spawn down here, aren't you? Got catalyst causing problems coordinating. And we're working on it. Now here's the issue, we've got to evade. Which like I said, we've got a helicopter. Straight line. Well, it's covert, so it's not really a turn. Uh, dispatch, this is 2 12. Right, okay, we'll get down here. Right. What was? Right, there we go. We have done the challenge. So, yeah, that's how you do that challenge. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from the Insane Gamers. And, uh, ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from Lens Gamers, and this is part 38 of Need Speed Most Wanted 2005, the Chan series. Total of time trial, best time posted is uh, 5.05, .05, and this is a long one. And what we in? It might, I think it could be some sort of Porsche. Yes, it was! <laughs> it was just a complete guess. Right, 
Right, so we've got four tall bugs to get to, but they're quite far apart. And there's no traffic. Interesting. I prefer it when that happens. Oh, there's traffic. It's just very low. Can we cut? No, we can't cut through there. Damn it. I was hoping we could shave some time off. Come on. Oh. Yeah. That's a thing. District, this, this is District for, Oh, that slowed us down. Come on. Right, let's cut through here. Um, I'm recording this, and I'm trying to get it recorded and, well, not edited, but basically recorded, uh, ready for 8pm, because it is... I can't believe I'm admitting this because it is quite. Well, okay. Americans don't get it. They just think, oh, it's just this weird European thing that no one ever like. And a lot of people in Europe don't get it either. But yeah, it's just like the everyone thinks, oh, it's just this weird. U it's happened, by the way, by the time you see this video. Um, but yeah, everyone's like, oh, it's just this weird. European thing, it doesn't make any sense, why? Uh, the Eurovision Song Contest. Which, um, yeah. It's very, it's song, if you haven't heard of it, it's a song contest. Every country in the European Broadcasting Union, which doesn't mean it's the EU, it just means it's in the European Broadcasting Union. Uh, there's a cop over there. Hello, yes. That means we're probably going to get level 5 on the actual next challenge we're going to get, aren't we? Anyway, yeah. So, any broadcaster in the European Broadcasting Union can send a song entrance to, uh, to the two semi finals, unless you're part of the big, big five. The UK is part of the big five, so we don't actually have to send it to the semi finals anymore. You just have to send it to. Uh, because we basically we put them, like, along with four other countries, we put like the most money into it <laughs> but yeah so oh god that's that's not going well we might have to restart this one anyway what i'm basically trying to say is uh every broadcaster in well ev uh, one broadcaster in uh, uh, i can't speak apparently the european broadcasting union it's a song contest like the Eurovision is a song contest run by them and any broadcaster and it sends a like an act in and if it gets and then people vote basically on the semi-finals and then that goes into the actual finals and then yeah I think you can tell how that works basically hint oh god oh I fl oh no I have. I just failed completely. Right. Let's not talk about Eurovision Song Contest. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, because that was clearly. I was getting busted from that. That's why the car instantly stopped. Right, so here's a tip don't flip the car over as you go through the uh, gas station. <laughs> anyway, not being chased by police might allow me to uh, explain it better. So, yeah, Eurovision Song Contest is. It's a song contest to talk with. It's run by the European Broadcasting Union and uh, the national broadcaster of each country in it. So in the UK's case, that'll be the BBC. Sends an act, and normally for everyone, it will go to the to a semi-final, and then you know whoever goes through, you know, goes through to the final. But if the part of the Big Five, which is the UK, Germany, France, Italy, and someone else can't remember but yeah if it's one of those you like automatically qualify because they pay the most towards the contest and yeah oh look we've got a cop here that's going to be fun so straight away
But yeah, that's how that works. So I'm going to be watching that semi-finals tonight, and uh, it will be on the first day after. I'm recording this on Tuesday, and it will be on the uh, first day as well. And then the actual proper finals will be on Saturday, and literally your internet, like social network of choice, will probably blow up on Saturday. Although, like I said, it'll have stopped by the time you see this video because it's coming out a week after <laughs> but there now you know and if you don't care you can completely avoid it oh well you hopefully will have avoided it get out the way I'm just screwed I Right, there we go. Get through that. Now I'm losing control completely. Sorry, Porsche. You know how everyone says Porsche is like a car that will kill you? Widowmaker is what to say because of the fact that it's rear engine. I'm getting that from this game. Yeah, well, if maybe if you like stop chasing me, I won't. While I'm trying to do a bloody toll booth, that would be excellent. Get out of the way. God damn traffic. Can you tell I'm really trying to put everything in this now? I'm trying to commentate while, like, all this is happening. That does not help. Right, I'm gonna go through this and like take that out. Which has done nothing. And I wanted to right. Okay. So the game's having me go through the this bit, which isn't great. I can go through here though. But I can't hit any of that, so that was worthless. I can hit the big donut though. So that that helped. Sort of. Right. They're not that far away these toll booths. I might be able to do it before we even get to ten seconds left. Before the hurry not get no, we might not. Oh no we will. Right, that's fine. That'll give us a lot of time for the last one. This side's always better. Well, usually it is. I'm just bouncing off the walls here, aren't I? Because, honestly, you shouldn't do it, but it's... You might have to get out the way. Jesus. <laughs> I feel sorry for all these people that I'm hitting. At the same time, I don't. I think I know which one we're going to as well. We're going to go right through the city. The one right at the end. We should have enough time to make that one. But who knows. Yeah, we will. Get out. Oh, I wanted to hit the cop in the thumbnail, but that didn't happen right. Okay. At least we don't have to, like, lose the cops after the thing. Right, it just ends. Right, can you tell I'm a little bit out of breath now? So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from Insignimus, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Hello everyone, my name's Rob, I'm from Insignimus, this is part 39 of Needs to be Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. And uh, we've got to achieve a 15 minute police pursuit length. If I'm angry, it's because I was nearly there, and bloody game crashed, didn't it? But uh, I had the uh, idea basically shut down. So if you don't like loops, you're not going to really like this because uh, my idea is loop the freeway. That works, basically.
Loop the freeway. Avoid all the spike strips that the game's trying to put out at level 5. That's basically it. See? Oh God! The helicopter was in that spike strip. I know that's a thing. That can happen. It's a glitch that can happen, but... It's, it's not really a thing that's ever happened to me. I don't think it's ever happened. I think I was mentioning it in a video beforehand. I went around that corner in the previous video that you won't see, obviously, because the game crashed, so I just deleted it. But, um, yeah, there was always a spike strip there around that corner. We started with 21, and now we're down to 6. And we haven't even took any out. And now we've got back. Oh look, spike strip. I'm not hitting the spikes. You lost sight. You lost sight. Later on in the... Uh, when we get towards the end, I'm going to tell you my little secret for how to get this to work. If you can call it a secret. Um, but uh, yeah, back up. If you keep evading and going and then coming back to me, you will uh, of course get the backup timer reset. So if you keep doing that, you, if you only have one unit with you. But, like, if you if you keep doing that, you will... I, I think you can tell what I'm basically... I'm just really annoyed still at the previous video. But yeah, if you if you get the... Um, if you get the time reset and you only have one unit with you... Yeah, that's not happening. If you reset it and then you only have one unit left, that makes it so much easier when you evade. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Oh god. Absolutely murdered that person. <laughs> and now I'm trying to get control of the car again. Oh, they all went through the tunnel, did they? Because they were boring. We started with 25, now we've got 22 units with us. Now. I am just going to drive right past you. Wow, you did so well at forcing me off the road. I'm still really annoyed. I can't stress that enough. Now I've only got 16 others. 13 spikes. And they can drive over the spikes just fine. That was the one, I'm pretty sure it was Need to be Most Wanted in 2012. That was the one thing, and I know people are going to say that's cheating. But seriously, that was the most brilliant thing in that game. That really made me happy. That you, could, you could get pop proof tanks. You could drive over a spike strip and the green flip. That was, I'm pretty sure that was Need to be Most Wanted in 2012. And that was great, because that was the one annoying, and I know people were going to be like, that's cheating, because you could... If that was in this game... That would have been excellent. Oh god, no, 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 no,
but that is how the video is gonna go because I'm not restarting this I'm not restarting this video again I'm leaving the fail in I'm not getting busted but I'm not I need some time so yeah dislike the video all you want because I failed but uh, yeah thank you very much for watching I've been Rob Green from the Instant Gamers and ta -ra. hello everyone my name is Rob I'm from the Instant Gamers and this is part 40 of Need Speed Most Wanted yeah we're gonna do this again last time I believe I hit a spike strip or something I think that's what happened and then I just quit and I was like I'm not doing this anymore well, I'm going to attempt it again. We've got the last 15 minutes without, you know, failing. <laughs> We've got the last 15 minutes without getting busted, without hitting a spike strip, you know, without being rammed, basically. Well, we're going we're gonna to end up getting rammed at some point. But yeah, and I'm going to be honest, if it happens again, I'm not going to quit the challenge series. I know it's been a few weeks since the last new speed video was up. Um, but what I think I might do is I might do a uh, Halo. And uh, just record the video without a uh, commentary. So I have full attention. And then just put the commentary in later. See, there we go, spike strip. I would have hit that. I noticed the game doesn't seem to like, want to uh, tell me that there's a Roblox. It, it's happened afterwards now. Reckless driving! <laughs> what? How do you even get that? I, I don't even know. I can't remember. But I was going insanely quick there. There we go. I swear those things stay left there. Are they trying to trick me? Yeah, I wonder why I'm not stopping. I swear that's where it was last time. I missed the spikes there, apparently. Good. I don't want to hit the spikes. Where are the spikes here? I assume there was some there somewhere. I'm now losing them. Oh, luckily there's a car sting. Oh, God! That's the one thing I do here. Where's the spikes here? They're on the. They're always on the left. It looks like. There we go. Don't pick. Oh God! Now I'm losing them. You better not be losing me. So I'm like, if you guys lose me, I'm gonna lose my shit. God. I saw the spike there, I was like, well at least I didn't hit it. <laughs> Evading them again. And now I have evaded them. Great. I hate this so much, shouldn't I? Right. You found me. Now come on. Evading somehow. Yeah, I'm totally evading. There we go. Right. Thank you, Mr. Police Officer. We've only been on three minutes as well. I think we're going to end up doing like five laps of this thing. Maybe even more. <laughs> I hate how it does that as well when there's backup. Spawn actual. Like. Cars in, not this. Don't spawn. Okay, right. Whatever. Did I? Oh, there we go. Right, you spawned one for me. Good. I, 
I, I, obviously, I don't want to lose him. Because I'm going to make it last 15 minutes. Got that sound wrong. Spikes on the left, right. I didn't even know you were following me. I'm only going like half speed. Because that might be the best idea. And now, obviously, there's so many that I think it might be better to like continue to like. Oh, right, because. How are you going to disable me? You're going to try and hit me because I know that's a thing you do at this heat level. Go, 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 go! I guess that was how they were going to disable the vehicle, but I thought we were going to do it with the chopper. There we go. God, that is a mess of an accident behind me. A collision, I should say. Not an accident. Yeah, they tried to hit me. I wouldn't try and slow me down. I would have hit that. If I hadn't been paying attention. Because now they're putting the spikes in the middle. That is certainly an interesting idea. That slowed me down massively. Right, now it keeps putting the spikes in the middle. Spikes on the left. Seriously, if I had to like hit a hundred spike strips, this would be like really easy. Or oh, not hit, I guess it's a point. Yeah, 50 spike strips would probably be a challenge to do that. Because I fit, like I said, I think this was the bit where I actually did give up when I was younger. It was around this point. I think I said that in the previous video. Again, this is like my third attempt, because the first one, you guys didn't see at all, because the system crashed. Which, I don't want that to happen again. There we go. Right. We're nearly halfway through this challenge. I can't believe we're only nearly halfway through. We're not anywhere like close to finishing. Right, where's the spikes here? Right in the middle, so we're fine. Which lap is this anyway that we're on? I don't know. Right now we're halfway through. I think at some point I'm going to go the left way. Honestly, we might end up doing like 10 laps. Which I don't want to do. But. You never know. At least the game isn't like spawning. I was going to say, at least the game isn't spawning Roblox at the moment. But then it did. Yeah, his problem with these being like so long, you 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 run out of things to talk about. You um you get a bit bored to be honest. Uh, <laughs> there were spikes there. I'm, well, I'm assuming there was. What was the thing I was going? I was going to talk about England. We beat Panama six one, and Harry Kane scored three times. Uh, but I'm not really a big fan of football, I just wanted to mention it. And I didn't see it live, because 
well, A, I'm not a big fan of football. B, I don't know if you guys saw my Twitter or maybe on Facebook. <coughs> now, and my throat's gone dry. There's also a big issue with uh, YouTube. We'll get out of here. That was the first time I hit a car? Wow! Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was out on Sunday. Well, in fact, I was out on Saturday as well. I was basically going on holiday or vacation for you Americans um, to a place called Blackpool, which is basically it used to be like this really popular tourist place, and then it sort of wasn't, and it sort of gone really shit. But then somehow they've like put money back into it. So it's it's not as bad as like everyone says it is now. Like it's still bad. I won't deny that. Um, I mean I'll go again. <laughs> I, I, okay, how can I describe this? The the seafront is coastal places. Um, but then again, it's Britain and quite a lot of places are coastal places because we don't have a lot of land in the middle. Anyway, yeah. So. It's. I'm going to describe this. Basically, the, the seafront and the theme park and everything there is completely alright. Like, if you want to go there and visit that, it's fine. Don't really know about the um, hotel that I was in. I'm not trying to know but it was just freaking brilliant. Uh, lovely hotel. Oh god, no, I'm going to get busted! Oh, because I wanted to avoid that spike strip. <laughs> Got five minutes left. I get talking about Blackpool. Um, but yeah, it's. I didn't really check out the town part, but apparently that is the part where it's all on shit, so it might still be. But certainly since last time I was there, when I was about 10, it's got a lot better than I remember it. Is Cross chasing me? That sounded like Cross. I don't think it is, because he's in a normal car. But I know that's a thing that can happen in the game, so who knows. Can it happen in Challenge Series? Someone will comment, hopefully. <laughs> Please comment, guys, if you like him. I'm going to go... I was going to say I'm going to the left this time, and I will. He missed the robot. He missed the robot. Can't... God, didn't even see that. I wasn't even paying attention. The first bit I saw of it was like me slightly scraping it. There we go. I'm honestly nervous because the way we're driving, like, oncoming lanes, it's not fun. Right. At some point, we have to evade. Some point. Oh no, I sent a helicopter. Lovely. Right. Right, okay. Now they've sent a whole bunch of cars in the way. Oh god, and we got a bit of air there. We've got a couple more minutes. We're gonna hit it. Uh, I thought they were gonna try it. Yeah. your helicopter. Do you really think that's a good idea? There we go. Right. Right, three, uh, 30, three minutes, 30 minutes. So many years to fall on us. I haven't evaded yet, but I plan to at some point, unless I fail. <laughs> Good, I managed to avoid that. I, what the hell is that? The spikes on the left, right? Which I avoided. Right. 
God. Sometimes this game really just throw you curveballs that like you don't expect the, the spike strips to be where they are. Hasn't sent any rhinos after me for a bit. Which I don't want it to. I'm sort of losing them. No, 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 no! There we go. Go, 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 go. Um, yes, thanks. I needed the speed. Oh yeah. Right, good. Good for you. Now I have lost them. Shit. It's not good. It's not good. I've lost them. Where's this? The spec strip was on the right. The cops, the cops can't get me. Oh, well, they are now. So, right. Okay, full throttle. I've only got one unit after me. Oh, you almost? And they were right anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's the... Oh, there he is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me a few more minutes. Give me a few more seconds. Right, okay. Now I just need to check out that one unit. Hopefully. Which I don't think I'm going to do. But I'm going to try. I'm apparently not going the end. Oh yes, yes, there's a hide there's a hiding place on here. There we go. Right. Heading <laughs> Good. To be set up a ten block radius. <sighs> right, we've completed this challenge. There we go. Sixteen minutes, two seconds. Mm. Good. So that's part forty. I think Rob, I've been from the insane gamers. Don't know what the next one's gonna be. Well, it's gonna be a tall booth, I know that much. But we'll see what it is. What is it? Part 40, oh, well, now it's going one by one, so even if I do complete this, you have to, it doesn't unlock the, oh, great. So yeah, that'll be fun. But there's only eight left. So that'll be interesting. Will part 48 be the finale? And I was going to say, and that was the pre the amount of videos that were in the actual campaign, but it wasn't. It was 70 something. <laughs> it was in one of the uh, Let's Plays I did. The 48 videos was the amount of the uh, Let's Play. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from the Instant Gamers, and ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name's Rob. I'm from the Instant Gamers, and this is part 41. Of Need Speed Most Wanted 2005 from Charm Series, and we've, we've got to do this tour booth in under five minutes. <laughs> Basically, what we're going to be in, hang on, I'm just moving closer to the screen and to the microphone so you guys can hear me better. Oh, when a Vauxhall went out, Vauxhall went out, or when it, I honestly cannot remember how this, this car is like pronounced. But it's basically the uh, Pontiac GTO. I mean, that's also in this game. I might be wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure it is. And it handles not very well, admittedly. I don't know, like, who tuned this car, but it, like, look, it's. It just four wheel drifts as soon as you go around the corner. A suspect associated to street racing was just reported heading westbound on Highway 201. Available units to respond. Dispatch, you got any other details on that last call? My screen's acting up. Oh god, I thought I was going to hit that. Suspect vehicle is a white sports car. No. Sorry. 
don't know why I'm apologising, dude's not real. But look at that! Oh, hello, Mr. Policeman. I wouldn't even bother. Will we actually be able to do this? I don't, well, obviously the possible is like, it wouldn't have been for the game, but... I honestly do not know, like, if I can do it, is what I'm trying to say. Now that is drifting. Well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this car does not handle well in that situation. And the police are just smashing into everything. Admittedly, so am I. God, I thought I was going to hit the truck there. I love how the cop knows where I'm going. That is one thing I do find annoying. How the police seem to obviously know where you're supposed to be going. They shouldn't. No, you can't provide a sugar. Should I? Kill so that person. <coughs> Wall. This is. Oh no, they have turned. That's good. I didn't want to hit them. I don't know which toll booth I'm going to be going through. I'm presuming it's the one I've got to turn right at up here, but I don't know. All I know is that I just took out all those cops, which is good. Yes. Right. Jesus, I hate it when the game does that. It's like, yeah, let's just put a cop car right in front of you. No particular reason like turning to get out the way of the room. Obviously, I've got something to do. Just trying to push through. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, look, I don't have to turn, right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that cop is dead. And I did it. I just was not expecting that. What's the next thing? The, right, spike strip. Avoid 10 spike strips. Oh, that's lovely. And obviously we have no idea what the rest of the... Well, I mean, you can look on the internet if you want to know what the rest of them are. 
But um, yeah, we're almost done with this. I've been Robin from Games Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. And ta-ra! Hello everyone, my name is Robin from Games Gamers. This is part 42 of Need Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series, Spike Strip. So uh, we've got to dodge 10 spike strips and evade the pursuit. And we're in a Vauxhall Murano, weren't we in the last one? Can't remember, <laughs> to be honest. But I think we were. Yep. This was an uh, awful car to control. Because it likes to uh, drift everywhere. Come on, get out of the way. Oh, come on. Yeah, they just killed that person. Okay, spike strip. Oh, God, I honestly thought I, was, I hit the uh, heavy SUV, like, head on. If that's what that was, it failed, didn't it? That didn't count, that was just a random, that was just a proper roadblock. Yeah, Ow. That's a spike strip, that. Go away. There we go. Right, that's that sorted. <laughs> There's a spike strip somewhere, I think. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Come on. Am I? I don't think I was causing that much damage. Unless your own cops crashing and flipping over themselves is me causing damage. Which, that seems like it's more your problem. Fine. Oh, God, there's a cop that's like actually with me. Don't want to lose him. That was a. I saw a video recently, I don't know who it was by. But it was by someone who was like, yeah, it needs to be once more in. It's a great game. Or oh, we all remember it being a great game, but it's not actually. Like, it's still fun, but like. you just remember all these amazing police chases and then you actually replay it back and you realise that a lot of the time you're having to do like 150 mile an hour and keep slowing down for cars behind you because you've just lost them all and you need the pursuit to be a certain length and that is true I mean you can see it in the uh, in these videos I've gone through 8 spike strips now see I've almost lost this That, like, that cop there, I'd almost lost him. But it would have been I failed the uh, the challenge. Still losing him, see? I mean, they're gonna spawn ahead of me, obviously, now. Got the backups here, but. Still! There we go, right, hopefully that'll be have a spike strip. Yep, here we go, right. Challenge complete, now evade. Uh, 
Have you? Oh no no, oh god, I almost thought I was going to crash right into that. If this works, seriously again. And it worked of course. Such an easy thing to do. It honestly feels like cheating sometimes. One million bounty in less than five minutes. Well, yeah, five minutes. Whew. Like, honestly, I was expecting this video to be, like, a lot longer than it was. I was expecting this to at least be, like, ten minutes. But no. Five minutes. And, uh, you know... I'm ending after each one now because of, you know, the fact that it's going one by one. Like, I have to do this time trial. Uh, I have to do this tour booth, I should say. Well, it is a time trial. But then I have to do this trip paint, and I have to do this tour booth, and then, yeah, etc. Like, before it used to be, oh, you could do either of them. Now it isn't. Now you have to do each one individually. So that'll be part 58. Uh, part 53? No, part, uh, part 43. But yeah. So I've been Rob, been from the Insane Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. And to wrap. Hello everyone, my name's Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers. And this is Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. I believe this is, uh, well, it's a challenge series, obviously. I believe this is part 43. Um, honestly, um, I'm recording this on the Sunday. Uh, and obviously this goes out on Monday. Um, and I know that one of these just went out on Saturday. I actually didn't intend it to go out on Saturday. I intended it to go out on Friday, but I uh, uploaded it wrong and scheduled it wrong. So, oops. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll be doing that. Um, now, later in the week, it's Games of Gold, basically. So, um,. Supposedly, I'm gonna have. I've written on my schedule Pac Man. I don't know if that's gonna happen, to be honest. Uh, because of what happened last time. I'm, I was gonna do that, like, now, but. That last bit just annoyed me. And it's a few days later, and it still annoyed me. God, this car is. out of control. I've also apparently got GTA written down, so I'll probably end up doing that, and then Games of Gold, and there'll probably be an Amnesia video from Reedy. Well, I want to uh, thank, uh, I don't want to thank, I want to congratulate, I should say, uh, Taffy316. Um, I made, well, I've made some of the uh, compilations of uh, British stuff for him to react to, and that is some of his most popular content. So, um, yeah. I want to congratulate him on a thousand subscribers. And now I've got that out of the way. Let's concentrate on uh, Need for Speed. And this one might be quite tough. Um, I'm suspecting it is. I mean, this car is absolutely crazy to control. And as you can see, there's just really not a lot of time. Because it's not around here. I might fail this to be honest. First go. And now it's really windy, and you can probably hear the door like, moving. Which, I'm sorry, it's the UK. We don't have air conditioning because it's never really that hot. So you have to have the window open if it is, and it's warm. Thanks, global warming. And of course, windy equals like doors and stuff moving, which isn't really a problem when you're just in the house normally, but uh, it is a problem when you're trying to record YouTube videos.
That slowed me down, that was not great. So this might... I don't know if this is going to take a few attempts. Or not. Because it is getting quite close. Right, I'm going to go on coming away because I can. And why'd I go that way? That is this quicker? I don't know. Honest. That was a wall. Attention and the sort of sighting me. Which is good. I wish they completely lost me. Have they? I think they have. No, they haven't. And now they're just all in front of me. Move out of the way. I'm going to fail this because of that stupid cop slowing me down there. I think. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to make this. Come on! There we go. Right, made it. You're actually lucky you're getting this video at all, considering my capture card, the large uh, HDPV I was just playing up before I recorded. Um, it wasn't coming through on my TV at all. Stupid. Oncoming trap. Move out of the... You're kidding me, right? I'm screwed. <laughs> Let's just restart that, because that was... That was just utter bullshit, you know that. There was nothing I could do, like, I was in the middle of that turning, and the cop car just was in front of me. And I hit the wall again! Seriously, this car is not easy to control. Because it's a Mercedes and it's been tuned. No, I'm not going to go off road, even though that technically would be quicker. There's nine tow booths that we have to go through. That's just insane. All right, let's go as close as we can. There we go. Yeah, just this car does not want to turn, like, at speed. It oversteers. Or under... Would it... Is it oversteer or understeer? I watch Top Gear, oh, I used to, when it was Klaxon and Hammond and this. And I can't even tell you. Stupid dump trucks, I love it, not dump trucks. But stupid trucks getting in the way there as well, that's... Oh, I'm surprised the cop didn't see me. I mean, they're trying it, but I mean. Whoa! <laughs> You're kidding me! What the hell happened there? <laughs> you can tell me I'm doing. And I'm taking this seriously. So there might be a point where I just stop talking. Normally I've been able to do these like quite easily, but I think this was actually the point as a kid where I did like I think I've said this before, like on previous ones, but I do remember doing a challenge like this and just giving up at one point. Like I'm not saying this is where I, I know I've never completed the challenge series. But I do remember there being a point. You're kidding me, right? It's right here, like the cop. I do remember there being one where the, like, giving up after this, I think. I mean, we'll see if we continue. But, yeah. I think this was the one that I gave up on. And the fact that the door keeps, like, 
moving does not help. Get out of the way! You killed that person, that's not my fault. <laughs> I use that to help me around the corner. Now they're just forcing me over there. Don't you dare turn. Come on, there we go. Oh look, we did that without even <laughs> getting a hurry. Oh, and that slowed us down. Come on, speed up. Probably easier to go over this side. Because we have less of a corner to deal with. If that makes sense, like less length. Still hasn't helped us with the, like... Don't is going to seriously annoy me. I lost, uh, lost a visual here. Hold on. No, I'm not hitting that wall. Units on the pursuit. For your information, vehicle was last seen northbound on Highway 201. Containment to be set up a 10 block radius. Down for update. Right. Thank you. If this is seriously helped, I'm going to be happy. Suspect vehicle is shot. I repeat, suspect may have moved off south. Say hello to one of the police officer up here. Or maybe not. Oh yes, we are. And somehow they knew I was turning this corner. Because that's logic. Ah, oh, not gonna make that. So what's the point? You know what? Stupid dog. <laughs> okay. Didn't think I could do that. And the cop is now blocking the way again. But luckily, it shouldn't be a problem anymore. That taxi might be. Come on. Out of control. As we go over like the jumps there. I hate the fact that the cops don't actually... You know what? Can I take this? Yes. I mean, it slowed me down massively. So it really... If that screwed me over, I wouldn't be annoyed, but... And this cop's like got in the way as well. My trigger finger hurts as well. Which doesn't... We please just piss off blocking me. Rob's getting angry. I have no idea what the challenge is going to be, but it's going to be annoying, like the, the police evade challenge in this car. Because like I said, I, I think this was the last car that I drove in the challenge series. I mean, we'll see. So I either give up on this one, like, or it was the actual police challenge. No, I'm not going to go over that ramp. I could, but it's not worth it. God, this is a scene out of the uh, trailer. I'm going to just slam on bricks, because otherwise I'm going to hit that wall. No! I have no nitrous at all, somehow. It 
even though I didn't use any. Strange. Oh, come on. I don't even know where this next toll booth's gonna be. I can't think of what it is. Wait, is it right? It's okay. So it's the one round here, but I still don't know where exactly the one at. Well, like which one we're gonna go to? It's, oh, I think I know. It's gotta be the one at the um top of the mountain around here. Yes, cause it. Oh, swear to God. Oh. You need speed, and this is not helping. Like spawning cars, and then just getting these five-star cops to just like block you, and like this is just not great. Come on, move out the way, please, guy. Here we go. Right. That is a photo. I am done. I completed it. I have been Rob, I've been from the Insane Gamers. Let's see what the next challenge is for part 44. Tree pink with 20 different police vehicles and evade the pursuit. Right, now we know. That'll be the second for the last tour booth and that'll be the last one. So yeah, I've been Rob Bean from the Insta Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. And ta-ra. Hello everyone, my name's Rob. I'm from the Insta Gamers. This is part 44 of Need Speed Most Warring 2005 Challenge Series. We've got to get 20 different police vehicles. And the game crashed last time I was doing this. But we're in the Mercedes that we were in the last episode. Be advised, in a with a code 6 driver. And I basically have a way to deal with it. Right, hit him. Two. I didn't want to go that way, you bastard. They forced me away, I didn't want to go. But I can get onto the freeway. Don't know what happened behind me, but a lot of the cops went crazy. I've only got two, that sucks. Right, okay. There we go, just hit that cop. Hit him, there we go. And I'm just going to hit all these guys. I mean, this isn't, wasn't the way I was going last time, I was hitting in the complete opposite direction. Like, if this is more on fire, I was hitting the dark one. I didn't actually expect to kill him. Yeah, this is insane. All these cops are just trying to kill me. You're trying to knock me out. It's not gonna work. Because if it hit me 10... Really? I hit a cop there. You can't deny that I didn't hit that SUV heavy. 13, no, that's exactly what I needed. 14. These guys are just flipping upside down right now as they go around corners. Not good for them. They've got 15. Thing is, I've hit them, but I need to wait for a bit. Right, okay. Boom, boom. 16. Oh my god, I would not want to be in that car. Would 
fuck you. Why the cops see you? Right, like yeah, that. Stop trying to push me towards the thing. There we go. Challenge complete. Now I've I can do that. Said evading is going to be the most important part. Really, game, you're spawning a cop down here. There we go. Suspect Challenge the complete. Eastbound, near the financial district. Uh, supervisor confirms quadrant to be set up. Uh, units to reference their Thank you very much for watching. Back. I've been robbing from the insane gamers. Uh, all units on the project. Entire supervisor thing took you go five minutes, fifteen seconds. I was expecting it to take a lot longer, considering I know what the last challenge is going to be, and that'll be a fun video for you guys. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Part 44 needs to be most one. Next one is going to be this tall boot time trial. Ta ra! Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I'm from Lincoln Games, and this is part 45 of Need to Speed Most One 2005, the challenge series. We've got 4 minutes and 50 seconds to beat this. So if the video is just longer than that, you'll know I'm for the first time. We're in a Fiat Punto, I was not expecting that. There's nothing wrong, I just wasn't expecting it. And god, this thing is quick. I was going to say it's a crutch rocket, but that's for the air bikes. I think it might have like connotations. I'm not going to I can't remember. Reporting a speeding vehicle. Description matches wanted suspect. 
Didn't mean to kill you, sorry. Uh, this is something I meant to mention in the last video, but I just um, There is... I know in America, rappings and things are called illegals. Um, I don't know if that's federally, but I believe it is in a lot of states. But, um, like I said, I'm not exactly sure. But um, yeah, they're not in the UK. I mean, uh, I was watching uh, uh, Tap 316 uh, livestream. And he was wondering, oh, sports betting is now legal in the Which it's always been legal in the UK. Because we have a large betting culture. But yeah, so gambling. But, um, I put money down with it. I hardly ever do. But I just thought it was interesting. So, yeah, you can wrap up your house. And some, some people were trying to sell their uh, 6 million pound house. And they couldn't get any buyers. <laughs> so they wrapped it for a 10 pound ticket. Which, yes, I know, that's incredibly stupid odds that I just took. Uh, but, to be honest, yeah, I don't care because... People always like, oh, you lot of and stuff like that. Why, like, why are you so tight from stupid people? No, the stupid people are the people that you can't lose if you buy, like, 10 million people. But, you know, like, that shit will take. The entire point is to just buy one ticket and just hold that you will beat the odds. Yes, it's very unlikely. But you're not... If you go into those things with the acknowledgement that you're not going to win... Oh my god, I just don't like that. I mean... Oh please, just put me back on my wheels now. But yeah, if we um, if you go into it on the idea that you're not going to win, but there is a possibility that you could win, however small that possibility is, then I don't think it's a stupid thing to do. It's just a bit of fun. It's people that are addicted to it or stuff like that, where it is a serious problem. But I'm not like that, so. So we'll see on this house site. Unlikely, I know. But, um, I'm not going to link to it. Don't bother asking. I mean, you can probably find it on Google. Um, if you want to enter yourself. But we shall see. It'd be an interesting video, though, if I had one. I'm like, yeah, here's my new house. If we got to it, holy shit, I would be putting that one first. Two hundred mile an hour in a bit. I don't think I was ever expecting. And we're just going crazy. Hello, Jason. Did I? Did I just blow by? How fast did I blow by? On this way. Come on, dude. I think we can easily do this now. Let's go. Oh! Oh, that is a thumbnail. That is a thumbnail. I mean, I know I don't like use game like images from the actual video as a thumbnail just have a standard one but yeah that would be a thumbnail if i did that anyway i've been robin from the intergames thank you very much for watching and ta -ra. hello everyone my name's rob i'm from the insane gamers and this is part 46 of the need to speed most wanted challenge series and apparently we are really close to the end i didn't actually realize that um 
mainly because it's been a long time since I've actually played this game. Um, if you didn't know, you need to watch the uh, Halo 3 ODST video, but um, basically, as a long story short, I this if you've been watching this content on this channel, this is a... Uh, all the stuff you've been watching previously has been sort of old. Um, uh, you know, three, up to three year old. Um, well, yeah, let's just kill all those cops. <laughs> With Diggy's Donuts, we need to get a huge cost of state, apparently. Um, 200,000? God, this. Do you want to, like, get out of the way? Oh, I'm, well, oh, it's B for Nitrous, there we go. Maybe I stopped doing this, but for... God, this car drives like shit. I can't remember if I started doing this or not. And then just didn't have a let's play, like, release it. Because, yeah, this... This is... Mm, this looks like it is going to be a pain. I need to get rid of some of these cops. Like that, there we go, that helps. But now we're, oh, we're not evading them, really, are we? Get out the way, you absolute knobs. Um, so yeah, if you haven't watched the uh, the Halo 3 ODST video, basically what happened is uh, all the stuff you're watching on this channel is old, um, or, or have been watching uh, has been old, um, and basically. Uh, well, this is a new channel, and all, that that's really it. That's all I can really say. I need to... This is probably a heavy one. But you... Little tip, never hit the engine. That helps. Do like, you want to go away? Well, we're not really close to the cost of state, are we? So... Don't really want to lose the cops yet. What's annoying is you can't really. I I have to sort of mute the audio a little bit if that makes any sense. Can you, can you stop like slow me down? Oh god. There we go. This punto is like the worst in handling, by the way, because obviously it's not meant to be going. Well, driving as it is. Haha, I want this. Oh, well, you've started following me anyway. That's not. <laughs> that's not really a haha, -ha, is it? <laughs> yeah, let's, uh. Drift this way. Kill this. I mean, I'm sure. I, someone's probably speedrun doing the challenge series, haven't they? And now I'm losing the cops. Let's go this way. Again, evading them. Oh, I don't want to evade them. I failed the challenge. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, well, I didn't evade them. <laughs> but, uh, is there a thing here? There better not be a spike strip, because that would be really annoying. But we need to get a high cost of state. And also, we should probably try and avoid that. Like that. That works. Is one of them following? Because that would be really annoying if they're not. Right, well, we're only 500,000 away. 500,000? That's... No. 50,000 away. Hit everything. Now we're a bit... Oh, no. Right, there's a cop up there. I can't remember. Well, I assume Costa State is what. I can't, it's been so long since I played this. I can't remember. But I, well, it's hitting stuff presumably like this. Mm, right, we're gonna ram right through them like that. See, bounty is something different. I think, isn't it? Genuinely cannot remember. I 
Oh, now we've lost the cops, which is slightly annoying. But well, it's not annoying because we need the we need them. Oh, that's that might have screwed me there because I've might be going into bust. Uh, right, reverse, reverse, go the way right. We might have been able to do this by. Oh God! Oh, that guy's dead. That that cop is definitely. Oh, that is that is a collision. We've done it. I think. I think we've done it. Time to evade. I need to just find an evade spot, a cooldown spot, whatever it's called. In here, please. There we go. There's one down here. I mean, watch it. It will spawn a cop down here. Knowing this game. Where is the nearest cooldown spot? I swear there was one down here. What's over there? How am I, right, am I, no, no, it's around the, it's, I know where it is. Oh, there's one, there's a cop up there, that's. This is like terrifying, when, well, I mean, I, I imagine it's how people running from the cops actually feel. There we go, right, we'll hide. We'll get our cooldown. And we'll have completed challenge 66. And we did it in five minutes. <laughs> and look, we damaged 27 police vehicles, we immobilized 23, we dodged eight spike strips, we dodged nine roadblocks. It cost the state 213,777, uh, 75, uh, presumably dollars. <laughs> and we had five unserved infractions, which were speeding, ramming a police vehicle, damaged property, resisting arrest, and driving off the roadway. There we go. I've been Rob. I think see from the safe file there uh, from the Instagrams. Thank you for watching this episode of Need Speed Most Wanted, the challenge series. I guess we've got two more left. I didn't know we were that close to the end, but um, yeah, we've got this tone bo booth, toll booth time trial. And we've got this pursuit length. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. ta -ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Instant Gamers, and this is part 47 of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. And this is the longest time challenge in the blacklist record. You need to reach the last toll booth before the 8 minutes 50 mark to win this challenge. What car we're going to be in, I don't know. But we're going to give it a go. And then obviously the next one will be the f final... Assuming we complete this, of course. Oh, we're in a Lamborghini Gallardo. Right. Interesting. Let's... Go! Nitrous. Immediately. We're not going to waste all of it, though, of course, because that would be stupid. Because it needs to refill. One thing I love about this game is the sense of speed. You get. And I don't... I cannot think about it. Well, I think these blacklist challenges you do in like, uh, well, I screwed that one up, didn't I? There's no way I can continue after hitting that. <laughs> right. Oh, I've got perfect launch as well. Right, that might help. Yeah, um, across these blacklist challenges, I'm pretty sure some of them you do in the story mode. Well, career, yeah, story mode, curry mode, same thing. Let's hope that truck isn't there. It's not there anymore. Good. That was a bit mean. This certainly feels faster because, well, it is. Can we cut the thing? I'm presuming, yes, we can. We're on the golf course. Got to avoid the, uh... That's a wall. Wow, that was a wall. Um, ah, that's a that's a slightly annoying thing, and I assume we're going to get a couple of restarts here. That wasn't a perfect launch. Damn it! But I'm not going to do it here. I'm not going to quit and uh, 
you know, do the commentary afterwards. Well, the thing is with Halo is that the levels took way too long, it just made more sense to split that into parts. By the way, if you ever want to know why the Halo Let's Plays are like that. Right, that was about the same time. I think that was a tree that I hit. 200 mile an hour into the golf course. That, I just went through the sand trap, oh the bunker. Actually, you know, quite ironic considering uh, Mario Golf just came out as a left play. That's a tree, I don't want to hit that. I've already hit many trees. Oh, that's a lorry, yeah, truck coming your way. Alright, can we do this? That was a wall, and that was going driving right through the toll booth. That's not exactly. That's lost me a bit of speed, I think. Might be able to do it, but. One thing I feel about this is you've got to take the shortcuts. Heading, well, the invisible wall. That is, oh god, you've sent them after me. Oh no, I'm screwed. You sent level 5 cops. Well, of course it's going to be level 5 cops with it being. Maybe it's going to be nice to me because it's got level 5 cops. Nah, that doesn't seem like this game. Um, so excited because, uh, what is it? Forza Horizon 5 is coming out in um, a couple of days time, uh, at the time of recording obviously, you know I record these in advance, so that just showed you how uh, long ago this was recorded, but yeah I'm going to be, I'm super excited for that, um, can I get past this car please? Please? Oh no, now I'm on coming lanes. There we go, right. Oh god! That doesn't help! Stupid cops, man, sometimes. I mean, I know their job is to stop me, but... You'd think in, like... I don't want to hit... Well, I've hit him. I tried to not do it at full speed. <laughs> Ugh. Couldn't really see the taxi because it was a blind corner. Yeah, it wants me to hurry up while well, I'm. Tr I don't want to hit these taxis, but they keep getting in the way. I've got 30 seconds of the next tour booth, and it's probably going to have me drive around the long way, isn't it? Wait. No, actually, surprisingly. Good, I can take the quote unquote shortcut. I'm not even sure if that would help. I've never actually done... I don't know if I've said that. I've never actually completed the Blacklist series. Right. Six seconds. Come on. Oh, God. Cop. On... Why would you be here anyway? That doesn't make any sense. Like, logically, if you think about it in real life, there's no way a cop would be oncoming lanes in front of the suspect. They wouldn't even flip around there. I mean, I've seen enough police programs on TV to know that much. And I know these are supposed. Well, did I just... No, I technically didn't screw this up because they both go the same way, of course, but I was trying to figure out which one is longer. I think the oncoming lanes one is actually longer. God, now we're going into this tunnel that I absolutely hate because it's so tight. I think that, well, I think they're both about the same size, actually. Oh, I've got a minute to do this? Oh, okay. That's, um... So we're not taking the one up here. Uh, it probably would have been better going on coming lanes because then I would have got ha technically had the shorter but you know, going through there, right. Yeah, yeah, he just went <sighs> I 
hate. Oh no! Get out the way, stupid AI. Is he using the cooldown? Not cooldown, what's it called? Is it, no, not pushing it, but I managed to get what the hell this is all called. The slowdown effect. Is that like cheating, technically? I mean, it's a thing in the game. I don't think they expect you not to use it. God, and the controller is vibrating so much. It's awful. Oh. 16 seconds? Really? Did I just do that really quickly, or is that, like, deliberate? Right, we're going to right side of the road. Get out the way, Mr. Pizza Delivery Man. We've got a thin gap to get through here. Which... Oh, I might have screwed myself over by trying to hit that cop. But I, you needed to be out the way. Oh, oh, oh no wait, that is the way. Okay, let's, uh, this doesn't seem right, it's you. giving me so much time. I do not want to hit the, uh, yeah, the trash the truck there. Oh, we've, only, we've only done 8 out of 12? God, this really does... They weren't kidding when this. Why was he in here? Why was that cop in here? Can you like go like he... Jesus Christ? That's that's why it's giving me so much time. I mean, look at that. That just completely slowed me down. Thirty-two seconds time. Well, I don't even know if this is like if I'm. I think I'm. I've got to be like way ahead of what the game is. I either I'm way ahead of what the game is expecting of me, or this is just real easy, which is surprising for the last ever. Well, not the last ever one. The second to last. The penultimate. I'm trying to think of where, alright, no, yeah, the next one is just straight up here, I'm trying to think of where it is, I still like the fact that I know this map, essentially like the back of my hand, despite not playing it, well, not playing for several, like, years, because I played this as a child, but I love this game as a child, this is, mm, But then also, like, not playing for a couple of years since it's, like, the start of this Let's Play series. Even, like, with this channel being, like, you know. One minute thirty to get to the next tour, but this just seems incredibly generous. Either that, or it's gonna be, like, really mean on this last one here. I'm not getting the uh, slowdown effect as much. Well, that's probably because I'm... Am I abusing it? I don't know. Where is the next one? I'm trying to think of where the next toll booth is. Oh, no, it's having me go around here. Shit. I hate this area of the map. It's so... Goddamn tight. And that'll be why it's a... Wait, hang on. No, it's just straight down here, isn't it? It's right through the end of this tunnel. That's... Really? I'm honestly surprised it was that easy. Like... Seriously? I mean, I know I had two restarts at the start, but... 
when I crashed, but seriously? I finished with 37 seconds left or whatever it was, it said there. That's... I always thought that the blacklist got, like, the blacklist, the, the challenge series got way tougher. But now we got, like, the last one. Oh, God, I've got to be in the pursuit for 30 minutes before I get busted. Oh, God. You know, I I think I was going to record this immediately afterwards, but I think that that one's going to be... I'm going to need some time to practice. Well, not for, to practice, but I think I'm going to need some time for that one. You, might, I mean, I said I was going to do Forza Horizon 5 um, after this instead of Need Speed Carbon. I think we're going to get some Forza Horizon 5 before this challenge. You, like, Forza Horizon 5 comes out on the next day I'm going to be recording. So, I'm sorry, I'm not recording 30 minutes of this behind the scenes stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not recording 30 minutes of this and then evading the pursuit when I could be playing a game that I really want to play and that's just come out. So, yeah, um, this will be finished. It just won't be finished immediately next. I'd say give it like, if you're watching these as they come out, give it like two, three weeks. I've been Rob, I've been from the Insane Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. And ta and well, see you for the next one. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers. This is part 48 of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series. You've already seen from the title of the video, this is a failure. How do I know that? Because this audio is recorded after the fact. Um, I'll go into that more in the video, uh, later on in the video obviously. Um, but I've already done part 49, I've finished the challenge series, so... That's a short video because I did the bus station glitch, um, which obviously sort of cheating, but after what happened here, I was just sick and tired of it. I just, I was like, I'm doing this challenge, I'm finishing the game. Uh, and it's worth watching that video, it's not the first full 30 minutes, obviously, of doing that. It's more, it's it's sped up footage, uh, a lot of it 400% um, that I'm talking over. There is bits that I find a little bit funny that I've slowed down. Uh, I'll put back to normal speed, and you will see the evasion of the police at full speed. Um, so that's worth watching, and obviously you can see what you unlock if you didn't know. Um, you unlock two cards for completing the challenge. You unlock one for finishing uh, challenge 68, and you unlock one more for doing all the challenges, which you kind of need to do anyway. Um, but yeah, so this is, well, you can't have... Mm, Early on, you sort of unlock two challenges at once, don't you? So you don't have to do all of them, I guess. But I don't know why you'd be skipping the early challenges. Anyway, whatever. So yeah, this challenge is you have to evade the police for uh, uh, being a police pursuit for 30 uh, minutes and then evade. Uh, obviously, as you can, as I said, and by the title of this video, it's a failure. This, uh, attempt. What happened is I turn a corner at the end. This is a spot, obviously. I turn a corner and there's a spike strip there, and I go over it. And then I sort of, I don't get busted, but I'm, I'm guaranteed to be busted. This surrounded me, I rage quit, basically. Um, and then I got to that point, and I was like, screw it, I can't be bothered, I'm doing the bus station glitch. But technically, I did do it the proper way. I did the full 30 minute challenge, I just did not evade, which is really annoying. I wanted to do it properly. Uh, as for the reason why I'm doing the audio so, uh, afterwards, um, that's not normally a thing that I do. Obviously, I, everything else in the uh, game, uh, I've done the commentary live. Um, even the final pursuit of the story, which is also, uh, it gets a heat level 6 later on. Um, I can't remember if that's heat level 6 or 7, I'm pretty sure it's 6. Um, you might see me looking back occasionally, that's because obviously when I was playing the game, I was like, oh my god, look at the amount of carnage these cops have caused. They had just destroying themselves. This was lucky here. Well, I say lucky. I was <laughs> doing 40 mile an hour. But yeah, hit, look, helicopter going to uh, attack me. You'll see... Um, I'll talk about the bus station glitch. That's quite funny, because obviously, if you didn't know, 
it's it's hard to tell in the actual game, but obviously that the cops' job in this game is to slow you down and box you in and then surround you and bust you. They just circle you. That's their entire job. They they don't really have apart from cross, which I'll go into that in. The, I keep saying that, but I'll go into that in a second. Um, I, according to some YouTube comment anyway, I don't, obviously I'm not a developer, I don't you know how the game is done, but yeah, apart from Cross, it's believed all the AI job is basically just to surround you and kill, uh, like, not kill you, but bust you. Um, when you watch the bus station glitch, if you've never done the bus station glitch before, it basically involves driving into the bus station in, uh, can't remember the name of the, and, I mean the entire city is called Rockport, but I can't remember the exact name of the area, something would I'm pretty sure, um, but yeah, basically you go into the bus station, you park on top of the bus station stand. The police will be outside. They can see you, but they can't get to you. And basically they will go on the bottom, basically crashing into each other and destroying themselves. Uh, until maybe there's one or two left. And then you do that, you get as much bounty as you need, or as much, uh, you know, pursuit length or whatever. And then you evade the police. And that's. You can do that in story mode, you can do it obviously here. I just never choose to do it because I just think it's cheating and I think, well, it's a bit boring. I mean, you're playing the game and you're not actually. I mean, you're driving, but you're not really doing anything. I mean, I think I did it once by accident as a kid. I drove. Because I, I used to drive through the bus station all the time because I. I, for some reason I, I don't know. The ramp there, I thought it was funny. I don't. Like, that's bringing back memories for some reason. But yeah, um, I used to do that all the time as a kid. And I think once I sort of parked up there and discovered this, and I thought, even back then, I thought, it's not fun. It's not an interesting game. Like, you know, it's not. I understand why speedrunners would do it, because people do speedrun this game. But I like how I went in slow motion there to avoid that car. Um, speed track, or whatever the hell's called. But yeah. Um, why I'm doing the commentary after the fact. Um, sadly, oh, those cops just completely killed that pizza delivery driver. Anyway, yeah, the commentary. Why I'm doing it after the fact is basically the first time I tried doing it in, like, as I've always been doing it. And sadly, um, well, I, I say sadly, Cross basically was with me. Um, Cross can chase you in the challenge series. I guess it's because technically you are the same character as the story mode, I guess. Um, I don't know how common it is, but basically in the first attempt, he was with me. I mean, maybe he's with me here. It, it, he has a very distinctive voice. Um, but when you're doing the commentary, um, you sort of have to, have to have the audio low, otherwise you get like this awful duplicate audio echo if you don't get the audio perfectly synced which is really difficult um, it's why I have subtitles on stuff in games um, if you've never noticed that it's a lot easier and it's really annoying when you know random I mean I know developers if you're a developer and you for some reason you're watching this video um, little tip if you're doing a game make sure the like actual in-game characters also have subtitles, not just cutscenes. It's great in cutscenes, but I never talk during cutscenes anyway. Or I try not to. So I just do the thing. But in, in game it's a lot better when there's actual subtitles. Um, and it's just better for accessibility for anyone anyway, for anyone that's deaf. Um, I mean I guess that would be really annoying for this game considering how much the police radio talks to you. But yeah, it was re you couldn't hear the police radio. And of course, a level 5 cop. You know, you want to hear when stuff like that happens. When they're heading towards you. 
Uh, and I didn't have the cross with, with me, uh, was chasing behind me. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and I'm just going to drive into the stadium. On this, because I was doing this loop. So, if you don't want to just see the same area over and over again, um, well, this isn't the video for you, basically. But yeah, I was doing the loop, and, and then I drove into the stadium, and I thought, right, I that's perfect. I will kill Cross, I will get the 100,000 bounty, and then I will go back to doing the loop. And then I killed, well, killed Cross, destroyed his car. Um, his car was destroyed, and then I sort of was driving around a little bit, and then I got caught. And I was like, well, I can't really hear stuff. And then I did it a couple of more times like that, and I, I seemed to get caught within the first 10, 15 minutes. I wasn't even getting up to level 6 police, and I thought, right, you know what, I'm just going to do it the Halo way, and then record the footage, do the commentary afterwards. And even then, I mean, I've done this challenge a couple of times. Once I got to 28 minutes and got caught, that was... I gave up on this game for a couple of days for that. And to be honest, if if I hadn't remembered the bus station glitch, this video probably I probably would have been done with it. To be honest, or it probably would have been a video that come out in like a couple months time because I would have had to give this a rest after what happened. This just pissed me then right right off. Like what happened? I mean, I know it's meant to be a challenge. But when stuff like this happens, and you look, I mean, that cop car crashing in the back of me just basically saved me here. This is a difficult challenge if you're trying to do it properly. And I wanted to do it properly, but it did not. It did not work. Sadly. It almost worked. I could have done this. I reckon. If I hadn't tried to go down this uh, sort of side street, and it's a side street and there's sort of a blind corner, and the spike strip is right in the blind corner, you'll see it at the end. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. And it just... Urgh. Now, a lot of people said they can evade the plate. I mean, I, it, that occasionally happens in this video. Um, that happened once on one of the attempts. I did manage to evade them, which was quite amazing. Uh, and it was... Obviously, it's like challenge failed. You, didn't, you weren't in the pursuit for 30 minutes. That was interesting. Um... But yeah, there's so much deleted footage. I mean, I've already deleted it now because it's you know not the complete challenge. It's only because I got up and actually technically completed the 30 minute part of it that I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it this way. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I know people say silence is gold, but I kind of want to talk. There might be bits, periods of this where I'm not talking. I'm still going to be here, but uh, yeah, this is. It's not, I need things to talk about. Um, well, at the time I'm recording, it's the 26th, isn't it? So it's Black Friday. There's a cut. Well, I mean, and this isn't helpful information, especially if you're not in the UK. Um, it's especially not helpful information considering it's, you know, several months afterwards. But yeah, Black Friday, uh, interesting deals. Last of Us 2 um, on PS4. It might be a video I might let's play. I haven't got it yet. Um, but yeah, that's £10. Uh, or it was £10. Uh, at game, uh, Tesco were also doing it. Unfortunately, like Tesco, which is a big um, supermarket chain, they were doing a lot of good offers actually. Um, even on PS5 and Xbox Series X games, um, but they weren't sadly. Even on the first, like I went literally on the Tuesday. I was like, oh, they, these deals are actually quite good. I'm gonna go, and they're already sold out. It's like they. Like, even at like 8, uh, not 8, at like, I think it got 8 in the morning. I mean, it technically gets 24 hours sleep, but it's like, even at like 11am, it's sold out of. I mean, I got Spider Man on PS4, which I will probably let's play at some point, but I did not. Like, uh, that wasn't even on an offer. It was just 15 quid. Now, the, the second one was on an offer. I didn't attempt to go for it, so I don't know. I mean, I know it's on PS4 and PS5. Um. But I didn't attempt to go for it. They had Crash Bandicoot 4, which they were selling for £45. Oh yeah, by the way, just to make it less uh, less exciting, more exciting, I go the other way. Ooh, I flip around. Yeah, I know. 
Um, but yeah, they had Crash Bandicoot 4. Normally £45. I was... I, they were selling it for 5 and that was an absolutely amazing offer. Obviously completely gone. Um, Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. That was on offer, I think. I might be wrong there. Gone. Last was remastered. Uh, Last was two. Um, gone. Last was remastered. It wasn't on offer, but I was thinking of getting it. But then, with not getting Last of Us um, two, wasn't exactly that a compelling offer when I could buy the PS3 version. And I, I mean, I know it's difficult for. I can't actually record PS3 footage at the moment, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But yeah, because uh, I want to do Ratchet and Clank Part Two. Uh, part two, Ratchet and Clank 2. I want to do it. But I can't. The HD version. I mean, technically I have a PS2 version, but again, I can't do it. I don't have. I need to get. I shouldn't say this. I need to either get another hit. Well, I can say this bit. I can either get a component capture card. Again, my HD PVR broke. If you didn't know. Um, I don't know what broke. I don't know if the system itself broke. Oh, they, they, I got lucky here as well, with them crashing into that undercover vehicle. Anyway, I don't know if my HD PVR itself broke, or the power supply to it broke. The problem is, you can buy HD PVR on eBay for the same price as the power supply. So I need to... It's like, do I risk it? Do I risk buying a HD PVR that technically doesn't have a power supply? Um, I, do, I mean, it's 10 quid, I could do it. But yeah, it's like I don't want to pay 10 quid for a replacement power supply. For a system that, I mean, Xbox 360, this is an Xbox 360 game. I don't mind capturing this in 1080p. I mean, it's a higher file size than technically needed. Um, because 360 stuff, yeah, it can support 1080p, but it's better. I don't know, people seem to prefer it. Well, people, it used to be back in the day, back in, you know, 2013, 14, back when the Xbox One was new um, and the PS4. People were like, yeah, if you're going to do stuff, if you're going to have. Maybe it was because I know everyone had HD PVRs. The thing is with the HD PVR with Compound, you are basically. It's 720p or it is. Uh, 1080i and YouTube does not do well with interlift formats. 1080i, 1080i is basically 720p anyway, kind of resolution. What? I hope people are going to hear that. Um, but yeah, that's basically a thing. Um, but yeah, I, I can do, obviously, I can capture Xbox 360 stuff, I can do Xbox One, PS4, Switch, uh, but I can't do. I technically I can do Wii stuff if I use my Wii U, but my Wii U is set up downstairs. So I, I mean, if you want to see Wii stuff, let me know. Um, but obviously I'm going to get some game, other games out of the way. <laughs> obviously I need to get. Well, I know GTA 4 is going to be a long one, I'm San Andreas. But I finished this now, so technically I have another slot I could do. Um, Pac-Man and the Ghost of Adventures. Started doing that again. Um, so maybe once that's done, this is the thing. I I get doing games and I'm like, I want to do different games. I want to play. I have a whole bunch of games I've not played. I'm thinking I'll let's play them. That'll be fun. And then I actually, you know, you actually try to do this with a schedule because obviously people are like, oh, I want to watch Most Wanted. Oh, it's been two weeks since you did the last most one. Why the hell are you? You know, you you need to be in a sort of weird situation. Not weird, but a situation where you are do you aren't doing too many things at once. Too many, you know. I mean, I suppose with games, it's a lot easier because you can record multiple parts at once. But it's like you don't. Yeah, you don't want to be doing too many things at once. Um, You know, I mean, let's think about the games that I'm let's play right now. I mean, let's have a look. I mean, I need to take my upload order um, file, my text file that has all the schedule. But, I mean, let's look at the games where I'm let's play. Halo 3 ODST. Needs to be most more in 2005. Challenge series. GTA uh, 4. 
Marikov Sugar Rush. Forza Horizon 5. That's five games already. Uh, San Andreas. And then Pac Man Ghost State Adventures. That's seven games. So theoretically, I could do one of those a week. And I might actually try doing that as a schedule. But, well, not really, because I've finished this now, so I can technically do one of the. I'm glad I almost did it there, because could, could you imagine if I got caught there? But yeah, um, I'm glad. Like, well, I, yeah, I suppose I could do one more game, but originally I planned to either do Need for Speed Carbon after this, because it is the sequel. Um, but then I bought Need for Speed Heat. So, you know. But then I'm thinking, well, I want to do a PS4 game. Because I have a PS4, and I'm not bloody using the thing. I mean, what PS4? I mean, if you if you guys are interested, I'll, um, sorry about that, that, was, that needs some oil. That's my computer desk, the uh, thing with the keyboard. Let me just get the PS4 games, and I'll tell you what I have. If there's anything here you want to see me let's play, let me know in the comments. Um, right. The PS4 games I have are Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, which I got with my PS4. I originally, I, originally when I bought my PS4 I was like, ooh, Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, I can let's play that because I've been doing, uh, I was doing Ratchet and Clank. I can do those classic games and then I, it, I bought my PS4 from this. And I got, I took it to the counter, I took the PS4, uh, the little slip that they have for the PS4, and I took the uh, the thick box that they have for the game. Uh, and they were like, yeah, we, um, I shouldn't really say this story, but they, they were like, here's PS4, we can get the PS4 at the back, um, and then they got me the PS4. And they were like, but unfortunately we don't have the game, you can come out the back with us and have a look at what games we do have. <laughs> and then I picked... Um, so yeah, I should really say I've been in the stock room of a Tesco, technically. But yeah, I have Crash Team Racing, uh, Metro Fuel. I have a sealed copy of Destiny, which I actually got from a charity shop for 50p. Um, which I'm not even sure, well, I mean, I technically don't even play, uh, pay for PlayStation Network. Um, because I have, I could, but it's like, I have, I have Xbox Online, I have Nintendo Online. Oh, look how, I, have that was lucky as well, but yeah, it's a sealed copy of the game. I don't even think, I don't even know if the game servers are online anymore because it's Destiny. I have Gran Turismo Sport. I know I used to do Gran Turismo Six, um, so I was thinking of doing that. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, I have Killzone Shadowfall, um, which I own because I. But I want. If I was doing that, I want. I would want to do the. First three kill zones first. Um, I have Spider Man, like I just said, because I actually managed to get that in the Tesco Black uh, Friday sale. And then I have the Uncharted collection, which is Uncharted Drake's Fortune, uh, Uncharted uh, Among Thieves and Drake's Deception. Um, so, yeah, th those are my uh, <laughs> those are my six PS4 games that I have. But I've one of them sealed and not opened, and I can't really play it, so five. But yeah, I'm going to try and get Last of Us 2. And maybe the Ratchet and Clank uh, remake? That was, um, Ratchet and Clank on the floor, because I forgot that it's technically limited. It's not technically, it is. It's the limited edition version, so it has a slip cover over it, and unfortunately it's laid out. And I tried to put it on the floor. But yeah. So those are the PS4 games I have. I know I'm talking about Xbox 360, but I'm not, I think... Quite a lot of people did go from 360 to PS4 because, well, the Xbox One was technically a failure, which is a bit of a shame, but it's not as much as a failure as the Wii U, which I do have, um, which, the only reason I bought a Wii U, which is absolutely, in Covid and the lockdown stuff, I was like, I'm going to do some exercise, I'm going to do Wii Fit and, you know, this was at the first start of the uh, COVID lockdown in the UK, though. Like, you can't go outside at all. Um, or, well, you shouldn't really. It's like only for essential stuff. And then they're like, oh, yeah, you can do a bit of exercise. You can do some running and stuff. But that, there was a couple of days where that was a bit confusing. And the police were actually arresting people for walking, which was a bit. 
let's not get into that discussion in the comments, but yeah, that was a bit of an overreach. Um, <laughs> yeah. And... Well, Wii's were going up in price, but luckily I already had a Wii. Um, and then unfortunately my TV broke at one point. Like, I was, I was using the Wii and it was fine. And then the TV broke. And unfortunately, I don't know if you've tried buying a TV now. Recently. But it sucks. Because none of them have component or SCART. I mean, maybe they might have SCART. I don't... I, mean, I say that. It's a bit awkward. There was a TV in Curry's, which is one of the major retailers in the UK. Uh, it was a Samsung, so I always go... I don't know if you noticed, I'm quite a Samsung person. I mean, I have two Samsung... Well, I have a Samsung TV in front of me. <laughs> I have a Samsung monitor. I have a Samsung phone. Uh, the TV downstairs is a Samsung. The washing machine is a Samsung. The fridge is a... It might, no, I don't think the fridge is a Samsung. But yeah, I... I don't know, I find Samsung's, Samsung stuff quite... I mean, it's not... This video isn't sponsored, but you know, I do find their stuff quite good. Um, or decent. Um, but yeah, they had a Samsung uh, TV that was quite interesting, 4K. And, you know, it's quite interesting. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't you can sort of see around the back of the TVs if you're careful. And it, it had component because that's how I was hooking up the Wii. Um, it's like, whoa, it has component. I can still use the Wii on this TV. And then they're like, we don't have any in stock, and it's going to be like a month until we get one. And I was like, well, I need a TV for downstairs. And, and then they were like, and then I remember. Um, the, the reason, by the way, they were quite... I mean, the Covid's been, what, two years at this point? Um, the reason why they were out of stock was... Um, basically, in, it was a Euro football tournament in 2021. Uh, and England were doing quite well. I mean, I got this TV, basically, the TV that I currently have. And I took it home, and basically, I turned it on. And basically, I could watch an England match in 4K. And we were just a quarter final because yeah, it would have been on BBC. And then the same. This is completely. This is completely not related to Need to Speak Most Wanted, but whatever. Um, the, I need to talk about other things. I can't talk about Most Wanted for 30 minutes. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the semi-final was on ITV, and they don't do 4K, which sucks. Um, when I wish they did, but unfortunately they don't. And then um, the final was on both, so you could actually watch that in 4K, which was quite nice. <laughs> 4K? Mwah, beautiful. Uh, especially UHD, you know, HDR, not UHD, that's what 4K is. Um, but yeah, I, so obviously a lot of the good, t decent TVs are sold out, and then the one, like, as I do have any and they're like, oh yeah, we have this Samsung model that's next to it, um, same size. And I was like, and I look around the back, and it had HDMI, and like, oh, it was, it was a, a connector that you need. And I'm like, I was like, yeah, I need like component for like, because I'm still using the Wii for like exercise. And then they were like, um, you can just get a HDMI adapter thing for that if you need. So I bought one online and I paid £25 for one on, on eBay and then it broke within two months. So I bought a Wii U because at least I know Nintendo are going to actually make good products and it's not cheap Chinese crap. Um, I mean, I suppose technically there could have been some sort of warranty on the thing. But I mean, even when I put, I mean, even when I plugged it in, I still have a DVD player. I, it's for out of region movies. Um, because, yeah, I have a Samsung Blu-ray player. <laughs> I don't have a Samsung DVD player, but I have a Samsung Blu-ray player. But unfortunately, you can change the region on the Blu-ray part, um, but you cannot change the region on the DVD part. Which sucks. So, for out-of-region movies, I know people will be like, just download them, you know, pirate them, whatever. I mean, technically, I ripped them onto my computer's hard drive. Which is technically breaking the copy protection. But, um... Whatever, you know, anyway, point is I had a DVD player, I haven't used it in, well, 
since I got that TV because it, even though it has a component, it did not go into the uh, adapter for some reason. It was not being detected, which was really, really weird because it would detect the Wii. It wasn't like called like the Wii to HDMI adapter or anything. It was literally just a component to HDMI adapter. It was all plugged in correctly and, you know, you can screw up a component cable in a way where, like, you won't get colour because, you know, they had a red video wire and a red audio wire. It might be the white one, I can't remember now, but you can, you can screw it up that way. It wasn't screwed up that way because you would at least get a signal with no plus. Signal, and that's not what happened. There was literally no signal at all. Suck. Um, so, yeah, n sadly, no, um, no DVD player, no multi-region DVD player. So yeah, anything. Well, thank God I do rip things because you know I can just put them on a USB stick and then play it straight off the TV's HDMI port, which is quite good. But yeah, the the point of what I was trying to say there was um, I was using a Wii for a bit of exercise and then I got my Wii U and the Wii U obviously has HDMI so I can plug this into the HDMI, into the Elgato capture card that I use for HDMI stuff and yeah, I'd, maybe there's some adapter, I'll have to, I'm going to google it now actually, is there an adapter for the HD60, and it's a HD60S, because I know the original model HD60, um, I think it has component, um, the HD60 uh, S. Does it have a? Is there a component? Now? If there's a component adapter, I might actually get one. Um, the Elgato Game Capture HD supports component and SD. Um, yeah, thanks Elgato. Um, I didn't know about the Game Capture HD. I need to know about the HD60 S. Um, to use our logging puts, you can use the Elgato Game Capture HD device. Thank you! 8 out of 41 people found this helpful! <laughs> no, there has to be an adapter, right? The HD60S is basically the same as the Pro, but that's not helpful. Personal on Elgato Gaming. Uh, I bought a Neotech RCA to HDMI conversion upscaler for $15 and it works great. I've used this one, I'm, I'm reading the Reddit page here for you. Wow, exciting Let's Play content. Um, I've used this one with good success with the PS3 component with a HD60S and then it's an Amazon page. Let's find out what it is. It's a device that, yeah, it's another box I have to plug into things. Um, it ships within 11 days and it's $33, not the $15 that you said it was. Um, oh no, that was a different thing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Buy it on Amazon or call it again. That's what I need to do. Let's find out if they have one. It's thirty-six pounds. It's still dispatching for eleven days, and it still comes from America. Let's see if they have. Let's just go on Amazon and just compound. I mean, I have one. I should have bought one off Amazon instead of eBay. To be fair, I got lucky there as well. That didn't get busted, especially with it being the twenty-eighth minute. That I was probably thinking at the time. Oh God, I'm screwed. Um, Amazon's choice? Okay. For, well, it's on offer because it's... The thing is, when I, you know, you get these things, it's like... It's more things to go wrong. I mean, I don't know if I've said that. I mean, the things that I have... The, the capture card only has one HDMI input. So I needed a splitter. If I tell you, I mean, at the point I was, it's a bit stupid now because <laughs> I don't have two like we, having a second monitor 
kind of screwed this over because I had to unplug like one of the game consoles but originally I got the splitter because I was like I can plug in the Xbox One, the PS4 and my Switch. Now I wasn't at the time, like I, I know I'm let's play Mario Golf but I'm like I'm completely fine, I, I want to do, I, I realised I was like oh I can do the HDMI for the Xbox 360 because it's a it's an elite model, it's an original flat model, but it's the elite model, it can do HDMI up. I'm not stuck to component with the HD PVR. That's good, I can use that. So I was like, I'll unplug the switch, I'll get most wanted out of the way, and then I remembered um, the thing, you know, Pac-Man, I was also doing a Let's Play off. But I was like, yeah, I can do that, it's completely fine, I will um, set that up in the way that it is, and, you know, it doesn't matter that the switch is unplugged, I can just plug the switch back in. And then I got a second monitor, and then I realised I had to replace the PS4. Um, so now there is only technically two, um, I don't know why I said it like that, there's only two outlets for game consoles. And I know that's probably, there's a lot, probably a lot of people that are like, two games consoles, that's an absolute luxury, I only have, you know, my... Xbox One, uh, my Xbox One, or my PS4, or whatever, on my Switch. I, don't, I can't believe I screwed that one as well. Although they do crash into them, which is quite good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, you know, I I specifically got the splitter so everything could be set up, and then managed to completely like. By getting the second one, I sort of screwed it up, which, boo hoo hoo, but almost got busted here. This is where the challenge really is. You've got to evade, and you'll see here, I get stuck somewhere. Like, I got crushed, like, almost got crushed there, and going along here, I'm pretty sure there's a bit where we're going to head on me. Oh no, I crashed into a bloody tree. This was, look how close I am to getting busted. That was, but I was thinking, oh god, I'm screwed here, and then it's like, You'll just see, it's, you're just trying to evade and destroy all these objects to get out of here, and it's, I can just only imagine it if it, like, you destroyed every pursuit breaker, and then you still couldn't get out of there, that would suck. But unfortunately, I didn't get that far, actually, because you'll see I, well, quite soon, I run into a problem. See, I was going to go to the left there and go to Diggies, but unfortunately, did not work out that way because of where that spike strip was placed. Which is kind of sad. But what I'm going to do is, uh, you'll see, that was that was mean, it, doing a double spike strip. If I hadn't spotted that, I would have been screwed there. Um, but yeah, I, I decided to go through the stadium again. Now, I like how they go through the stadium, I didn't. I probably should have turned around there looking at the map. But I did not, which is probably the end of me. And it is the end of me, because you'll see around here, this is, it's this road here. I start going down here, and... Well, you'll see it's a blind corner. You'll be surprised. It's not this corner, it's the next corner. Here it is, and... Spike strip. And I'm screwed, basically, here. I can't get out. Um, so, yeah, I've been Robin from the Instant Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for part 49, where I complete this. Ta-ra. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Instant Gamers, this is part 49 of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, the challenge series, I'm recording this uh, audio commentary bit before part 48, mainly because I'm still annoyed at what happened, and I'll give you, I'll tell you what happened in part 48, if you haven't seen it in a second, I'll give you the clip in this version, but first of all, a confess is going to land on top of us, there we go. Didn't just, I think I destroyed it actually by doing that, which he, he only has himself to blame. Um, but basically, if you haven't seen part 48, I got to the entire, I did the 30 minute pursuit challenge as it says, and then it's like you have to evade, and, well, I crashed into a load of pursuit breakers, it wasn't really destroying the cops, and then, well, they were getting destroyed, but they were respawning. And then I went down the side street and went into a spike strip. So. I decided, I was I was that annoyed at the time, that I thought, you know what, 
I'm going to do the bus station glitch. And I've, I've never done the bus station glitch. Even as a kid when I played this game on the PS2, I never did the bus station glitch. I, I mean, I'm not sure if I knew about it. I'm, I might have done it like once when I, by accident or something. But I always thought it was a bit, like, cheating. But I was like, you know what, I was so annoyed that I felt like I had to do it. Now, it's not going to be 15 minutes of that. You're going to see me uh, lose the cops at the end. But there's also some funny bits, or what I think are funny bits anyway. Or interesting observations about the game, I should say. Um, but you're going to see a lot of this. The cops are going to crash into each other. Um, now, the way this works, the reason this glitch works... Well... Some people are like, it's not a glitch. Well, it's not... I, I don't... It's not a cheat. You don't enter a cheat code. Um, but, yeah, the reason this works is the cops are programmed to stop you, so slow you down, stop you, and then surround you. Which they can't do because you're up here. They're not smart enough to go around to the back of the bus station behind us there and go up the road, like, follow us, like the cop that originally did, and fell off the end and did. Um, the, the only way they'll do that is when you're going on there. Um, the only exception, I believe, someone said this in a YouTube comment on a different video, um, was the only exception is Cross, um, because he's technically your rival. Um, I have had Cross um, Pashimi. What happened basically is, obviously, I did a live version of this and then I basically got caught after 10 minutes because it's really difficult to concentrate on this game, especially in this challenge, especially when you get to level 6, you'll see that in a second. Um, if you see the, uh, in around the mini-map, the heat level 5 and it'll go to heat level 6 at some point um, very soon. But basically, it's very hard to concentrate on what, on like evading the police, or just keep going from the police, like in the on the pursuit, and concentrate on talking to the camera at the same time. Oh, this is something funny that I noticed. Um, they're just driving through a wall, and if you look here, basically, because I got to heat level five, uh, heat level six, these are heat level five cops, so they just got bought and left. So that'll happen if you're doing it this way. Um, Luckily, there was a helicopter at this point that was looking after, that was just keeping an eye on me, um, which shakes the camera a lot when you're not moving. Although I suppose it shakes the camera when you're actually playing the game, but you don't really notice it. Um, just one of those things that happens. Um, but eventually, that that will run out of fuel and will go down to normal speed as I find that cop um, that's up there in the roadblock. I was hoping it was a roadblock and not a spike strip, um, which it isn't a spike strip. I already know, obviously, I'm recording this afterwards. But yeah, um, but yeah, I was. I started doing the recording um, live, and basically, it's really hard to concentrate on doing the game live and actually, you know, playing it. I kept getting caught, I have to have the audio down so you can't really hear what the police are actually saying. You know, I'm like, we're going to do a 1050 or whatever. We're going to do a Roblox. You, you couldn't hear it, because obviously, when you're doing it live, you're going to get an echo. Because of speakers and stuff. Both where microphones are placed. Um, so yeah, but in that first one, in that first attempt, you're just going to have to trust me, I had Cross uh, following me. Um, but I got caught within 10, 15 minutes. Unfortunately, I fell here. Um, I'm 15 minutes in now, or 40 minutes in now, saying, no, no, I'm going to get screwed. Again. But no, I just managed to get back. Um, get back up here and do it again, basically. Now, unfortunately, you saw a couple of them get, a couple of the cop cars get destroyed. That's going to continue to happen. They are just going to crash into each other. Um, but I was hoping that the, the SUV heavies here would actually destroy the smaller Corvettes. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see, that, that one just got flipped over. And I got the bounty for it, so thank you, I guess. Um, nothing that matters because so it's, it's not story mode. And that other one doesn't really do anything. I mean, it crashes into them, as you can see. 
but they don't really they're not going fast enough to actually destroy each other which is I wouldn't say it's sad but I don't know what happened there actually I might have to slow down if I remember I might have to slow that down because I don't understand how that that cop car just got flipped over it like that um, but it will stay there for a bit actually and then it will despawn um, it will despawn when we're not looking at it not this time but I think the next time it will despawn which is uh, maybe it just despawns after a certain length of time of being there it's still on the map I mean, yes, I know this footage isn't exactly the greatest. It's interesting seeing the skybox, though, um, changing the... Well, not the weather, really. I don't even... This game doesn't really have weather. It, the, the sky temperature, I guess. Like, it being sunny. It Well, it has rain, sort of. It doesn't really make you slippy or anything. Like, the, the road's slippy or anything. But it does sort of rain in the game. Um, because that actually happened during the first pursuit that you, you're never going to see basically but it did it did happen it might be actually might not be rain might be thunder and lightning or something I don't know but yeah this is a really difficult challenge unless you do it this way literally I was just sat here on my phone <laughs> keep occasionally keeping an eye on the uh, if I was if there was a cop behind me or because I know I said that they're not smart enough to come up here. Some people have said that they have occasionally had that. Maybe that was cross happening. Like, you know. Maybe that's not on the 360 version. I don't know. Maybe they just had a really bad spawn when, like, a cop spawned around the bus station or something. I don't know. Yeah, it, it spawned, I like how it spawned another roadblock up there that's just going to be there basically forever. Um, for the next five minutes. There's going to be another helicopter. Which, I swear this one lasted less than the other two. Maybe it didn't, but it just it just feels like it. Like it, Even when it was live, when I was playing the game. Well, playing the game in quotation marks, I just, you know. But... I, obviously, I was having to keep an eye on it, and it just it didn't feel feel as long. Well, that was annoying. Um, if I sort of trailed off at the end there, I do apologise. Basically, what happened is, well, apparently my PC does not like incredibly sped up footage like this. Um, I mean, it is 1080p, 60 frames a second, sped up 400 percent, and uh, well, I know it's a 660 super, but. Apparently the graphics card does not like Vegas doing a real-time playback of that. Although, to be fair, at least that's better than what my old, P my old PC, I would not, I would have had to have rendered this. Um, multiple times, I think, to even get this to work. Anyway, we're nearly up to the, to the 30 minute mark. I was hoping that they would have destroyed themselves by this point. Um, sadly, it did not. But yeah, anyway, Vegas crashed and I had to restart it. But luckily, the recording kept, so that was the audio recording was halfway. So there we go. Right. Now, a little tip if you're going to do it this way. Um, I don't know what it is about the edge of this bus station. You will get stuck. Don't really, I'm, I'm waiting to show you obviously, but uh, I get ready to move and um, I can't go backwards and I think no, it's because I was hanging on the edge. No, no. There's just something about the way that, I don't know if it's a Lamborghini or what, but I think it's just something with the, maybe with the hitbox of this uh, object, but yeah, stuck. Can't move at one. I tried going right and it just didn't. So, I was originally going to go into the uh, place to do a cooldown, but obviously proper pursuit time now, um, which is where I was the second time I was thinking, oh god, I'm screwed. Uh, here is a roadblock, smash through. 
There's actually going to be a third time I'm going to think I'm screwed. Which is just... I, it's the game screwing me up. It's, it's in a couple of seconds. These cops go through the park. One of them turns left there, as you can see. There's a pursuit breaker in that part of the park. I was going to hit that one. I somehow missed it. But there's a pursuit breaker there to the right. That cop went through it and this animation played. And I was not in control. And I just crashed. Basically. Now luckily, nothing happened and I didn't get surrounded. But for that brief second I thought, no I'm screwed. And then the cop spawns down here. But, uh, well. What are you going to do? Luckily there is a pursuit breaker in here. And then we're just going to turn around. The helicopter is still can still see us, but they will just lose us under here, which is. I mean, they know where I am, so I don't know how I'm evading, but yeah. And then they run out of fuel and bugger off, basically. <laughs> or they start searching the area. I don't know. They go off the map anyway, and then basically we're losing them. We're the pursuit's over. Now I am going to show you what you unlock. Um, you unlock two things for completing uh, challenge 68. You unlock a Porsche and you unlock a Mercedes. Now you don't unlock them in career mode. I don't believe you unlock them in career mode. I think they're only in quick race, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm sure on the PC version because I have used to trade and stuff on the PC version. If you've never not seen that video, me and Chris did it. It was quite funny. Um, we were just spawning in traffic and stuff. We we did an undercover police uh, an undercover. We did a, a race where it was me in like the SUV heavy, and then Chris was just in an old car. It's just like yeah, because you'd totally do that race, wouldn't you? Anyway, um, yeah, you unlock this Porsche 911 GT2. Um, quite a nice car. I mean. I I wouldn't say no to owning one in real life. <laughs> and then you also unlock this Mercedes SL65 AMG. But yeah, that has been Challenge Series 69. Thank you very much for watching Part 49 of Need to Speed Most One in 2005, the Challenge Series. I've been Rob from the Instagram and Tara. Right, hello, it's Future Rob here. Uh, basically saying that the Challenge Series itself has ended. However, there is uh, one more video that you're going to see as part of this, which um, is part six of the main campaign. Um, it was the Burger King challenge, which is where you... It, it's a cheat code, and it unlocks an extra challenge series event on the game. So it's quite awkward, because it's from really early on when I was doing videos, and for some reason I censored the word Burger King for... I don't know why, I guess I didn't want... Advertising? I, I, I genuinely have no idea why I did that, but anyway, yeah, you're going to see that. So, yeah, prepare for the awkwardness. There's also one other challenge series you can do. I mentioned it right at the start of the video, which is basically, um, it. I forgot, I don't know what it's called, but it's only in the Black Edition version of the game. You're in a Chevy Camaro SS, and you have to escape, I think it's level 7 cops. Now, I don't want to have access to that because it's the... In in Europe, it was on, the Black Edition was only the PS2 version. And the PC version, I think. Uh, it was not the 360 version or the original Xbox version or anything like that. Uh, whereas in the US, I believe the 360 version was the Black Edition version. Uh, at least it was an original Xbox version, I know that much. But yeah, so the only way that I would actually be able to access that is that if I had a hacked Xbox, a reset glitch, hacks, uh, reset glitch hacked Xbox 360 um, and I used a pirated version of the game which to be fair I could do if I if I do get one but uh, yeah for the moment at least that will be the this will be the final bit of the challenge series so yeah enjoy this hello everyone my name is Rob and I'm from the Instant Gamers this is Need to Must One today I'm going to be doing the <laughs> challenge and that's not exactly what you think it is uh, it's a little challenge you can do on this game uh, race and you have to unlock it using a cheat code technically and uh, to do that you press up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right and uh, 
There we go. Uh, congratulations, to Special Race Fed. It's just been added to your challenge series. I had little feeling that wasn't going to work then. Because um, <laughs> it's an Xbox D pad. And they're awful. A 360 D pad, I should. Uh, so let's go to Trump series. I probably won't do these, but maybe. I'm not sure. And it makes 69 available. Yes, the <laughs> challenge. Probably wondering what the hell I'm saying. Um, because. Every time I say the name of the brand, it's censored. Um, that's something that we, me and Chris, decided to do. Um, not when we say brand. If they if they sponsor a game, we're not saying their brand. We're not giving them free advertising. I mean, they're in the background, so who the hell, you know? I mean, it's not obvious what this challenge is. We're not going to censor text or anything. It's just when if we say brand, we're not going to let them. Uh, our voice isn't going to endorse it, if you could say. Holy crap, there is a lot of adverts for that particular fast food chain in this game. Not that I really... I didn't notice that. And I, you know... I like to do that when I'm going really quick around the corner. That guy was always trying to spin me up. You know what? This feels really good because I'm actually driving the BMW again. And, uh, ooh. Ooh, look. Police cars! Pull over! I may have chucked that guy out. That was a. <laughs> well, it wasn't an accident. But it wasn't deliberate as well. Well, no. It was deliberate. I wanted to take them out. But I didn't want to kill them instantly. Oh, you... Nice! That went well. You just went past? No, I didn't. I rammed you. And now I'm in the lead somehow. That was amazing. I guess the cops load him up. Rubber banding, probably. One of them is really far back though, so... Yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing in this episode. Nothing really to say about this, but oh my god, this car handles quite badly at speed. You don't really got look. Mm. Yeah, try and stay with me. Move, kid. I mean, I guess I'm c committing crime here by exceeding the. There's no cars on the road. That's not that. There's really no traffic. That never happens. Nice, I don't think. The only thing that I hate was that stupid... There we go. I've now unlocked all the drink room performance parts. In the My Cars exclusive thing. I haven't actually unlocked them in... The career mode. Which is somewhat annoying. But yeah, I've been, I've been Rob and I'm from the NC Gamers. Thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope that you watch your want and ta -ra.